Since I was born, but now I am getting you. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down. And there it is, right there. So, so there it is, right there. So, the best welcome ever, of course, or always uh, comes with Ayo. Uh, uh, so, so that's Ayo always. Uh, that that's how Ayo uh, always uh, kicks off the session. So, so that's Ayo doing as he always does. Uh, and and by the way, I've I've formerly just met Ayo. Uh, Very annoying guy. Is as handsome as he is rich. Uh, it's just that uh, some people have all the luck. So as handsome as he is rich. So so well done Ayo for keeping the fire burning on the platform. So that's Ayo right there starting the uh, session in the manner that it should start. So good day to you. Uh, good to be in your company. And how are you? So uh, 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 let me apologize first. The stats are getting later and later. They're only for reasons of uh, the logistics of day-to-day -day life. I, I try to come as early as I can, and I'll try to come earlier still. Uh, but uh, at the moment, these are just, it's just uh, from force of habit I do these things. Uh, that's why I just, uh, I feel as though I'm letting something down if I don't do it. So so it's just, it becomes like, like a staple. So that's why we continue to do it. So uh, apologies for the later and later start. I suit some, some people's time zones. Uh, it doesn't suit others, but that is the nature of life. So, so all that good stuff. So all that good stuff. The usual protocol. Click on the like button as soon as you see that thumbs up there. That means click. So click on the like button just as soon as I direct you to do that. So click on like. Click on the hyperlink that says Streamyard. Do that as well. So like. Uh, 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 no, no, not the hyperlink that says Streamyard. I, I forgot my sequence. Click on like. Click on subscribe. So those are direct instructions that you must follow. So that is a direction. That is, I don't want to call it an order, but it is an instruction. So do exactly as you've just been directed. Click on like and click on subscribe. So we need, you, do you know what the ambition is for this platform? You will laugh when I tell you what the ambition is. The ambition for this platform is to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So, so go ahead and chuckle. But if you click on that subscribe, do you know that you set us on that way? And it will take us that little bit up. And then before you know it, um, I'm putting that silver. I want that silver button. That's really, I think that's all I'm after, really. If I get to that silver button, you probably won't see me online again. So give me that silver button if you're fed up of hearing my voice. So click on subscribe. You must do that. that there's a compulsion to it. You are compelled categorically uh, to do that. So Click on like, click on subscribe, and then the hyperlink that says StreamYard, of course, that invites you to in, into the studio space where of forever looking to harvest our new and dynamic voices. You'll be that new dynamism for the day. Be that new dynamism for the day. So let me resend the uh let me resend the hyperlink so it's immediate to hand. So click on that hyperlink that says StreamYard, pop into the studio, uh, come have a pow pow, a jow jow. With your uh, friendly neighborhood or your laughing man woman went to mo so like subscribe click on the hyperlink that says stream yard and then we have the expectation of five 
uh, the, the well, the anticipation. Let's say we have the anticipation of five super charts per session. So Ayo has kicked up, kicked it off with the first two, but we but because we've been hitting that compliment, so let's hit that compliment today as well. A minimum of our five super charts, which is not an unreasonable expectation. So all that funky stuff, all that delightful delight. So the delightful delight, but the delight stops as we huddle straight into matters Nigerian. So let's launch into it as soon as I find a sip of water. <clears throat> oh, oh, all right. And by the way, you may be hearing some humming voices in the background. It can be helped. It's where I am. I'm in my conservatory, as I said. So so, so just ignore that and, and continue to listen. Uh, so so let, let's launch into it. Um, so yes, uh, it looks as though uh, it looks as though they are trying to get rid of Ganduji. Uh, that is what the reading of this uh, uh, reads to me. Court affirms suspension of APC chairman Abdullah Ganduji. So he was suspended allegedly, purportedly at the world level. Uh, but then the party came out to tell us tell us that it's the totality of the totality of a nonsensity. But it looks as though there's now a court judgment that progresses that space. So we've seen this uh, movie before. We've seen this uh, cameo before. We've seen this play out before. And when it played out before, it's usually it, it led to the to the removal of um, uh, Adams or Shomali as the APC chairman. It started at the world level. It progressed through the court spaces, ultimately to land Adams or Shomali outside of that chairman's uh, office. We saw it with your chair, RUPDP, started at the localized level, went through the legal phases, and he's out of the window. So we've seen it repeatedly, and the trajectory, it takes the next step. Court affirmed suspension of APC National Chairman Abdullahi Gandola. The Kano State High Court on Wednesday, uh, the Kano State High Court on Wednesday morning, granted an ex parte order restraining the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Abdullah Ganduje, from parading himself as a member of the party. So it is even as a member. So, you know, what well, the word actually, they, they expelled him from the party because the world doesn't have the authority to remove him as a chairman because the world is just a local it's like a local government isn't it so the world doesn't have the power to remove abdullah Ganduji as the chairman of course you know that but the world because you register you register with your party at your local world don't you but the world has the power to de-register him and if the world de-registers him then he automatically, he automatically becomes an ex-member of that party and by extension cannot hold any office within that party. And that is the power of that, uh, of that award system. So, th so that's what's going on there. Let's take it from top again. The Kano State High Court on Wednesday morning granted an ex parte order restraining the national chairman of the All, Pro All Progressive Congress, Abdullah Ganduje, from parading himself as a member of the party. This was seen in a court document obtained by correspondents ordering that Ganduje should stop uh, should stop presiding over all affairs of the National Working Committee of the APC. Justice U Usman Naba granted the application on Tuesday following an ex parte motion filed by Dr. Ibrahim Saad on behalf of two executive members of the Gand of Ganduje's word in Dawankin Tofa local government area, the assistant secretary. So, so essentially, yes, uh, the state high court, uh, the state high court issues an ex parte order affirming the suspension of Abdullah Ganduje, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC. The court ruled that Ganduje should no longer preside over all affairs of the APC's NWC. So uh, I don't think the court can actually give that order. I, I don't think so, no. The only order, because that wasn't even the request, the request was that it's been expelled at the world level. And that is the, that, that is the extension of what the court can affirm. 
you know so the court cannot order him not to present himself as whatever because embedded in that suspension is already then that he cannot carry on as the chairman because you cannot be a non-member of the party and be the chairman of the party at the same time so 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 that's that's what's going on there so so that's what's going on there uh, a couple more paragraphs and then we move on <clears throat> Right, the Kano State High Court uh, issues an ex parte order affirming the suspension of Abdullahi Ganduje, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC. The court ruled that Ganduje should no longer preside over all affairs of the APC's NWC. The document reads Motion ex parte, together with 13 paragraphs affidavit, in uh, um, the document reads. Motion ex parte, together with 13 paragraph affidavit in support and a written address dated the 16th day of April 2024, sworn by the second applicant. Leave is hereby granted to the applicants to serve the first, second, and fourth respondents with all the processes in this suit outside the jurisdiction of this court to wait at number. 40 something or the other crescent uh, abuja nigeria an order of interim injunction is hereby granted directing parties to maintain status quo ante as at the 15th day of april 2024 in relation to the suspension of the fourth respondent from the first respondent by the ganduje world executive committee restraining the respondents uh uh restraining the respondents whether by whether by themselves servants agents priv, uh, servants agents previous from taking any step contrary to the decision of the executive committee of ganduje ward which suspends the fourth respondent from the fourth uh, which suspends the first fourth that is number four respondent which will be ganduje from the first respondent, which is the political party, pending the hearing and determination of the motion on notice. Uh, so, so there it is right there. So quite why what the status is then. Uh, so it, it, it puts the it puts um it puts the uh, APC in somewhat of a bit of a conundrum. So do they carry on and disregard this court ruling, and then they fall then into that trap of being uh, no different from the uh from the from the uh buhari space so should they ignore the court judgment and carry on anyway then they stand accused of being no different from the buhari space so there's one or should they abide because it depends on who is uh, who is uh who is puppeteering this whole movement that we're seeing if the puppeteering of this movement that we're seeing if it goes high up the hierarchy then ganduja is gone but if it's some rascality from the from a local world, then whoever needs to be paid off will probably get paid up, paid off, and it will quiet off, or, uh, or 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 they'll just sack somebody. But uh, there it is, right there. The court affirms the suspension of Abdullahi Ganduje as the plot thickens. Uh, the court affirms the suspension of Abdullahi Ganduje as the plot thickens. Tinubu directs inclusion of the uh, N O U. And graduates in NYSC scheme uh, law school. So I'm only really bringing you this. Um, hold on. <clears throat> so now I'm only really bringing you this off the back of that um, uh, of that encounter. Uh, that lady versus uh, the pastor Dunamis uh, Church. So that's really what's inspiring this. I would have ignored it otherwise because uh, uh, off the back of that encounter, that lady and the pastor in Dunamis Church, um, there were speculations as to just the uh, veracity or level of authenticity or credibility even of the National Open University system. But it looks as though the verification that comes from the highest authority in the country. Uh, President Bola Tinobu has directed the Ministry of Education to include to include graduates of the National Open University in the National Youth Service Corps scheme. Tinubu also resolved the long-standing admittance of NOUN law graduates to participate in law school in the country 
for equal opportunities. He made the disclosure during his presentation at the 13th Convocation Ceremony of NOUN on Saturday at the University's Convocation Arena, Jabi Abuja. So, 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 so there it is. I wonder what that means. I wonder if that even means anything. So I wonder what that means. I wonder if that even means anything. Uh, so now it looks as though with this, uh, with this now next headline, matters now get settled. Pardon me. <clears throat> with this now next headline, matters now get uh, uh, settled. Do you remember Ras Kimono? Uh, who owns the land? Who owns the land? Who owns Papa's land? Well, it looks as though Power Fashionati, uh, 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 Power Ruben Fashionati owns Papa's land. What Tinubu discussed with Afeniferi, Afeniferi leaders in Aso Rock. So whatever he did discuss is of no consequence. This is the endorsement then of the Afeniferi leadership or of the Tinubu administration. So this, by this now photo you are looking at on your screen, this now cast a drift, uh, Pa Adebanjo. So this is now uh, casting him a drift, putting him on a on a on a on a on a canoe and on a canoe or or a whatever without a paddle. Uh, so so there it is, the shipwrecking of uh, Pa Adebanjo. If you look at the luminaries there, you can see the you can see the peak of the Ornis uh, 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 um, cap right there. And the leader of that delegation, uh, Pa Fashionati, of course, are uh, all the eminent members of Yoruba land. So you can see it is a Yoruba parapet sort of a setup. So for Pa Fashionati, bye-bye. This is essentially what this tells us. Uh, what Tinobu discussed with Afeniferi, Afeniferi leaders in Asorog photos. So uh, yes, it's um. I, I, actually, let let me show you another photograph. I, I want to I want to show you a photograph that tells. I want to show you two photographs that tells uh, a, a tale. Uh, per fashion. Sure. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Oh, hold on. So I want to show you um, uh, um, a photo that makes the full uh, the full circle or the full cycle. Okay, let me show you this. Let me show you this. Um, uh, so it, it, uh, forget whatever headline there is uh, to go with this, but look at this photograph. So this is in the build up to the elections. Do, do, do you remember this? This is in the build up to the elections. And then there was this really daggers drawn narrative amongst the Afeniferi space with Pa Adebanjo, who is the interim leader of the, is not, is not being ratified. That's why I call him an interim leader. With Pa Adebanjo, who is, uh, who, or was, I should say, because no longer is, who was the interim leader of the, of the uh, Afeniferi space and Dawson Peter will be, but with um, Pa Fashionati then coming out of retirement to say, no, no, our son is running in that election and we must back him. So there was a heavy back and forth that culminated in this photograph that you're looking at on your screen. So after that back and forth, to give absolute clarity as to the direction that he wanted the Afeniferi space to travel, Pa Fashionati inv invited Tinobu to, to, to his uh, home and asked him to remove his cap and blessed him. So you can see right there. So that's the blessing of an elder on, 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 a, on, a, on a, one of his words that has ambition. So, 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 so that, that follow photograph builds up to this now next photograph. So now this is now where it all comes together. So this is now where it all comes together. Now look at this photograph now on your screen. Tinobu having now gone to take that victory that a Pa Fashionati ordered him to take, he now sits on the prize and Pa Fashionati, he's there, he's even in a wheelchair to come and say, well done, my son. So, so there it is right there, well done, my son. So, so there it is, let's take it from the top. Um, <clears throat> 
President Bola Tinubu has said his administration remains undeterred in his pursuit of the comprehensive economic security for the country. He also promised to address foundational challenges and create a fair and equi equitable system in which all Nigerians can, can thrive. Tinubu made the promise when he received leaders of Afeniferi, the respected Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, at the State House in Abuja on Wednesday. <clears throat> uh, President Tinubu said his administration is re engineering Nigeria's finances and seeking to boost the purchasing power of citizens and spread prosperity down the line by instituting a credit system where the element of cash is not an impediment to a significantly enhanced standard of living for all citizens. So that is a space that he has not yet, because Atinubu is trying to introduce some sort of a credit system within the Nigerian space. But uh, what insulates that credit system is really, they've not yet unfolded that as a policy thrust. The president said Nigeria must secure itself economically first before it can achieve any of its more sophisticated objectives, he said. <clears throat> he said, we are committed to the economic survival of our country to re-engineer the finances of our country. We must start in earnest. So first, retool, revamp the economy. Uh, so first, retool, revamp the economic opportunities available and resolve to continue taking the firm and steady baby steps that are necessary. Education is a strong weapon against poverty. To empower the people, we must invest in the future of our youth. We have seen the problems parents face in training their children in school. It is the reason why we established the National Students Loan Program, which is taking off well. We are equally examining what to do with the higher degree, uh, with the high degree of unemployment, we must help vulnerable people by providing social security. So that so social security has always been a portal for corruption. It is not a model that I would uh, especially recommend for Nigeria. We're looking at how to provide allowances for the unemployed, and we are developing ways to boost the purchasing power of citizens with the consumer credit scheme. If we remove the cash upfront element to buy a house or a car, we will reduce the propensity for fraud and corruption across the land. So this is a this is a high floating uh, theory. So I did say that uh, Tinobu uh, is uh, his greatest strength is uh, is in uh, the capacity to blue sky think. So it is blue. It is a a nuanced complex mesh of blue sky thinking that is putting elements together to form the whole that is the Nigeria that we want. Speaking on security, the president declared that those who threaten the sovereignty of Nigeria will pay a heavy price. I am irrevocably committed to the unity of Nigeria and, const and uh, uh, I am irrevocably committed to the unity of Nigeria and constitutional democracy. Constitutional democracy has been reflected great, great, greatly here since we assumed office. What we face now is the challenge of terrorism. Security of life and property is, uh, is very necessary for development. I can tell you we are achieving success. We have degraded terrorism to a level that they cannot threaten the sovereignty of Nigeria any longer. Banditry and kidnapping will be defeated and there is no payment of ransom whatsoever. We are taking the battle to them. We are getting results more rapidly than before. So this is somewhat an asabic uh, throw uh, towards the um, towards the Buhari administration, who did nothing other than to play lip service to that uh, insecurity space. Because of course, the insecurity in Nigeria is essential. If you want to know, uh, if you want to know the, uh, let me, if you want to know the birthing of insecurity in Nigeria, by the way, look no further than Buhari. Uh, because uh, you remember uh, in the build up to 2015, when he told us that the dogs and the baboons will soak in their own blood, uh, all that language 
is what's landed us now where we are. So, so a lot of the insecurity uh, in the country very much wrapped around uh, Buhari and it's uh, whatever it is. Uh, we are working. We are working hard on intelligence gathering. Those who think they can threaten the sovereignty of Nigeria will have themselves to blame. They have a price to pay, and we are not going to relent here, fam. So, really, is essentially is the pictures really that tells the narrative, and the main picture is this one now. Well done, my son. That is exactly what Power Fashion as he went to do there. Okay, so um. <clears throat> So I'll give you this as a headline because I have a little clip that speaks to this space. External reserves. Cardoso says no CBN uh, defending Naira. So he did this at the spring meetings at the uh, IMF. Uh, it's a short read, so let me just give you it. Uh, uh, CBN Governor Yemi Cardoso has addressed concerns over the declining external reserves maintaining that the Apex Bank is not defending them. According to Yemi Kadoso, the depleting external reserves is mostly due to factors such as debt repayment, other obligations, and depletion due to ordinary course of, course of business. He also stated that there were no intentions to defend the currency with the external reserve with the external reserves as it was counter intuitive the apex bank was uh, the apex bank was uh, the the apex bank was already implementing a willing buyer willing seller uh, policy so so that's Jeremy Cardoso then clapping back at all of that noise around uh, uh, around um uh, around uh, people speculating that the external, even we were speculating, I said this yesterday, that the external reserve was being used to defend the Naira. So uh, let, let me go for there. Let me take a micro break and uh, play you a clip instead. Let me play you this clip. This is, uh, these are the travails of Yahaya Bello. Uh, do you remember how Dino told us that it will, actually, let me play you that Dino clip before I play you. This is the, you're about to hear the travails of uh, Yahaya Bello. But uh, let uh, let uh, Dino Melaye, if I still have that clip, I hope Thomas has not deleted it. Uh, let let uh, let uh, let let Dino Melaye trail it before we hear what happens to Yahaya Bello. Listen to Dino, the prophet. Country people, make una call yet Oreo. Say Dino, carry money, give talk. Say make you go buy gun to Piawa. They say Dino, carry money. Give talk, carry gun, give talk. Say, when I'm going to prepare for 2019, on Lord They send me, meet them for airport road, and like, yeah, eh? My brothers, the venom of a viper cannot do anything to the back of a tortoise. I'm a man, I I don't work out. But make I tell you now, Yaya Bello, do you know? Yeah, yeah, Bello, my son, one lay in job, I know. Yeah, yeah, Bello, my son, one lay in job. Do you know? GYB. So, so you heard it there from Adino uh, Melaye, the prophet, as far back as uh, 20, whatever. So, do you know, yeah, yeah, Bello, my son, one lay in job, federal high court orders arrest of former governor, uh, Yahaya Bello? I know. Yeah, yeah, below, but I won't lay in job. Watch this. Developments following the siege laid to the residence of former governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello, by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission earlier today. The FCC says it will arraign former governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello, before a federal high court sitting in Abuja. According to a statement signed by the FCC's head of media and publicity, Dele Oyowale, the former governor will be arraigned before Justice Emeka Nwete, alongside three other suspects on a 19-count charge bordering on money laundering to the tune of 80.2 billion naira. Yahya Bello's arraignment is coming on the heels of a warrant of arrest and enrollment order granted the EFCC by the court earlier today. The commission says its attempt to execute the warrant of arrest lawfully obtained against Mr. Bello met stiff resistance.
and operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission earlier today laid siege to the residence of former Governor of Kogi State, Yayabelo in Abuja. The roads leading in and out of the former governor's residence at Zone 4 of Wusei District were blocked, causing vehicular traffic around the area. Governor of Kogi State, Usman Ododo, paid a solidarity visit to the former governor amidst heavy presence of armed operatives of the EFCC. Governor Dodo was chaired by loyalists of the former governor who were present to give their support. Also today, there were two conflicting court orders regarding the arrest of former governor of Bello. In another ruling, the Federal High Court in Abuja granted the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission permission to arrest the former governor, and Justice Emeka Mweke, who gave the order of arrest, said by the act establishing the FCC, it had powers to arrest with or without warrant of arrest. In another ruling, a high court sitting in Lokoja restrained the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission from arresting, detaining, and prosecuting former Kogi State Governor Yahya Bello. You, 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 you see, th that's the problem we face in that country right there. It, is this um, judgment for sale? It, you, you know, that's the problem we especially face with corruption. These people, they still they steal enough to include the defense of what they've stolen. So take Yahya Bello, for instance, the allegation wraps around 80 billion naira. So that 80 billion, that's not only stole, by the way, he probably stole 10 times that, but what they are after him for is 80 billion naira. So that 80 billion naira, he has no intention of keeping all of it for himself. Out of that 80 billion naira, he's already, he's already budgeted 30 billion naira for SAN, Senior Advocate of Nigeria's. So because he knows, of course, they will come after him, but he's not built sufficient enough of a war chest to defend it. So when you're hearing about people that have stolen $7 billion, $8 billion, that I extrapolate the Yahaya Bello situation and project it into that space, and that is how corruption sustains itself within the Nigerian space. So that's just the ugliness of our, what goes on in our country. So that's the ugliness of our, what goes on in our country. Uh, let, let, let me let me let, let me take you on to this. Um, it says a uh, break, breaking down. Gote sets up London trading office, hires crude oil manager, uh, says Reuters. Uh, Nigerian billionaire Aliko Dangote has hired a crude oil manager as he builds a London trading office to manage crude and fuel deals for his new mega refinery near Lagos, three sources familiar with the matter said, Graham Campbell has been hired as the team's crude oil manager, the source said, and is expected to start in the next uh, in the next few months. Campbell, who, who is at British Oil Pram, uh, Prax, will be joined by a senior refined product trader, as well as senior tanker charterer, and a and a risk and derivative trader. So this is uh Dangote going global. So he'll be giving you your own little little oil, oil but uh, his business is not with you. His business is to take all of the billions from the world. The traders will be based in London and report to Ratna Mohan, who joined Dangote 2021 from Indian refiner Asar. Campbell also worked at uh, so so there it is. Uh, that's a uh, that's uh, Dangote then taking your oil money, uh, uh, your oil uh, something into the global space. So, so let's go on from there to another one. Let's go on from there to another one. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me pause this. Let, let me make sure that there's no music playing. So it's playing out in the PDP, as you all know. That but we've been trailing it. It's that battle between for the soul of the PDP. Um, yeah, um, Jameson Wiki versus, uh, let me make sure that it's not playing because there's a uh, music in the background and I don't want to be copyright struck. Uh, so I just wanted to bring it. So that's uh, Atiku Abubakar right there. And that, of course, uh, the dancing, I did dancer. And then uh, I did, I did dancer acts as a buffer. Uh, in fact, two buffers really, uh, even three, uh, uh, even four, even 
I, I, I did see um, Jameson Wiki somewhere there. Uh, uh, so Wiki is there somewhere. We'll see him in a moment. So that's the complement of the, and that's Jameson Wiki right there. So that's a, uh, so 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 that's at Tiku Abubakar, as you can see, where my cursor is there. One man acts as a buffer, and that's James and Wiki right there. So it's essentially a duke out between these two characters for the soul of the PDP. <clears throat> what what they are what they are meeting to discuss is all matters relating to the PDP, but the most important matter on the table is who gets to be the chairman of the PDP. So now. Atiku has a camp, and of course, Wiki has a camp as well. So whichever camp uh, gets to uh, get their man to emerge as the winner of the APC chairmanship, whichever camps, camp gets their man to emerge as the winner, that tells us the trajectory of the APC politics. So if Atiku's man becomes the uh, APC chairman, that is to tell you then that we'll be seeing Atiku Abubakar's name on the ballot in 2027, and they will go hell for leather to, to try and wrestle power from Tinubu in 2027. So it'll be a repeat of 2023. So if Atiku's man becomes the PDP chairman, it will be a repeat of 2023. Atiku, Peter will be Tinubu. So they'll do, it, they'll do that dance again. Now, if Wiki's man becomes the chairman of the uh, PDP, then they are they are playing a long game. So with if if, if Wicked Man does become the uh, we're not saying the super, super stars stream through, by the way. Don't, don't, don't hold back, let it roll. Um if Wicked Man becomes the chairman of the PTP, then that tells you then that they're going to jettison at 2027 and build up to 2031. So they're going to launch against 2031. And that also tells you then that Wiki gives up any ambition of ever becoming president because Wiki has already stated publicly that he's not going to run against Tinobu. So uh, Tinobu, of course, is going to seek re-election 2027. And uh, So if Wiki's man becomes the chairman, PDP abandons 2027. They take a very, very long time to do a lot of house cleaning, rebrand re the... And by the way, if Wiki's man becomes the chairman of the PDP, that is that marks the end of Articles' our political career immediately because no way is he coming near any ticket in 2027 and 2031. Even he uh, would not be able to stretch that far. So it's all playing out. They are duking it out in the PDP. In the PDP, uh, let's just see how this is captioned and then we move on to the next one. Uh, anybody that wants to come into the studio, come in. Uh, so that's that one playing in the background. It says happening now the national caucus of our great so this is from the official pdp uh whatever it is uh <clears throat> it says are uh, happening now the national caucus of our great party the official pdp nig is currently holding at the bauchi state lodge in asokoro abuja ahead of the 98th national executive uh, committee meeting scheduled to take place tomorrow, Thursday, April the 18th. So hopefully by uh, by tomorrow evening, we should know uh, who the chairman of the PDP is. And by knowing the chairman of the PDP, we know the trajectory then of their politics. So let me take you to the headline piece now. Uh, NNPC speaks on fuel subsidy as filling stations slash petrol pump price. So it's just the contrarian nature of it. The Naira going up, petrol prices coming down, and they've told us they've removed uh, subsidy. The, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, has said it recovered at, uh, 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 I think it's actually speaking to what Kulata might have been explaining yesterday. The, uh, uh, just off the back of the first uh, paragraph, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL has said it recovered total cost from the products it imported into the country. So um, I, I'm not quite sure. You you see, you know, you know, those are those statements are somewhat qualified truths, but embedded in that qualified truth is an obfuscation of the actual facts of the matter. Um, the company also dismissed any insinuation 
about the return to petrol subsidy, Chief Corporate, Chief Corporate Communications Officer of the NNPCL Limited, Olufemi Shoneye, in a leadership report, uh, said that since the ousting of petrol subsidy by President Bolatinobo, the subsidy regime has ceased to exist. As uh, Shoneye stated, it is important to emphasize that the subsidy is no longer in place. Contrary to allegations, petrol subsidy has not been reinstated. This comes after Gabriel Ogbachie, the CEO of Rain Oil Limited, purportedly stated that the federal government has reinstated the continuous gas line subsidy due to the naira depreciation in the foreign exchange market. This claim was attributed to Obochia's Tuesday remarks at the Stambik uh, blah, 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 blah. He emphasized that the government's gas line subsidy uh, uh, ranges from 400, I think we covered this yesterday, but uh, let, let's see. Uh, so, uh, yes, so, Oh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, okay, let me just give it to you. Uh, this comes after Gabriel, the CEO of Rain Oil Limited, purportedly stated that the federal government has reinstated the continuous gas light subsidy due to the narrow depreciation in the foreign exchange market. This claim was ad attributed to Gabriel's Tuesday. It's not Gabriel, by the way. I can't pronounce his last name. That's why I'm using Gabriel. This claim was attributed to Gabriel's Tuesday remarks at the Stambic IBC, IBTC Energy and Infrastructure brief, Breakfast Session in Lagos. He emphasized that the government's gasoline subsidy ranges from 400 to 500 naira per liter, with Nigeria using 40 million uh, liters of petrol per day and the foreign currency rate at 1,300. This adds up to a monthly total of almost 600 billion. Uh, so so uh, it goes on to give us, a, we did this readout yesterday, so I'm not going to bother with it. It says, uh, meanwhile, correspondents earlier reported that premium motor spirit, also known as gasoline, is not no, known as gasoline in Nigeria, by the way, is known as petrol. We call it petrol. So what, what do you mean also known as gasoline? Um, uh, it says, meanwhile, uh, correspondents earlier reported that premium motor spirit, also known as gasoline, used to sell for 640 to 660 uh, naira per liter, but as the naira strengthens against the US dollar a few weeks ago, it is now uh, only, it, it now only costs 620 naira per liter in various parts of Lagos. Uh, furthermore, a visit by correspondence to a few stations owned by Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited revealed that the product is offered to drivers at 580 naira per liter. So, so everything, Dangote has crashed the price of uh, diesel and uh, NMPC has crashed the price of petrol. So those tales of woes, uh, it will be very, very difficult for people like Ekene and those usual suspects to continue with these tales of war that they like to, uh, a, a lot of it, lie, uh, I, I wouldn't say lies, but a lot of it difficult to believe, but it's very difficult for them to continue with those tales of wars when we're seeing the actual figures come through now. Uh, it says that uh, the, the changes observed in certain filling stations in Lagos are a harbinger of good news despite the high cost of living even if NMPCL has not formally announced new gasoline prices in the nation. So, so, so there it is. And then it says, uh, Dangote Refinery rolls out diesel. So, so, so there it is. Uh, the future looking bright for the Nigerian state. The future looking bright for the Nigerian state. Uh, let me play you this clip of Yemi Kadoso and then we'll come in. Uh, let me play you this clip of Yemi Kadoso, and then we'll end up. This is to address all those people that are claiming that uh, the Naira is being, is being subsidized. Uh, there's a longer version of this, by the way, which I may play you uh, later on in the session, because I watched the whole of it. This is the interaction that uh, Yemi Kadoso had with uh, IMF. 
It says, uh, yes, L let me just play you. This one says, Arise News. So the person asking him the question is responding to, this is in some IMF uh, breakfast summit or the other. This the, the, the person asking him the question is responding to, is an Arise functionary. Oh, maybe I should even bring you to the longer version. Uh, wait, let me see. Uh, uh, do I want to take you to the longer version? Oh, oh, all right, let, we do we do this. Let let me. This is the longer version of it. So I will let the questions come in, uh, and, and then I'll um and then I'll flip over to that uh, particular response. So so watch this. You want to raise questions, gentlemen, right at the back. If you could say uh, what institution you're with, and you know one question. Very short one, please, so we can have uh, two, three questions. Thank you. Um, my name is Ife Chuku Ndeka. I'm Executive Director in Risk Management at Morgan Stanley, New York. Um, so my question is, um, most uh, developing nations, including Nigeria, you know, would use uh, external savings to finance development, which makes currency risk the dominant risk factor. So now the question is, um, what are your views or what, what is your leadership doing in uh, making uh, or developing currency risk markets as a, as a policy imperative instead of as, a, as an inspiration to tame you know, the inflationary pressures that Nigeria is facing? Thank you. Uh, the lady here in front, please, in green. We're going to take three questions and then I'll... Sure. Hello, everyone. Um, good afternoon, Governor. My name is Nkechi Nana. I'm with Arise News. Uh, one of the things that the bank has tried to do to bring solution to what we've been facing in Nigeria is defend the Naira. So, Mr. Governor, if you can just clarify for us um, how much has been spend, spent in defending the Naira in the first quarter of this year. And this defense, is it from the, our reserves or from FPI inflows? And if it's from the reserves, which have now been depleting and with the IMF um, projecting a further drop to, I think, $24 billion later in the year, uh, can the bank realistically continue with this strategy? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, lady uh, over there. Right Good afternoon, Mr. Governor. My name is Titi Layo Adebola. I'm an academic at the University of Aberdeen and the president of the African International Economic Law Network. I was. Oh, oh, oh all right. I, I, oh, I only wanted it to land on that Arise TV um, uh, 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 piece. So, so let me now take you to Cardoso's response. Um, so let's watch this. Yeah, no, exactly what. Where, where we are headed in that direction. But it's certainly something that we are looking at. We're looking at that. Um, defending the Naira, which from every indication seems to be an elephant in some room. Now, I, 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 and I want to try and make this as clear as possible. Um, it is not our intention to defend the Naira. It is not. And much as I have read in the recent few days um, some opinions with respect to what is happening with our reserves and um, the central bank defending the Naira, if you think back to what our overall policy and philosophy has been here, you can see it's counterintuitive. Okay, basically, what we are encouraging is for the markets to willing buyer, willing seller, price discovery, and ultimately, I, I perceive a future where central bank will really not need to intervene. Okay, except in. In, in, in very, very unusual circumstances. Um, what is important to us is that there's sufficient liquidity in the market, which I've spoken about here today. Um, find one billion 
is the outlier, sometimes it's 600, 700 million US as the case may be, and that will continue, hopefully. So as long as we have a vibrant um, currency market, why do we need to go in there to, to, to go? We don't need to. Um, I, 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 I can understand that, especially at the outset, there have been little um, cases where the Bureau de Change, the BDC, um, there was a need to get that segment going. And, you know, small amounts of money, relatively tiny amounts of money have gone into that to catalyze that happening. Because it's important that, um, again, individuals have access to funds to send abroad, their kids abroad, and do things which are important, health, et cetera, et cetera. So it's important not to, 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 to keep them out of the, the, the mainstay. So that, yes, but in terms of, of intervention, frankly, that's really not our, our intention at all to, to intervene in the market. And what you see with respect to the shifts in our reserves is the shifts that you find in anybody's, in any country's reserve situation, um, where, for example, um, debts are due and certain payments need to be made. They are made because that is also part of keeping your credibility intact and other times money comes in and you know takes it up again and if you watch in the next couple of days we've I, mean, you know, I think between yesterday and today we had about 600 million us that came into the to the reserves account so i wouldn't let people get too excited about about this thing all i will say is that we are looking towards ensuring that we have a market that operates on its own willing buyer, willing seller, and price discovery. That's where we're going to. The, the, the shifts you've seen in our reserves has really you know, little or nothing to do with defending any Naira, and that's certainly not our objective. Um, then community engagement. Um, no. No, oh, 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 all right, so 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 that was our Wale. No, no, that's not Wale, no. That's Yemeka Doso uh, on the international stage, uh, speaking to uh just how, how he is running the economy so uh um speaking to, to just how he is running the economy so let's play the keg item there's still plenty of space on the studio uh, on the studio anybody else to jump on jump on i know it's late in the day uh, and that may well excuse that uh, but uh, uh uh let's let's play the keg item music hopefully uh the room populates <laughs>
Oh, oh, all right, and there it is. A coco neru, I just bitch him. Death have nothing to do with us. So that that's an important prayer, by the way. I I hope you have the, I have the appreciation of that. Uh, so we have Ajan Lekoko with us. We kick it off with Ajan Lekoko, uh, 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 and hopefully others come to join us uh, just momentarily. Uh, Ajan Lekoko, are you ready? Yeah, one man. What's up? Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Good to have you, Ajale Koko. So, good to have you, Ajale. I, I, I don't know how much of what Yemika does so uh, had to say that you heard, uh, but it's, uh, it's, um, the essence of it is that uh, it's a willing buyer, willing seller uh, 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 theory. That, 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 uh, and they're talking about price discovery as well. So, and, and this is what we've been talking about all the way through. Uh, there's a longer version of this. I'll, I'll, I'll actually send it to you. Maybe you can watch it tomorrow or something. Because it was quite clear, it was quite lucid in how he's running the Nigerian economy. And he's speaking to the international space, of course, because he's on the IMF Rostrum. What he's saying to us is that the movements that you are seeing in the uh, in the uh, uh, foreign reserves, the, the usual course of business movement. It told us that uh, in excess of six hundred uh, million dollars came in today. Uh, monies went out to service uh, backlogs or uh, forward payments, all of those sort of stuff that we discussed. But it's saying that it is anti and it is antithetical to his doctrinal thrust to support the naira. He says it's a willing buyer. He kept on repeating this, which is to tell you that um, he's thrown the Nigerian naira into the air and is inviting it to land where, wherever it does land. Willing buyer, willing seller, and price discovery. So what did you make of Cardoso's uh, 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 performance on the world stage? Yeah, thank you, one man. Uh, greetings to our listeners around the world. Click on the like button, share and subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, it, it, it just, I mean, it was yesterday that we had discussing about this, uh, uh, this issue, um, particularly the um, uh, the depletion of, uh, on the um, uh, our reserve, and, and today the central bank governor is making clarification on it. Uh, it is it is it is a work on development. You remember yesterday, I was. This is what I was suggesting yesterday. That people in position of authority need to come out to give us information as to how they are running the state. And that is the only way they can show transparency and accountability. So what he has done with, you know, clarifying, giving out the fact and what is responsible for um, downward in that reserve is transparency and accountability. So, now it everybody's have heard him. Nobody will cry hula baloo again. Speculation will not be in the hair, the way people been speculated. So this is this is the way that government should government official should um, show responsibility to the people and people can know exactly as to how the state is being run. So um, it, it, it's, um, I, I mean, I, I, really, I, I really welcome you. And, and, and the lady, the um, Arise News lady that asked that question did a very good job. This is what we are talking about, about the press. They, I mean, they, uh, 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 they, uh, 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 they are America, be uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> America. This is what you know freedom of the press, the press freedom. 
in a democracy. This is the way it works. They are the mouthpiece of the people. Speculation has been here and there, and the press faced him and asked him that question. And he answered it, you know, in the best, in the best way, and in 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 the uh, 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 I mean, I mean, he answered it as as the, the way he is running the central bank. He answered it clearly. I said tomorrow, if we find out something else that is lying, but now he has told us, hey, it is just the normal way of generating fund, spending, and making income and outflow of you know. It, it just it, it, and it, it made it clear that they are not defending the naira. But but um, what 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 do, what do you make of um what he kept uh, his um his um ideological stance in his uh, financial thrust um willing buyer willing seller price discovery, which is to say it, the naira will find its own. Do, do, do you agree with that? I'm not quite sure that there's any currency in the world that is not manipulated from the central space. Did well, you agree with just throwing the naira in the air and saying land wherever you you land? Well, um, it, it is it's an experiment. I mean, they are carrying out an experiment. Uh, let's see how far they can go and how well they can uh, uh, they can perfect it. But it's a good it's a it's a it's a it's a good way forward because we don't even have the money to defend it in the first place. That is the the uh, uh, that's the truth of the, the situation. We don't have the money to defend it. But we could defend it when it is, you know, uh, looking like it is losing a, a, a serious va uh, value when the international uh, currency um, uh, um, uh, uh, are, are, are getting too stronger against it. So we can come up, you know, to rescue, to defend it, not forever, but for a short time in order to stabilize it again. So it, 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 every country at some point must defend their currency when they are losing strength against other international currency, particularly when it, 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 the the the, the uh, inter uh, international currency overshadows it at, you know, at a, a, um, a in such a manner that you know if they don't do something, they could the currency could be wiped away, could, could be turned to just ordinary paper, and that will cause serious inflation, and that will cause a very serious economic uh, um, uh, problem in that country. So. Every country must, at one point or the other, defend their currency. But now, we don't have anything to defend it. If we have to defend it at all, we have to borrow. <laughs> it doesn't make uh, economic sense right now. But so far, the experiment is working. Let's see. They just need to put a policy that could attract in, in direct foreign investment, you know, foreign cash flow into the economy. That is the only way forward. They just need to put out a policy that will encourage, you know, cash flow into the economy. You know, that is the way forward. And I think what it's doing so far is looking good to international investors. They have commended him. We had what um, is it Bloomberg that said uh, the currency is the best performing currency in the uh, Go Goldman Sachs. Goldman, Goldman Sachs. So yeah. all, all these policy. And measures that this guy uh, has been taking or uh, has already taken it look attractive to uh, investors. It's giving them confidence, and they're beginning to look at Nigeria economy as a as a place to invest. You know, and uh, it, 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 should, they, it should just double up, double up its effort, make it transparent, make it. You know, it, that is the way. When you are transferring, um, 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 do you sense a, 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 um, the beginnings of the green shoots of uh, bright lights shining on the Niger? Um, 
Uh, Dangote, he's saying he's going to be selling the um, diesel at a thousand naira, and, and I'm not sure he can sustain that because they will soon pressure him to lower it even more. Uh, their correspondents are reporting that they've been to uh, petrol stations in Lagos, uh, especially the NMPC. They are selling for the the average petrol station is selling for six twenty, NMPC is selling for five eighty. So everything being pushed down. So the cost of logistics is being pushed down now, which should then reflect in the market spaces uh, uh, fairly shortly. Do, do, you, do you find, uh, do, do, uh, is there reasons to be optimistic? Is this optimism that is starting to creep into the Nigerian space? Yeah, it, it looks optimistic. And uh, what, what is going to, um, you know, drive that price is... Um, demand and supply so if he can supply adequately and you know make it available at the convenience of the people people can buy at any time you know the price the market um, 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 uh, demand and supply factor will determine the price but if he cannot supply adequately to the demand, to satisfy the demand, then the price will still go up. No matter, no matter, I mean, that is, you know, what, you know, it's, it's just the process of demand and supply that will determine the price in this case. So, uh, um, uh, 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 and particularly, uh, I think you guys were saying yesterday, Nigeria is selling crude to him in Naira, and he'll be selling to Nigerians in Naira value as well. I think that will also also help in driving down the price, you know, um, uh, marginally if not substantially. But you know, with the current price against what it was like a month ago, two months ago, I think it's um, it's it's um, it's commendable, and uh, it, it it look like uh, if we if we continue in that direction, it look like uh, we have. Uh, a very uh, a bright future uh, ahead of us. But this too is, is um, we, we still need to fix our electricity system in that country. Uh, you know, if that, 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 that's the last big lift, isn't it? Yeah. The, the, the moment that is gotten right then the projection of Goldman Sachs that will be a top five global economy, it, it, it starts to take the shape of a, of a real possibility. Uh, uh, they, they, they should fix it now. Uh, uh, okay. If you can get... Uh, they are not inventing electricity. Just <laughs> go, go, go and speak. So what's the problem? <laughs> I mean, once that can be fixed, I mean, the price of this will everything will come down because there will be um, a, a less demand for it and the price will fall. It will fall. It will go down, even going down to like 300 Naira or 400 Naira. Once we can have regular electricity in that country, the price, no, but who is going to buy it? Who is going to buy it for what? Except people pay for vehicle. Uh, moving goods from one place uh, and industry to, and to, to, to power machines. Yeah. Not to not for the, yes. Auction. I mean, yes. we have regular supply. Industries we we depend more on electricity supply because it is when they hide they get electricity supply that they can attain their ultimate you know uh, productivity. The use of diesel add more to their cost cost of production. And it doesn't give them that, uh, 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 that, that ultimate productivity. It doesn't. So uh, uh, regular electricity supply, supply is the key, is the only way forward. This, the price it is today, it is good. It, it could still go up tomorrow if there is high demand for it and the supply does not you know, meet the demand. Automatically, the price will go up. But you know, it is good. It is good that the price has, you know, gone down against what it used to be like uh, a month ago. I mean, three, three, three months ago, two months ago, when it was like 1,850 
1,650 like a month ago, and now it's going down. Should we, <laughs> I mean, if it continue going down, then we will have to give kudos to uh, 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 Dangote. Is, is it time to start dancing Palungo yet or, or not yet? We start no, dancing? not yet, not yeah, yet. Let's, okay. let's, let's give Russia, let's keep pushing him. Hey, yes, do do do, do better, do better more. And uh, you, you, you know, you know, Jan I keep insisting that uh, in 2027, Tinubu is going to campaign on achievement. Um, uh, we'll see how it plays out, but uh, uh it is looking it's, it's starting. Look, just a few months ago, everything just looked so gloomy, like the country was about to collapse. But uh, it, it looks as though it's starting to turn the corner. I, I see improvement in our GDP because Dangote, you know, you know, production of this, uh, all this um, uh, oil and um, you know, petroleum uh, product. Definitely, we increased the, 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 the productivity in the country. Um, uh, this guy will be on, on stream. Um, what do you call it? The uh, uh, river, river, river refinery, river state refinery. We we, we, we soon get on, on stream, and uh, you will see some other sector of the economy. We see the aviation. Uh, what do you call it? Yema is getting is operating. Um, in, in, in um, international uh, flight now. Others are willing to join because I heard that some other uh, airlines are, are trying to join too to to start flying, uh, you know, uh, overseas. So we we are going to see when we see uh, all this happening. Definitely, the GDP will improve, and, and, and particularly with what the uh, if. Um, uh, the central bank continue rolling out policy that will stimulate economic growth. And then on the fiscal side, if the, um, what do you call our brother, um, uh, 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 finance minister, um, uh, um, what's his name? can't remember his name. If he can come out with... Uh, what, what do? What do? If he can come out with policy that could uh, encourage, you know, I investment as well. I mean... It, it, task court if you can they you can come up with some you know task court policy the lower tariff and you know investors will i, 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 I mean what do you call these people the um, uh, uh, industries will be encouraged you know to to increase their productivity so that is the way you do, they just it, it's not something that is too hard with these guys are brilliant they have served international organizations before. They they can be you can rank them among the best in the world. This guy at the central bank, Cardoso and the Wali Adu, they can, you can rank them as one of the best in the world because they have served with international organizations. Wali Adu have served with IMF. This guy have served with uh, Citibank. So they know how they can do it. Come up with policy that can encourage you know investment and you know productivity oh, 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 all right did uh, are you still there oh, oh yeah there. can you hear me oh, no we can't now you 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 did for a moment oh okay so what i'm saying industrialists businessmen they are out there they are just watching for policies of the government that we look attractive for them for investment, for productivity. That is just simple. Government just need to just come out with policy that we encourage investors to, to come into your to, to your to your economy and invest more. That is just it. It is nothing too hard. It's nothing too. But if you have people that doesn't know how the international economy works. They you 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 they won't be able to know what to do at home that can encourage both local and international investors. But these two guys you have there, they have worked with international organizations and they know what to do. I believe I'm waiting for Wally. It's Wally I do that. I am waiting for to roll out his home policy that we 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 synergize with that of the central bank and then. We will start seeing, you know, uh, productivity and uh, uh, economic activity, 
you know, booming again in our country. So uh, uh, that, that, that's it, one man. Oh, all right, brilliant, excellent. It, it, it's not often that I concur with you, Adale Koko, but I concur. I concur, but I, do we have agreement on this? Court affirmed suspension of APC National Chairman Abdullah Ganduje. So, so they suspended him at the world level. The um, National Space came out to say that it's a nonsense. But now we've seen now this uh, court uh, order come in to solidify the suspension at the world level. So if there's a sense of familiarity, similarity to this, Ajahn Le Koko, you are right to feel that sense. We've gone through this cycle with Oshomole, with uh, Iyocha Ayu, and it looks as though. Uh, do, you, do you see the shadowy hands of Machiavellian puppeteers uh, trying to uh, move this guy out of that uh, seat? Look, let me tell you this, one man. Uh, APC is intact. It is not a sponsored um, move by the uh, top executive of the party or the power that be in the party. It's, what is happening is engineered by NFPC in the state. Some of these people mentioned as those that uh, went to court or those that uh, suspended him at the world level and all the red, uh, already, they already uh, came out to deny it and um, accuse uh, some people of impersonation, uh, you know, um, and uh, they, are, they are threatening to go to court. Um, so it, it is a, an orchestrated uh, move by opposition party in the state uh, to ridicule, um, what do you call it, uh, Gandhije, and, you know, um, and, and, and to uh, um, cause some instability. Uh, within their party. So, but you see, the party leadership at the national level are with Gandhije. The president is with him. Other power that be with him. So, uh, I believe um, this will die down along the way. I think they have appealed. And those people that have been uh, the purported, um, what do you call, uh, uh, people behind the action that uh, are the officers at the world level, uh, uh, I think they will come to the courts to deny that they were not part of it. And they will come out to uh, tell the court that uh, it was a kangaroo move, kangaroo move by some uh, element uh, not within the party, for, but from outside the party in order to cause uh, uh, steer uh, within uh, APC. So Gandhi J is not, um, I, th I think it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, his position is not shaky. He's still the, um, um, uh, the number one citizen of their party, uh, except the president that is uh, the overall leader. But as far as APC is concerned, is the number one uh, uh, citizen of the party. So uh, I don't see anything. I don't see Gandhi J uh, uh, being removed as the chairman of the party. You know, so uh, that's the way I see it. One man. It, it was an uh, orchestrated uh, uh, move by the NMPC just to embarrass him and to cause uh, some. Uh, instability uh, within APC. Oh, oh, all right. Who, who is orchestrating this now next headline, uh, um, Ajahn Le Koko? So, um, Yahaya Bello, the EFCC have, after him, the uh, allegation 50, 80 billion naira, uh, I think they, they, they probably find more than that as they continue to dig. Uh, but uh, quite interesting things happened. It, as they were trying to effect his arrest, the uh, sitting governor of uh, Kogi State, uh, Governor Ododo, he breached security and used his immunity 
to whisk Yahya Bedo away. A Governor Ododo Bridge Security used his official convoy as get away vehicle for what Yahya Bello uh, to evade arrest. So this is what the EFCC are saying. So what's going on there? Uh, Yahya Bello, of course, you know, uh, Buhari's uh, uh, boy. <laughs> One man. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah, yeah, be no mash and won't let you job. I know. Yeah, yeah, be no mash and won't let you job. I love that. <laughs> you see? Oh, that's why you see? Oh, that's why you want to, to prophesy. Yeah. What the what, what, what you prophesy? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you like, he can run from pillar to pole. He cannot escape it. They will get him one day. It's a master of time. Before now, what we heard is that he's been sleeping in the government uh, quarters, governor's quarters in uh, uh, um, uh, um, Kogi State in order to uh, evade the arrest, to escape arrest. You know, I think they've been watching him and they knew he was in Abuja. That's why those people move, uh, you know, Storm his uh, uh, his house in Abidjan in order to effect arrest. So, but uh, just like what we are saying now, I mean, this uh, headline is telling now. The governor came. How did he get in the first place? Can we ask a question? How did he get to uh, Abuja from uh, Kogi State to come and rescue him? He, 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 I mean. What you, you know, you know, a lot of these governors don't actually stay in their own home state. You know, it was probably already in Abuja. The only the deputy governor often runs they 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 run their state via telephone calls, don't they, from Abuja? It, it, it's, it's look. Anyway, Ododo is his boy, so he's just walking to. He's not doing a a good favor to his boss now. Uh, you know, but I think yeah, yeah, Bello, he just uh, I, I think he's just uh, wasting his own time. It is time for him to surrender himself. I I I I are you surprised by um how Tinubu is moving against uh um Buhari's acolytes? Uh, because um uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Bello is one of uh, Buadi's uh, core inner cocker sort of a uh, person, isn't he? Look, let me tell you one man. The way I see Tenombo running the government, it looks like he has given everybody the free hand to do the job and do it, do the job well. He set a, a monitoring team or committee, rather, that will monitor each person on how they're doing the job. If they don't do it well, they will be removed. So the EFCC, I think, is not intervening in the way this guy is doing his job. So if not, he won't allow this to happen against, uh, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, Yaya Bello, because Yaya Bello was the leader of the youth during the campaign. <laughs> He's the leader of the youth, national youth of uh, the party. He, he coordinated all the youth across the country for Tinumbu election. So, but I believe that um, Tinumbu is not trying to interfere, is not trying to tell a guy, is not trying to obstruct uh, in any manner when ESCC have to do their job, when Central Bank have to do their job, when, you, you know, others, the ministers, Wiki doing his job and other, th other people, you know. So, um, they, they remember that this is not 
a, an allegation against this. It's not a new allegation. Remember, we treated this like three years ago or two years ago on this platform when the report came out that Yaya um, uh, 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 when EFCC investigated um, um, and uh, discovered that some money were missing. You remember one man from the state? Yes, over. now it, they've yeah. been after him. It, it, in fact, it was in the back and forth with them in the news. Um, it was back and it, forth. You know, they were fighting it out on the on the in the headlines uh, in the here head. and yeah. So it, it is not something. It was because of the immunity that he had as a governor. That's why they couldn't do anything. But this allegation and all this fact against him has been there for a long time, and that. That was what, you know, is responsible for um, Dino de Melaye singing, I mean, against him that he was saying on Lenny Joba. So I think this guy is just, he's just wasting his time. And he will be disgraced. What I mean by disgrace, the way they're going to catch him is going to be very, very embarrassing. And people will just look at him that why not just surrender I mean, look at fire she. when fire she finished fire she did not even wait he went straight to EFCC you remember one man he, 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 no, yes, now I, I remember with his <laughs> neck brace. Do you remember his neck brace? Yes. Uh, my neck, my, my After <laughs> he just, the, he, uh, I think it was that very week that he handed over. I think he have a T-shirt with a, a inscription that uh, I'm surrendering to EFCC or something like that. Fire Chief went there straight. He did not even wait for them to come and knock on his door. Because already, before you, um, uh, uh, when they have anything against you, they will let you know, but they cannot effect arrest or do anything because you are governor, you have immunity. So it is now left for you to surrender yourself. Just go, go and clarify. Immediately you are stepping out of the office. Just go and go to them and then go and clear yourself with them. So that was what Fayose did. So, but this guy, I don't know why he didn't want to surrender himself, why he's running from pillar to post, why he didn't want them, we didn't want to go to um, uh, EFCC headquarters. I mean, they were just keeping the cooler. He already stole a lot of money, just like you are saying earlier. He must already uh, max some amount, 30 billion, 20 billion out of that 80 for legal um, battle. And at the end of the day, how long are they going to put him in jail? He won't spend too long time. So what is he running away from? So, but what I don't like, one man, is he FCC storming on people's residence without warrant of arrest, you know, that is what I don't like. But that guy, as in the article, was saying that they could even effect arrest without um, uh, warrant of uh, uh, arrest. So y yes, I, 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 I'm not quite sure if he was saying that was pe peculiar to the EFCC. So they, they want to arrest him, but he's gone and gotten a judgment from Kogi State to say they cannot. What's all this nonsense? Even the police want to arrest you. And you are saying the police, they, what sort of a judge grants you an injunction to tell you <laughs> that, that the police can, uh, they can't arrest you? <laughs> Look, Nigeria, Nigeria can be funny sometimes. But but, but, but banana Republic, you know, <laughs> banana, banana, banana <laughs> Republic, <laughs> yeah, but even, you, okay. even this court. The way they give injunction, the way they they they, 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 they look like a, like 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 you know, it, it's just so laughable sometimes when you see some in injunctions, some uh, coming out from our court, stopping you know um, uh, action by the state against some you know individual, particularly when they are on corrupt charges like this. So. Um, 
so, but what I think that EFCC should do is to go to the court, get a warrant arrest, and that will legitimize that arrest action against him. Uh, Baba, Baba. Yes, sir. Yeah, they've got they've got the warrant of arrest. They got that. Okay. Yeah, they got it from federal court. Oh, okay, okay, fine. So, but this guy is trying to run away to come and give account of his stewardship. He's just wasting his time. He's just wasting. They, you know, the way they embarrass. Um, what do you call that? Uh, former governor of Fumo State. Uh, uh, is it um? Oh, oh, oh the, is it the, the, the one that that the the the, the, the oh, is it Okoro? Oh, oh, oh yes, when they went through his roof, <laughs> <laughs> when, they, when they went through his roof, <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> Look, our people here, but I want to You know, I, that is what they're going to do to you. You will be surprised the day they will get him, they will embarrass him, and they will treat him like, like, like a, 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 a hardened criminal. They, that is. I mean, he should just go and surrender himself. If he's sure that he has not done anything wrong, if he's sure that he has not embezzled the state fund, wh wh why is he running away? Why is he running from pillar to pole? So, um, but, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's just uh, laughable that a governor, it, it look at somebody that they are blowing sarin for, they are showing executive excellency, what is the meaning of excellency in Nigeria now? When some people like this can make mess of the title of, I mean, a, a high position that the the a, a, a position of authority that they held, they, they 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 mess it up, they mess up their integrity, they mess up that you know valuable position in 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 in, in the country. And they want to walk. They want to. They think they can just walk away after doing doing all, all of that. Walk away, free, and walk among us. And then, you know, uh, 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 walk their way again to higher uh, position of authority. I mean, it, it's just uh, it, it's just wasting the time. I think uh, if. If he's um, if his lawyer, I think, should be able to advise him, the best way forward is for him to surrender himself. Let them go through the, the legal the legal process and see how they can you know um, fight for him um, in accordance to the law. You know that is the only way out, not by running. And the governor that came to pick him up, I mean, this country, this kind of rascality. Do, 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 rascality. You, do, you, do you think it's time for us to revisit these immunities that, um, that the governors have? And, and maybe to put some caveats in there, it, it, can't, it can't be a carte blanche because um, he, of course, will put uh, Yahya Bello in his car and then as soon as um the Ayabilo is in his car, nobody can touch them. Nobody can will, yeah. yes. So I think I think we have to even that governor is an anti-state. What he did is a saboteur. He acted as a saboteur against the state by that action. You understand what I'm saying? He came to rescue criminal, or don't let me say, is he, is he, can it be described as criminal? I think it's a criminal. Let, let's call him a suspect. Yeah, he was a suspect. Yeah. Even though he's a criminal. Even really. he's a, yeah, a, a suspect from the scene where the authority attempted to arrest him. That that cannot happen in this country in, in any democracy that is well organized that cannot happen you cannot come and rescue a suspect 
depend any person, <laughs> you know, acted in such manner, should be arrested as well. I think we have to run a country in such a way that people can have confidence in that country that all of us are equal before the law. So the governor came to rescue him, to take him out in his vehicle and run away. I think that should have been, if uh, 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 the EFCC should have prevented the governor from doing that. He has no right to obstruct. But, but they can't, can they? But they have been all over the news uh, just what, what, what complaining saying, about it. Yeah. Nobody have the right to obstruct them in the course of carrying out their responsibility, except the court. Except the court. Except if there is an order from the court that stop it, don't do it. And maybe the boss of ESCC call his boss or somebody quickly run to them, gave them an order from the court and which they have to abide with. But for anybody to come voluntarily to obstruct them in the course of carrying out arrest and carry away a suspect, I think that person has committed an offense. I think they have a, a kind of uh, um, um, allegation that they, they, anybody that obstructs uh, um, um, uh, uh, security officers from carrying out their responsibility, I think they have a kind of... Uh, um, an offense against that person. And that is what this governor should have been, should have been charged for as well. So, it, 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 I don't know, man. It, it's just embarrassing that governor, governor came to rescue a suspect away from the scene where EFCC were trying to effect arrest. It, it, is, it is very embarrassing. So, but he's doing a good job for his boss. That was, his, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this um, Bello is his boss and uh, he installed him there. That is why you see this governor, we always work hard to install somebody that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that want to protect them. So <laughs> look at what we have seen now. He installed his boys there, his boy there as the governor, his boy is protecting him. So he took him away took him to the governor's uh, house, residence, where nobody, no security uh, personnel can come and uh, um, effect any ad ad arrest. So Yaya Belu is already in prison himself. He is not doing any good for himself. And it's a matter of time. They will, they will, they, they will get him. They will get him. So it's just shameful that that governor acted in such manner. It is not good. It, it, they are not showing good leadership. Um, he shouldn't have acted like that, but you know, we know why he acted like that. But uh, I think, I, I was like yes, it's yeah. not new. I mean, Wicked did it, uh, Ariel Parish did it, um, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Bobby or something, something like no, that. They, they, they were, they were, they were, they Sorry, uh, carry on connection. Now, who of that? Carry on, carry on. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the move. Uh, I said it's I not new why. that you know you have a, 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 a certain governor shielding um, a wanted uh, fugitive. Uh, I probably we did it in Port Harcourt. I remember she did it. I mean, then it wasn't even a politician, it was a apostle Suleiman. No. This way, man, I don't even know the difference this is. So, I mean, it is not new. They use their, their authority or their position to shield uh, the, 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 the accused. So, and nothing happened. So, this is not new that he's doing it for now. But I wonder why, how EFCC is unable to arrest him, even though, I mean, except that he sneaked him out of, the, uh, of his house or put him in, a, uh, in the trunk. And drive out, right? So they've been doing yeah, the there, there is, not there is actually, uh, there's actually a clip of uh, the 
they are sitting um Kogi State Governor. I, I, I'm going to mute it and play it in the background. There, there's a there's a clip of the sitting uh, Kogi State Governor storming the scene of the arrest to effect yeah yeah. Hello. Yeah, it went off a little bit, but I can hear you. Am I still here? Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. No, no, no. no. I, I'll but... say that the, the, there's a clip of um the sitting. Uh... Oh no. Yeah. Let, let's get back to Adele Coco. Uh, uh, Devali, if you can uh, unplug the uh, uh, Bluetooth. I'm not possible. using. I'm. I'm you not guys... using Bluetooth. I'm not using Bluetooth right now. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, can you I'm hear? not using it. might be your, your network. I think, right your, I think it's oh, your oh, network. Oh, all right. Yeah, nah. oh, oh, all right. Is, is it my system that is quaking? I, I think it's your system. Maybe it's not you, Diwali. Maybe me. I'll carry on is the it? conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out and come back in. Is that the is that the video you are showing? So the governor? OK. Adewale, what are you saying? No, I'm saying that is this is not the first time that um, uh, an authority, a constitutional authority, will be using the, uh, the position to shield uh, a fugitive. That uh, Ayo Farage used it to shield uh, the, what is his name? This uh, uh, pastor, I think, uh, what is his name? Apostle Suleiman, something like that. Then Wiki did it in Port Harcourt uh, when he. Uh, he used the position to protect her. I forgot the name of that individual. And then also, I believe that it was lady, a part of it. Sorry? And the Sorry? NDCC. That lady has said it. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, yes, when he, when she protected that woman. And also, uh, you also have, I think, uh, no, it, okay, it was that same wicked case then. So it's not new. But my, my, my issue is that how is he able to escape the uh, the sink? of the EFCC. Does that mean he was put in the trunk out of the uh, his residence? Because that would be constituted an obstruction of justice. If the city governor or anybody else oh, is, yeah, shield, yeah. is shielding you. the... I was looking for that uh, 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 that statement, uh, obstruction of justice. Yes. That's yeah. Justice. Uh, and and it's, it's, a, it's a felony on its own. I don't know about Nigerian uh, uh, status, <laughs> criminal status, but it's felony. Yeah. But because they will not be able to prosecute um, a sitting governor, it makes it a little bit more harder. But for maybe your ordinary citizen, now it will have been a lot easier to pick both of them up. But my point is that it's not, it's not the first time you will have that happening in the country. It's just a present way of joint power you know, to let the authority know that yes, they are there and nothing will happen to them. But I wonder how long it will be able to shield uh, what is his name? Uh, yeah, yeah, below. They are still, still going to be arrested, but perhaps maybe they are going to find uh, a soft landing for him. You know, maybe. Yeah, but I like to the noise going, I don't know what I can't, I can't be, I, don't, I don't think it's you. I think it's something. Well, it's like stop okay. now. It's stop now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's obstruction of justice, as I was saying. It, 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 uh, those EFCC guys shouldn't have allowed it to happen. They should have resisted that governor from carrying out that escape for Yayabelo. It's a pure obstruction of justice and he acted in a criminal manner too. He acted in a criminal manner. So it, it just, um, it, it's just it's um, just unfortunate that well, let's wait and see. Let's see. But he's just wasting his time. He, he should have go and see them. I mean, they can't detain him forever. Where is uh, the governor of Enugu State? Uh, I mean, sorry, an ambassador, uh, the one before Soludo get there. He was, uh, he, he wanted to escape too after handing over. 
I think the second day, he already packed his uh, luggages, trying to fly to the U.S. They caught him at the airport. They took him to uh, EFCC headquarters. He was, that, that was Willie Obiano. Willie Obiano. He spent some few, maybe a month there. They released him, maybe two months or so. They released him. He, he's in U.S. He's enjoying his life. So why, Yaya Bello, why can't you go and answer questions? Just go and answer questions. Wherever you have a legal right to defend yourself, if you have been accused of embezzlement, you have your own document that you didn't embezzle anything. You get your lawyer to go and defend you at the, at the court. And, you, they, 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 and, and it's, it's a, 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 I mean, when, you, when, when it's still a suspect, or what do you call it? I think if they can grant him a bail before you know, a court will decide on his case. He can come from his house or from... I don't think they will detain him, put him in detention uh, perpetually while his uh, uh, court proceeding is... Uh, 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 while they are having court proceeding against him. I think that will not happen. So what is his fear? He doesn't want to go and sit down in... Uh, go and go and go and go and go, go and have uh, uh, a room next to... Uh, 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 is it Namdekanu or who is there we, we, in DSS uh, detention? So, but let's wait and see one more. I think it's just wasting time. They will get him one day and they will embarrass him back. Oh, oh, all right. I, 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 Koko, let me take you to two more spaces and then I'll go on to Larry. I think uh, it was uh, settling his, uh, his child in uh, when we last said him. Uh, uh, so, so let me take you to this space. Uh, Ajane Koko, a lot of people sent this one in. Uh, they wanted your reaction to it. Uh, what Tinobu discussed with Afeni Ferry leaders in Aso Rock. So it was just the usual standard sort of uh, uh, presidential uh, engagement when these sort of characters turn up. But really, it's the symbolism of the visit rather than anything else. You can see the honor of Ife there, uh, uh, along with a lot of other, or other, or other. Um, elite spaces within the south southwestern space but the start turn of the whole thing is power fashion see? so what are you then making then of afeni ferry are finally going to pat their son on the back to say well done well um it's, it's good that they visited him and i hope that uh, they went to him with um um bundle of request and um advice on the way you can move Nigeria forward. Uh, uh, do you think this visit is one in the eye to Padebanjo? Do you think this is one in the eye to Padebanjo? Is this an forty visit? Look, one one man. I, I don't know <laughs> look but you see, Tinubu have a responsibility to unite the two fashion. If he really want to um, put behind a legacy as a leader that can unite people, uh, particularly all the political leaders in Yoruba land. Because as we have it today, he's the strongest politician in Nigeria and as well number one in Yoruba land. Whether you like it or not, he's the strongest and the greatest. Would, 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 you, would you say that Stenobo is the leader of the Yoruba race as of today? Uh, I think it would be counterproductive to call him the leader of Yoruba race. Is is uh, because he's a leader of Nigeria today. Some people, the, the, I mean, doesn't want to accept that he's the legitimate leader of Nigeria. So as long as we have him as a legitimate leader of Nigeria, you cannot put him in the position as the leader of Yoruba because Nigeria is bigger than Yoruba land. Yoruba land is just a, a, a you know a a, a component of. Uh, nation uh, nations uh, within that nigerian state so 
uh, but he, he, he have a responsibility. I think if truly is a true leader, I think he should have insisted that he want to see everybody, including Baba Yadibanyo. The can't Hell just... no. For what? Hold on, man. Hold on, man. I think you should have insisted that all the Afeniferi, the right and the left, all of them together should have come to meet with him. And that will have showcased Yoruba as not divided people. It should have, it, it, that would have, you know, send a, a kind of message to all Yorubas in Yoruba land and all over the world that, look, our leaders are together. They are united. They are on board with the president. No matter what the differences among them, when it comes to the nationhood of Yoruba, they close their rank and they come together. So Tinumbu failed today to do that. So maybe he's going to do it in the future. I don't know. Baba Yadimajo is not contesting the leadership position with um, um, uh, uh, Fasonotti. Fasonotti is leader, I mean, is older than him. He handed over to him. He's not going to say that while they are sitting down together in the same place, Baba Ayo Adebayo won't want to contest the number one position of Afeni Ferry. With uh, uh, um, um, uh, Baba Fasonotti. Okay. Okay. You've spoken well, but I disagree with you when it comes to inviting Father Banjo to Azuro. This is a person who took his stand to go against the son of the sword, which is not a bad thing. He took his stand, he stood his ground on his own conviction. And you don't expect the president. When you say that president is not the leader of Yoruba, I agree with you on that one. Um, it would be wrong for him to now um, you know, see himself as a leader of this race called Yoruba, but as a leader of the country called Nigeria. But inviting Baba Dibanjo to Asso Rock. Yes, uh, so, 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 sorry, Diwale. Apologies. Is the Nigerian state greater than the Yoruba race? Yes. And, yes. And the is the leader. The is the leader of the Nigerian state. Yes. So, so, and he's a Yoruba man. So that makes him the preeminent Yoruba person above their no. family, above their name. No. The no. Place. Well, if you look at it from that concept, well, you may say, look, is the authority over those people you mentioned. But in terms of the leader who actually can speak on behalf of the race called Yoruba, he is not in position. In talking about the division, you know, under his, uh, uh, his, uh, his position. But, uh, you know, it's, it, Yoruba race is quite different from the position of the countries. We're talking about something that unites certain group of people together in terms of language, cultural uh, beliefs, and all that. But in Nigeria, Nigeria is diverse. That is why he's the leader. I mean, that means if he's the leader of Nigeria and also the leader of Yoruba, that means he's also the leader of Igbos. He's also the leader of, uh, I mean, talking about one is it, or Arewa group or whatever. So, but those social cultural groups also have their own you know, hierarchy of leadership and all that. But above all, they are not holding any public uh, position. So that makes them different from the position Tinubu is occupying. And that is why you can actually place Tinubu 
as the leader of those groups. But as the leader of the entire country, yes, but not leader of Yoruba. Anyway, but the reason why Adipalibando would not even honor the invitation to come to the Asura, except if there's any uh, consultation purpose, uh, maybe there are certain things he wanted him to do to use his office, his authority to, to do for him or for whatever he wanted, he can as well go on a separate mission. But to have accompanied those elders in the uh, Afeni Ferry to go to the Astro Road, number one, he has not even identified with them because when the Tinobu went to Akure, these people were the same group that welcomed him to, to, to Akure and they identified with him and they took the stand to support him as well. So to now include him uh, in the roster to go to Asura now to do what? He's not, he did not even speak in the same um, way with them. So if he did not recognize, well, as the president of the country, he has no choice than to recognize him. But he took his stand. So what is the point? Of, of course, I expect Tinobu to give him the honor that is due, you know, as once his leader. But not to the point of, to me, even inviting him is more of uh, ridiculing the old man. Because for what? For what reason? Right? Um, but of course, I still expect him to extend that honor to him. Because if he goes to Asso Rock now, and you have the obedience that is more or less their, their patron, so to say, what, what do you think they will be thinking? They will say that the man went back on his words, right? So, and it, it's, it's not as if he has. Um, as accepted Tinubu wholeheartedly as his president or as his leader, but you know, gradually he has no choice than to accept, right? And uh, uh, him being present in Asu Rock with the rest of other leaders of our territory, well, to me, there's no division in Yoruba land. Let's just get that straight. There's no division. And our to me, to some extent, has lost his credibility, whether it was by uh uh, fashion or the same party branches version, they've lost their their stronghold on the political uh, 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 lost that grip on the political system in the southwest, and you now have uh, the uh, the Tinubus, uh of today, you know, holding soil in that region. So I wouldn't expect him to honor that invitation to go to Asoro. But if there's any other forum that will bring them together that is not political in nature, yes. And in terms of maybe consultation, maybe in terms of, you know, there are some things that will bring people together, not just, you know, all this, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, visitation that is more you know, solidarity in nature and all that. To me, that is yeah. what I expect by the manager to, to do not just, just, you know, go down the jamboree like the rest of them. What have they, you know, those people that went to Asura, what have they achieved? So that's where I disagree with Baba Jali Koko and areas that I agree with him. Yes, I agree with him. But there's no point no. going to answer up with that. Oh, oh, all right, Brian. All right, Ajali Koko, bring that space home uh, and then I'll take you to one more space and then we'll go to Larry, who has been waiting patiently. Uh, back to Ajali Koko. Look, um, uh, Adewale, I'm Yoruba, but I'm back to the Loki. The time for politics is over. It's the time for governance. And when you want to govern, you must bring people together. Particularly people from your own tribe. Leaders from your own tribe. any sensible and um, um, any sensible leader we always try to bring the leaders the political leaders in his own tribe together because whether we like it or, or not they uh, they constitute his political base. If he loses them, 
he will lose all. So, as far as I'm concerned, the success that Tinobu achieved today, the foundation of his political career, of his political, you know, um, um, the foundation that it, 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 the source of building his political empire came from Baba Ayuade Banjo. Odo Tobag Omagbe. So I don't think that politics of scatter scatter is the is the best way of politicking. It's not, it's not, it, that is not the way. Particularly when you already win election, you have to look back, bring people together, let's work together and let's move forward. People that did not work for you today in politics could come to work for you tomorrow. That is the beauty in, you know, political, uh, 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 I mean, this uh, 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 politics. So uh, I think that it should have done better, done better by bringing them together insisting, telling them both sides. And I believe they will listen to him. All of them will have ever said, look, Baba Edwadi Baba, all the camp. And that is the way you can show that yes, it's a uniter as you people have been um Ajale -koko. several times. Yes. Can I say something? Um, I don't know if you if people are aware. I know some of you are aware about um, the beef between Tinubu and um, this guy, former on those states, uh, George, um, Body George. Do you know that Body um, Tinubu sent people to Body George many times? One of the interviews that he granted some uh, many months ago, he was still like vibrating that, no, I will never accept whatever. They, came, they sent people to me and was still like um, wanting to still maintain that uh, that beef between them. But I don't know if you guys have listened to his uh, recent uh, interviews that he did. You could see that um, he's, uh, he has started changing too now. He's, he's seeing spiritual praise in some ways. So my question is, like you were saying, I don't, because I don't know the crux of this, so I, I've just been trying to listen in, uh, understand. But if by the way, to go by what you just said lastly, the last thing you said, uh, that he should try and unite them, bring them together. So if he could do that, if he could send people to Body Judge to get Body Judge to come on the same table with him, because the um, the people that uh, Tinubu sent to Body Judge, they were telling him that you cannot continue doing this again. He's the president now. I mean, he himself said it now. You guys need to go and watch one of those um, one of those previous um, interview that he granted. Uh, I think Arise on channels. He didn't say that Tinubu sent them to him. No, so who said who sent them to him? Who sent them? Who sent no. them? Is, is themselves in uh, Lagos Island that went to you, some of the leaders that, look, let us come together, let us do this, let us do the No, it's not the Nubu that send people. No, but, 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 but what he said, I, I, don't, I don't know, maybe we are, we are both reading the whole interview differently. Uh, I, from, I, the, from what I gathered there was that it was... Uh, rational, man. So yeah. I think what happened was the leaders, you know, the leaders in Lagos, Lagos. they just put themselves together because... But the judge too is, is a high chief in Lagos, and they just felt they can actually settle things internally. I'm not sure because I think Bode Judge also said it himself, himself, that I think they just came came to him. It's not like Tinubu sent them to to go meet him and beg him or, or no, it's not Tinubu. No. The leader is that um, you know, within the caucus of Lagos that said, okay, uh, let us work together. How many of you say come in? And he, 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 he look at it as a move, maybe to lure him into APC. And uh, he said, no, we, 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 ideological um, 
I mean, political, ideological uh, differences does not uh, mean that, uh, you know, we, we have parted way forever. No, we just don't agree on the way we can run the state politically. That is just it. And he mentioned it there. So, but, you know, look, Tinubu is the leader of everybody in that country today. Be call yourself a political leader, business leader, anybody. Traditional leader is the leader of everybody. So he cannot allow this kind of thing. He got nothing to achieve to allow Afeniferi to break into two. No, he cannot allow it to happen. He should be able to bring them together. And that helped the unity of the people of Yoruba land and help us, you know, to get stronger than ever before. That is the that is what it could do. So, but leaving some some some, uh, I mean, the second part of uh, Afeni Ferry out, inviting one. I don't know whether it's going to invite Baba Yadima later, but I think it should work towards uniting them and let them. Uh, be one the way they used to be. That is good for him politically, and that is good for us as Yoruba people. That is what I want to see as a Yoruba man. I'm not happy with the division. I'm not happy with it. Politics is over. It's time for governance. What are we going to, what is going to be our benefit now and the future as Yoruba people? And what we've been calling for, that is restructuring good governance, how could we use it? How could we use this time to pressure Tinubu to effect good governance and effect that um, uh, restructuring that will make Nigerian work? It's Yoruba that have been in the lead of this restructuring. We are the ones that have been in the lead. But by Yadebajo, there's not no time. Go and check all this interview. There's no interview of Baba Yadebanjo that you will not hear the structuring of Nigeria. And what, what does restructuring? Simply, the most important part of restructuring is resource control. Resource control. That takes power away. Illegitimate power. This central power by the federal government is take it away from them and give the power to the people in each state and each region, it gives them the power. And they use that power to, to develop the, themselves at, the, at their own pace. So well, it, it, such a man cannot be abandoned. Such a man cannot be neglected. Mm -hmm. Such a man cannot be rubbish. I stand with Baba Yadibanjo. And I don't have any problem with Baba Yadibanjo. They are all our leaders. They are all our elders. I really appreciate every good thing that all of them have done for Yoruba people. These people have been fighting for Yoruba interests since the 50s. Since the 50s, before independence. So what are we talking about? So, uh, but Tunumbu, he just came in, he just came in just like 40 years ago in, in politics, and he should do better. He can do better than uh, what he's doing. He cannot, he cannot he, he, he can he, he can get strength, political strength by dividing people. That is not the way you can. Get. It, it can it can help you for some for some time, but it it won't last. So if that is what he's doing, so I wish he can do better. Bring them together, man, one man. That's what I, I want to. Do. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Thank you, Ajale Koko. So, Ajale Koko, let, let me go from you to, uh, and, and thank you for holding the space uh, as others come in. Uh, let, let me go from you to Larry, who I think is uh, ready now. We started to hear the sound of his voice. So, 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 Larry, uh, are you ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Good evening, oh, oh. Good evening everybody. Good. Good evening to you. Uh, good to have you here. Always a delight. So, 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 uh, I mean, do you want to free flow? Did you see hey, the... Oh, uh, yeah. Let me just say something out there. For every listener, okay. Larry is one of one man's favorite on this show, okay? <laughs> Let me just say that out there. Ajane Koko used to be oh favorite before. Ajane Koko has been relegated to the back border now. So Larry is one of them. is here again, eh? What I'll put you on the spot, one man. 
no, no, you are not putting me on the spot. Oh, for, 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 and Larry for the and, uh, and our, our baby from Texas is talking. And Prince, Prince, Prince Daddy, those are his favorites. <laughs> Is it this guy? Uh, 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 I'm not. Uh, 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 let no let's troublemaker then troublemaker then the reserve easy going live easy going like you know me and ajale coco yeah you know i don't know we fall in that category but let's troublemaker troublemaker again then you know uh maker then uh what is his name actually that man too far into that category is also a troublemaker he has them like uh, that line that he will call them just to make trouble he will now call us the peacemaker. It's good. I, I like that. Uh, for the record, he didn't mention me as a troublemaker. Oh, yeah. We, we have the crazy ones. We, we have the reserve space for that crazy people. That's where you fall down that category. You fall in. To be fair, uh, uh, Dewali, uh, for, for a moment, I thought it was just a. Uh, Going to be Larry, myself, and Ajande Koko just talking amongst each other, which, which I was quite looking forward to. Uh, but uh, uh, Larry, floor is yours. Uh, that clip by, um, or, or rather, that appearance by Yemi Kadoso in uh, in uh, at, at the IMF uh, spring meetings quite, quite inspired and it illuminates so much into what is going on. So he's told us his philosophy, willing buyer willing seller price discovery you don't even need to be an economist to understand that and it's told it told us that this is antithetical to that doctrinal stance to intervene in the trajectory of the naira it also explains the ebb and flow of our of our, of the foreign reserves mm -hmm. and it's told us to have the expectation that you will see those ebbing and flowing because that is the natural cost of business so the performance of Cardoso uh, 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 at the IMF uh, spring meetings, I give him an A plus. How do you score him? Uh, one man, you see, this was exactly what we were saying yesterday. Transparency doesn't cost you anything, and when you leave people to start looking for information every here, everywhere, then it costs. You know, there's this suspicion. And everybody, you know, won't even trust you. So I think Cardoso is actually right. You know, we said it yesterday because you know I was looking at the foreign exchange, at the foreign reserve movement, and we saw we saw when things started going down. And obviously, just like he said, they have a lot of debt to cover, and that was that's where he actually went to, which I think is still better than you know, if you have some money to cover some of those things, why will you need to borrow when you still need to pay some interest on it? which I think it's, it's actually good. And um, you see, another thing I want to say is this. I think a lot of people don't understand things. When, when people say, oh, they are defending, probably defending Naira against dollars. And I think that's exactly what Cardoso tried to expand shit. Why exactly do we defend? We defend when there is a lot of gap that calls for arbitrage. Remember when we had um, when we had a Mefele when we have almost three hundred naira difference. So at that point, you know, it doesn't really make any sense, you know, because you just have to say, okay, fine, let's cover the gap. You are covering the gap, and it's not like you're getting the money. You are more like you're just pumping, pumping money, right, for you to kind of like cover. And I think what Cardoso is trying to say is this: he said he's not doing that. Now, the only thing he's doing, it's kind of like, what are those other things that are injuring free flow of, you know, supply? And which I think is basically what he's trying to do. Work on those, those things, you know, if we could work on those things and we we can actually have that free flow, then it's, you know, maximum, the difference between what we have at the IIE window and what we have at the parallel market, maximum won't be just, won't be, won't be more than 50 Naira. Which I think it's 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 good, 
right? So, and I think another thing is, aside the fact that things are things are like this, I know a lot of people will still not believe Cardoso, you know, which is still normal, right? And I think the only thing he needs to do is to be more transparent, come out, let people know how things are actually going. And then obviously, you know, the currency will definitely find its, its way. You know, like we said, I'm still like, we are still, I'm still projecting that, you know, it's still going to go a little bit down. And another thing I think people don't really understand is in terms of supplies, CBN cannot, and CBN is not expected to even pro provide, you know, that supply that we really expect. A lot of those supply comes from we, you know, people abroad kind of like moving things, which I think he has actually done. You know, there, has, there used to be this, you know, this, there used to be a lot of a lot of issues without free flow. So if you can maintain what he's doing now, ensure that there is free flow, overall, everything will be normal. So I give it to him. I like what he has actually done. You know, hopefully, probably uh, Abba uh, Kari will learn from that. Because <laughs> anytime I think of Kari, I think of that kind of like... Uh, uh, that kind of mathematics that Kiari is doing, which you know, to me, he, he, he doesn't. Ha it's it's not really hard enough because they will yeah, who, who do economics, Abi? Who, 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 uh, who economics? <laughs> because I can't see anybody that can actually, you know, nobody can add anything together. You know, the guy just come and tell us, okay, you guys don't talk. We are we are covering our costs. You guys don't talk. We know what we are doing, and you know, you can't keep telling people not to talk. You know, when everything is just shady and people are like, what exactly is happening? You just tell us, don't worry. And you know the, the you know why why um I think people should talk now. Because when you now get to know the exact thing, it will be a lot of mess that that for you to even clean, you know, it will be so so crazy. And that's why for me, I'm more like, let us know what we have, let us know the problem. Right, and it's easier. It's even easier for us when we know the problem to kind of like say, "Yeah, are we really going to take these routes that you are taking us to?" But when you are not telling us, this is more like you are not telling us. You know, <laughs> we have a building, and the foundation is already going. Is already going. Is already going. You tell you are just, just telling us, "Don't worry, you will be fine. Don't worry, you will be fine." And I got to a point where the only there is just only one pillar holding the whole building, and you are not like saying, "Oh, yeah, so this is it." Which for me, I think is still, you know, is still wrong. I think, you know, I don't. I'm not a governor in Nigeria, and I'm not in in in, in the position of authority to be able to force that information, because I think at this point, people need to. We need to have people that will force it, right? If you need to go through the legal route for him to tell us, we need to know. You are you are covering your cost. I don't. Need, you are covering your cost. You're doing this. You're doing that. At least let us have an hint of what exactly is happening. If you are covering your costs, yeah, we know probably in the next, probably, okay, with what you've, you've covered, probably at the end of the day, you now tell us federal government is holding you, which means that probably in the next two, three years, we won't be getting anything from NMPC. Right? That's that's exactly what's going to happen at the end of the day. You know, they will now come back and say, okay, you know, as it is now, you know, federal government is owing NMPC. You know, you know, they've always said that. The federal government, every time they come up with so many trillions and say this is what federal government is only owing NMPC. So because of that, you know, do plus or minus, federal government won't be, as in the federation won't be getting anything. So that's why for me, I'm more like somebody needs to force this. We can't keep keep waiting on insider, we can't keep waiting on Wall Street Journal to now give us information. And probably Nigerian newspaper will now be quoting Wall Street Journal when in our backyard we have who to hold. So let's hold him and let him come out. Tell us. Cardoso has actually done a good thing, telling us, even though people will still doubt him, which is still normal, right? If you give the right information, people will still doubt you, which is still normal. Everybody can even believe you. But at least we have something to hold on to. Then if there is any issue thereafter, we can always go back to that thing. That, okay, Mr. Man, you told us this this time. So can you? can we hold you to what you've actually told us? But... NMPC is not like that. I can't even boast. If NMPC tell you, go out, it's morning. I'm telling you, it's night. It's not morning. 
is night. If any NPC tells you, don't worry, Porta Court Refinery will work tomorrow. I'm telling you, Porta Court. You, you know that mainly, Kerry, he's been telling us that Porta Court Refinery will work next week for, for six years. <laughs> for six years. That's exactly what I'm saying. So he, he, has, he has a particular phrase. He will tell you that it's 97% complete. <laughs> I, I don't know why. What the, real, the remaining 3% though, it has to be the biggest struggle known to mankind. Say, it's been 97% complete for, for 97 years. No, it's, 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 it's just so unfortunate. It's just so unfortunate. And most of those people are doing some of those things. And people are not really, you know, people are just, okay, let's leave them. You know, let them do what they want to do. And it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that because the more you keep leaving them to do what they want to do, at the end of the day, when you now eventually know the truth, then uh, it will be so, so messy. You know, look at what was happening. We never knew that Wizard and Miz was up to, up to 30, 30 trillion. But because nobody was... That's why I give it to, to this guy, this uh, uh, Edo State Governor. If you remember, I raised that alarm that these guys were basically just printing money. Oh, people were like, no, don't worry. Why is he saying that? Why is he saying that? And at the end of the day, when we now saw the whole thing, right, we knew that we were in a deep mess. So that's exactly what we might actually end up getting into with this. We are doing plus or minus. We are doing the calculation. Don't worry about the calculation. At the end of the day, just go and sleep. You know, your house is on, is on fire and somebody is telling you, go and sleep. Let me see the let me see Larry, the... Larry, not only the governor of uh uh Edo State, State that raised that uh alarm, even Alaji Kazauri, what is his name? That oh one... our 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 man. Uh, yes, he was saying <laughs> our it bim, bim, bim man. Bim, bim. He was saying it that what Emefeli stole. Mm -hmm. He said what he has seen as a mefeli stolen. He said he can bail out the economy of Nigeria. Yeah. That guy was saying, did you remember that? Yeah, I remember now. Even people were saying, oh, he and he mentioned that amount. He went to of, this, and people are saying, oh, he's talking Abuja nonsense. Abuja. That he cannot speak English. He's yeah. talking nonsense. Let me, do you know that those people those people intentionally ensure that that guy didn't come back to us. Did not come back. Yeah. See, Nigerians are very crooked people. <laughs> so they know they know everything. So that's they why I forced that guy, they work against him within the party yeah. not to yeah. come back because so he everything. was anti mfl And he was saying he had the document. He said, I took the document to the president to show the document because he was in the committee that investigated the uh, um, 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 uh, 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 activity of Emefeli back then. He said what he saw that Emefeli stole. He said he can bail out the economy of Nigeria. Exactly, exactly. So that is why, for me, um, I I know what is I know what we will eventually see, but you know when it gets to that point, I'm telling you, it's going to be messy. It's going to be messy. So I don't want us to get to that point where. You know, we'll now start looking for one magic, you know, to 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 get us out of out of that. You know, we are already in CBN zone. We are still trying to look for a way to, you know, get out of it. And another one is already, you know, we are molding another one hop with an NPC. And that guy, those guys know what they are doing. At the end of the day, I I don't know. I don't know. So, oh man, that's that's. Oh, that's oh, 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 oh. Well, all right, let, let me take you to this space, uh, Larry. Um, so the PDP are now having their NEC meeting. So sat to your to your right is uh, Atiku Abubakar. In the middle was your former vice president, under good luck, Jonathan. What a Sambo, I can't remember his first name. The yeah, name is Sambo. So, yeah, and then, of course, to, to your left, Yemsen Wiki. So, so they are looking it out now. What direction of travel? Uh, we we talked on this yesterday. Uh, uh, what direction of travel do you think that space is going? Hmm. Oh man! <laughs> you see, immediately I saw Wiki in that meeting. I started laughing. I said, "This Wiki guy for PDP." If you look at the two the two carcass, right? Wiki and Article. 
the two of them do not really mean well for PDP. If PDP, you know, want to get themselves to be more viable, they just need to do away with Atiku and Wike. Probably a new force needs to just come out of PDP. Because the way it is now, let's just be candid with ourselves. A week in PDP in 2027, we already know where we can, where we can's alliance lies. Now let's look at Atiku. Atiku is this person that you know believes that t PDP ticket is it's always easy to get. And all the doses, you know, bring in the money, work with some northern guys at the end of the day get the ticket again, and it's still going to be the same thing. So I hope if Atiku as a person, for instance, want PDP to survive, at this point, I think he just needs to come out and say, okay, fine, I want this party to survive. I want good thing. I want good thing for Nigeria. Then I'm going to forgo my own ambition and hopefully, you know, someone else can actually come. You understand? So at that point, then we, because we'll definitely have that opposition that we want. For me, I don't like a country where there are no viable oppositions. Now, if PDP is able to get itself together, I, you know, I was at the point I was more like, okay, fine. If we don't have that opposition coming yeah, from, so, so, so sorry, is Labour Party not a viable opposition? No, no, I'm, I'm actually going there. I was actually expecting. Right, probably if PDP was not really giving us that that opposition that we wanted, probably Labour Party would have been able to give us that opposition. But unfortunately, no, 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 no. Labour Party have not really they've not really gotten themselves to that point of opposition. I was expecting to have this this diversified National Assembly. But if you look at National Assembly since they actually started, have you seen any Labour Party? You know that we were expecting to, you know, to to help us balance things. Have you seen any of them come out to to boldly criticize any policy? You know, in a constructive way. No. All we've been saying is, you know, you know, you normal thing. If you can't beat them, you join them. That's exactly what's happening, and that's not what we actually want. So for me, I think PDP still have the capacity to be able to critique. I'm not waiting for articles critique. I don't even need articles critique. I need PDP because they have a lot, they have the capacity to be able to give us that opposition. Because a country that has is, it, is it because they are deeply embedded within the system anyway? So they, they can give a more nuanced sort of um criticism because they've been in government for a very long time and, and they still have a large number in uh, in in government so you know that's yeah. that's why i said i said we need new force to come out of pdp because if these two guys right the one on the right the one on the left if those two guys do not give way the new ones will not come up you understand because if you look at a country, let's look at a, 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 a working country. What makes a country work is opposition. You are criticizing constructively. You have the love of the country. And that love of the country, it's what really puts the kind of criticism you're going to give. So, but unfortunately, you know, I've not really been seeing that. So I hope, I hope, and hope if if Labour if PDP is not giving us that, I think Labour Party they need to just get back to the drawing board, identify what they want, and at least give us something. If they need to, at least have probably they need to have probably a workshop, get all those guys in National Assembly together, you know, put all of them in a room and say some things into their head. What exactly are you guys doing? If you look at even the obedient people, right? They don't even have touch with those guys in National Assembly. You know, the guys in National Assembly just took advantage of that movement 
and they are there, you know, they are not even representing what the obedience actually believed in. So for me, hopefully we get to that point where we have, you know, PDP. Uh, Larry, do, 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 you not think, uh, do you not think there's an element of lack of coordination as well that, that you can blame on the obedience space? Uh, because that obedience space, they've shown no interest in anything outside of Peter Obey. So they're not even holding, I, I, I doubt if they even know who their parliamentarians are. Never mind holding them to, a, a, account, to account. I account. They're not, at this stage now, that obedience space should be discussing an ideological thrust so that the the movement can move away from uh, the cult of personality to to the to the steadiness of ideology so you don't even they don't even have a thrust it, it's just um it, 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 it's, it's an unfortunate situation because it's a golden opportunity this obedient thing but i'm not sure that it's been properly managed you see uh, yeah you know the, when they said structure, you know, structure actually matter a lot. And that's where I feel, you know, the obedience, I don't know, I don't know their structure, you understand. So they need, at this point, I think they need to now sit back, you know, call themselves together. Election is gone. What can they do? And I'm actually expecting them to start building some layer of structures. Because if you want to win election, right, the taxes that worked in 2023 will not work in 2027. And for them to, and they need to now start thinking of, you know, building structures outside Peter Obi. Peter Obi can benefit from whatever structure they build. But presently, what we have now is everything centers around Peter Obi. And all respect to the obedience, you know, I have a lot of friends, you know, that are really, really deeply into, you know, you see them, no matter what you say, they love the country. But, you know, when people want things to change and they want it to change now, now, and that's, that's why you see sometimes they are hungry, sometimes they say all sorts of things, yeah, which is normal. So I think at this point, I think people need to now sit back you've been able to get at least a platform and now what exactly can can people actually now do you know at least build some structures it's not something that you can just wake up one day and get to that point but at least you can still build more you know when you when you want to build more get more and if they have those structures that structure can win you know more more house of rep seats more senate seats and even if you know, 2027 comes, right? They are not able to get it. They can build that structure that can actually help them massively in 2031. So, which I think it's, but that's not what I'm seeing now. Hopefully, you just see, you know, in 2026, everybody's like, oh, ah, ooh, ah. And at the end of the day, 2077, you know, you get there and, you know, oh, they rigged us out. They don't like us. No, it's not like that. So, I hope, you know, Build, they need to now start sitting down and see what they can actually do for them to get themselves prepared, not for 2027, hopefully in 2031, they will have, have a solid structure that can actually help them, you know, without waiting for probably somebody from the North is going gonna, gonna to do that. If they build structure, even within the North itself, you know, those structures will be the one to help them pull whatever they want to pull. And at the end of the day, they will have a voice that is so heavy, you know, that voice that is so heavy would definitely help them that at the end of the day, everybody will kind of like be afraid of them, you know. So which is what exactly I'm actually expecting. Hopefully they sit up and PDP with the capacity, hopefully they're able to really, you know, meet up to, to the expectation and get us a position that we really need. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Excellent. So do you want to take us to their Fanny Ferry space? Uh, um, to the Victor the Spurs, you know, the reward after a hard day's work. So uh, I, I never even knew that Papa Sharonti was in a wheelchair, but uh, uh, understandably so. I think he's closer to a... Uh, is he even over 100? I don't know. But uh, uh, what are you making of that space, though? Uh, Papa Sharonti, uh, he turns up with the... The only of FIFA was even on the entourage. So uh, essentially, what are you making of that, uh, the visit by the Afeniferi? 
Yeah, based yeah, on I think, the rock. yeah, I think it's actually good. You know, it's good that you know they need to. It's more of show of solidarity, and um, and I think Babaja Nikoko has has really talked extensively, even though personally. You know, I don't agree to some of the things Baba, Baba Jalen Koko said, particularly with with Baba Ayoade Banjo. You know, but I think Tinubu, you know, because most I was when Baba Ayoade Banjo, you know, celebrated his birthday, I saw that the presidency wished him. I, I wrote very good thing about him and and everything. So probably and and a lot of people don't even know. I, mean, I think I was listening to one of Baba Ade Banjo's interview. That it was more like, even though when he was even fighting Tinubu, almost every year Tinubu still sent things to his to his to his home, you know. So that hopefully I I because with the tone I saw in that birthday message, I know internally probably on the ground, you know, Tinubu has a way of you know reaching out to to them and like hopefully you know they you know these are old men and it's it's you know Yoruba. It's, I just hope they are able to really settle things, and everybody has everybody is fighting for one thing, and hopefully, I just hope they are able to settle it. But uh, you know, I hope they are able to settle. But I don't really see Tinubu settling it. They just we need to purge themselves on your FIFA because things like this, these are. Uh, but but what, what what's the incentive for Tinubu to even settle it? Um, the yeah. the only the only the only reason he needed to play nice. Uh, to people, to somebody like Padeban, the only reason why he needed to play nice was because he wanted to be president. So now he's president, so he can just tell him to go and go and swivel. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, he doesn't. It it it, 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 it has no power over him anymore. He can just tell him to 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 take a running jump. Um, yeah, that's why I said that is where the traditional rulers, you know, come come in. You know, if they need to call all of them together. Uh, or near Fife, talk to Awujale, Alake, you know, bring all of them together because it's all about one Yoruba. It's, 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 you see, because the this they are fights, you know, it's, 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 it affects a lot of things. So uh, it's not a Tinobu thing. I think it's more of the traditional rulers bringing everybody together, you know, and um, settling whatever they have and so that we can actually have a single front for our Fanny Ferry in Yoruba land. Well, I have a question. Uh, can I ask a question, Omar? Yes, sir. Yeah. What, what exactly are Fanny Ferry's uh, position in Europe in the first place? I, I didn't, I mean, what, what, who are they traditionally? Are they tra is it a traditional organization or it's just a group of people that came together claiming to be social cultural group? Kind of like, uh, I, so who are they? I mean, I didn't know just like hip hop in the South. I mean, why should president be meeting with them? To me, if president wants to unite Yoruba people, you should call traditional and people that have traditional no, types of traditional no. institutions. No, you so, wouldn't want to, we wouldn't want to equate a Fanny Ferry to hypo. Probably if you equate a Fanny Ferry to one Well, I'm not saying I'm equating it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm easy. One is the hypo different anyway. Right. Yeah, probably one is a, right? Yeah, probably one is a. You know, let's say one is the, but at least in the south, we can say kingship and stuff like that. So they are more of a Republican or whatever they call themselves. And the able men just rise and take charge. I get that. But Yoruba land is different. We have established tradition where, you know, a system, which is traditional rulers and traditional priests, chiefs, and all those things. One Afeni Fair is just a group of guys that started to form a Yoruba uh, in their own bedroom or whatever. A group of men. Like, I can, I can form my own Yoruba, whatever, whatever. It doesn't mean I have mandate of Yoruba people or any kind of power to affect anything in Yoruba land or, you know. I, I, I don't, so, Afeni, what, what is that? What exactly power do they have in Yoruba land? Yeah. Traditionally or any way? They don't. To me, probably now, this is just me personally looking at how I view a Fenifer. You know, constitutionally, they don't even have they don't have any power. But in terms of you know that charismatic respect, you know, a lot of, yeah, not it's, respect from who? 
No, no, no. It's not compulsory, but I a lot of people still see them as from from the Eurobars. From the Eurobars, there's still this. Who's the Eurobars? Me. You know, you might not yeah, really maybe, maybe not you, but the wider yeah. Yoruba spaces. You, really you? Be, you know, it might not really be you, but I still see a lot of, you know, a lot of people still respecting them, even though they've actually derailed from what it used to be during the like the days of Brahma Desonya, you know, when you can see them coming out all hard for the interest of, of okay. you. So, but Hopefully, you know, I am not sure we can actually get them. And and if you look at the whole thing, why exactly did we have this kind of affair in ferry? Is it not the same politician that went in, you know, do Doma divide and rule and, and everything, you know, to kind of like destabilize them for their own interest? Because Afeni Ferry during Papa Baramadeson, yeah, you know, used to be very strong, you know, where if there is an issue in Yoruba land. You can always see them coming together and looking for a way to kind of like forge a solution and see what they can actually do. But unfortunately, we don't even have them now. In those days, you you wouldn't be happy to 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 have yourself associated with you know with our fronts. But unfortunately, that's not what we really have. So it's not like they have any power. It's not like constitutional power to compel anybody. But sometimes, right? It's just more that respect and what they really stand for. Oh, 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 all right, Brendan, excellent. So let, let me take you to, um, do you want to speak on uh, Yahaya Bello? Um, it, 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 it's not so much, it's, it's almost, uh, and by the way, he was the youth leader of the Tinubu campaign. So so that tells you then that there's no untouchable, but it's not so much from uh, Kogi State that there was somewhat an inevitability to it. Yeah, you see, one well, man, for your ability, I'm not going to, I think, about this. Sorry, I, my, I fell off, man. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I wish, I don't know last question. Yeah. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, I just fell off. My Wi-Fi going off. Uh, I, I think, what, what is their role? What is the Avengers role in Yerubala? What is their traditional role? Yeah. Yeah, they don't have any traditional role. It's just too more like group of elders, you know, group of elders coming in, and I can't even say this is their. Con they don't have any constitutional role, but by virtue of so, so why should Tinubu be meeting with them? I mean, uniting their uh, them. Can, can I can I come in? Let me let me explain to Mike. He doesn't know. Look, Afeni Ferry is the. Is the core political, I mean, Yoruba political uh, identity. Really? Yes. And uh, they want to support OB? Okay. okay. All right. Hold on. You want to listen? I'm listening. I'm listening. Is the core political, Yoruba political identity. They represent Yoruba interests. Uh, so, sorry, Mike. Let let me mute you because of the background okay, yeah, noise. Yeah, yeah, if, if you want to speak. yeah, 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 yeah. So we represent Yoruba interests within that component called Nigeria. So when we want to talk about Nigeria, the interests of Yoruba, they are the one fighting for Yoruba interests at the higher level. They are even stronger than the political, than the, you know, the political class in Yoruba. They have all the political class under them. The okay, okay, I get your point. So now, tell me how. No. The, it, it, hold on now. I get your point. They are, you said they are the police, they represent the political interest of the Yorubas. And tell me how they serve the political interest of the Yorubas in this last election. And if they if they are the head of the political interest, and where will you put in the book? Uh, hold on. Um, um, what happened in the um, the last election? Their position was clear that on the basis of equality, fairness, and justice, they believe that look. If they are preaching 
if if what they stand for is e e uh, equity, justice, and fairness, they have to be fair to Igbo people. That Yoruba have had it in the name of Obasanjo, and the Northerner have had it. Buhari, um, these people, uh, Yeradua, and Jonathan had it for South South. And it's only Igbo that have not had it. They said, if they, what they are fighting for, what they stand for is equity, fairness, and justice. They don't stand for Yoruba people. They stand for equity, for fairness, and justice for the whole world, Abi. Yeah. Have you seen anywhere in the world where a government of a country is going to serve the interest of another country? You do you say you are your job is to serve the interest of the Eurobars and you are going to serve the interest of other people because you are you want fairness, kinikon, kinikon. I, I don't get it. Or a king of a tribe who's gonna be serving the interest of another tribe, saying no. because he wants something, fairness, and that's not their role. He told me their role is to the interest of the Eurobars. So if that's their role, then that's the role you should focus on. Why are they going to serve interests of someone else? And you're telling me uh, because they personally feel like something. If Yoruba people want to know, is that not what you represent? The, look, let, let me tell you this. We are not saying that. What I'm telling you, if you listen carefully, you will understand me. I get your point. They, they want yeah. to be a I get it. But if Yoruba people, if, so, and you know, uh, most Yoruba voted for Tinubu, so that's the interest of the Yoruba people. And the people you are claiming you are representing, that was their interest. So you went against their interest, and you are coming back to tell me you are in charge of me. You, are, you, are, you represent me, my Keniko Keniko. What? <laughs> okay. So w where do you live, Nigeria? Nigeria is the country that belong to all of us and what they have been fighting for is that they are fighting for nigeria Abi. hold on now don't interrupt me you okay right right go ahead. ask let me explain nigeria is a state is a country that does not i mean people that have been running nigeria never run it on the basis of equity fairness and justice and they were standing for that they were that is why they have been calling for the structure. And what they said that power shift from the south, they stand for power shift from the south to the I mean, from the north to the south and south to the north. So why they supported will be last time is what I told you because Obasanjo have had it for Yoruba. Yeah, do I have, I have it for South Side? It's only the Igbo that have not had it within that. Okay, I get it. I get it. So, so how does that serve the interest of the Yorubas? Why it serve the interest of it serve the long term interest of the Yoruba? Because what they are trying to do is let us unite ourselves in the South. Once we can come together, well, that's not their role. That's not their role. Your role is to represent your people, not the South. Not, and that's what I don't understand. Okay. You, you, you say you are leader of Yoruba people. You focus on what Yoruba people want. You can't be saying you want interest for the best interest of the South or Nigeria or Africa. Let, let, let me just come in. Uh, say, going against the interest of the Yorubas is was not the it, it was not the overall stance of their fenifere space. It, the, it was just an element within that uh, organization that went rogue. But the substantial body of the organization, they, they did as, as, as they were mandated to. It was just one standalone voice by Adebanjo for reasons of personal history against that, uh, uh, for reasons of personal history with Tenobo that used his leverage within that organization to try and push uh, that. How many were those people that went, uh, that went rogue, like you're talking about? How many are there? No, no, it's, it's Papa pa Adebanjo now. It was the no, one that no, went no. rogue. See, that's that the thing. Where, where, you don't, where you don't know, you don't know. That uh, is not very true, well. man. Where you don't know a group very well, is, uh, that's how you come true. talk the way you're talking. No, it, the majority it, it, of them. The 80, yeah. almost 90 percent of them they were with a uh, 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 decision and not, not as if he took that decision it was a it was a it was a unilateral uh i mean sorry it was uh, a combined um decision that they took together when this guy was still alive what was his name this guy that, that died um the former secretary um uh which uh i think a wife gave birth recently in, in, in her 60s or in her 50s or what's that man's name now that died of covid who was the secretary 
Yeah, I, I know the name, but it escapes yeah, me. At the moment. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was when he was alive, they've already took that decision that power must go to the south and Igbos must be considered in this time around. So why are you saying now saying that it's uh, maybe it's just only power pa, pa fashion ranty and maybe this guy was his name uh, that, that now became a uh, Falai that became king in Ondo and who again who are, who are bad for two of them. So and you're telling me that, that the majority of the African ferry they 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 they, 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 they stood with Paddy Major on that decision. And it was not a decision that he took unilaterally he did by himself. It was a combined tete -a -tete that they did together that they, they arrived at that, that conclusion. So yeah. why are you without putting him on or just putting down him on alone? So it, it, it's what, what they are saying is that they cannot be preaching against injustice and they also practicing injustice. That is going to be an injustice against our brother. We are the same Sardana. Ajani Koko, when the Nigerian constitution is that an injustice? When the Nigerian constitution is law being broken? Jackie, continue. because this guy will just continue asking us this question. I know you are from Anambra or whatever you come from. One man, one man, please. I've been here for a long time. Mike is a four foot tall, big mouth. You you prop him up here, we make a noise. Ajani Koko has answered this question 10 times. For him, uh, uh, that I'm very, I know they are serving your interest, so I understand that everybody that is for fairness, I that's fine. <laughs> I, I, they are the ones uh, telling you, Rwanda is evil. Everybody who says, Let's do something, right, doesn't want to do a good night, doesn't want to do a good night, but uh, let's they will not say, Oh, you're a good night. One man, let me suggest that you you kind of make the time frame like three four five minutes even for me i mean let's let's get some word in before dinner time here in the united states oh 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 oh, oh right. he's a no, powerful no. tall big mouth everybody should know that oh, he just oh, opened oh. his mouth oh, oh, oh all right uh yes um uh, back to you larry back to you larry uh yeah. after larry after that we will do that way through um the, for a period of time it was only uh the three of us here so so we were just chatting until everybody else came in. Uh, but Larry, back to you. I uh, take us to the Yahaya Bello uh, space. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, that's not a coincidence. I'm here. I bring him in, right? I, I have a pool, a, a pool people, there, including panelists and and uh, what, what, what do you mean? The comment section. I'm the star. All right. The star ahead. of what? <laughs> the show. Mm -hmm. but, uh, let's, sure. let's bring you home so you get to me here. Before I got here, you, you had nobody here. You had two or three people. When I what, come what, here, what do, what do you mean? my enemies rush in to come to <laughs> 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 You go past that now. Back to you, Larry. Yeah, so, so on this, is only one thing I would just say. I think the NJC need to, to, to stand up and... Um, try to rescue the legal the legal departments in Nigeria there's a lot of rascality you know that is actually happening within that space particularly that injunction from Kogi state because in terms of jurisdiction they were not supposed to give you know give that injunction but it's always easier for for every governor you know they have the the state uh state judiciary in their paws and there's no independence within that, you know, they could always quickly get an injunction and 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 some of those injunctions, even though when we know that some of those injunctions will not fly. And that's why when you see that when they get to, to appeal courts, you see some of the appeal courts, judges, you know, kind of like, you know, scolding some of these judges at, at the state level. Because in actual sense, if I were Yaya below, all I will have to do is to get a very good legal team and just do like Fire Shed did. Meet meet the EFCC, you know, let them know what you what you have. You know, maximum thing is just that, you know, they are still gonna bail you. You have your legal team, even though you even if you've stolen a lot, you know, at the end of the day, you meet at the middle. But all those things he's doing, at the end of the day, they are gonna embarrass him. Because this afternoon, this afternoon, the federal High, federal High court has given, you know, them the order to to get him, and they said they must they must produce him tomorrow. You know, which means that at the end of the day, they are just going to rubbish him. And for the for the Kogi State Governor, so it's no, it's it's not surprising to me, because I was actually it's a normal thing. Do you remember that when this guy was doing his swearing, this guy basically knelt down. 
publicly for for Yaya Bello. So, <laughs> so what exactly? It's it's not new. But but, but but what influence does Yaya Bello still have over him? Yaya Bello is the ex governor oh, now, so oh, you can no, tell no, him no, to no, get no. lost. You no, know? no 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 oh, man. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that in that Kogi state. Yaya Bello is a very powerful guy. He's a very powerful guy. When it comes to the Ibera people in Kogi state, he's a very powerful guy. For you to be able to face Yaya Bello in Kogi state, that means you must be very strong. Ask Dino now. So they know it is he's a very powerful guy. A lot of a lot of <laughs> that's why most times when you see election in Kogi State, right? It's a lot of things. And they what they did was basically, you know, you no, know, they have a lot of talks, particularly in Abuja. Yeah, Belo can can but basically the control. election have not been transparent there. They've been using this uh kill and go to yeah, yeah. This that guy, nobody's dares him, kill and kill and you know, you remember yeah. when they use um, helicopter gunship to attack PDP um, in 2019? Was it not 2019? Uh, yeah, I, I think one of Dino Milaya's relatives lost his life to that. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. yeah. To that. And and you know, the Kogi guys, particularly in Abuja, so they have this community. Look at what happened there. People were like, "Oh, why did EFCC allow allow?" The governor to take him. If EFPC had done anything in that place, there would be a lot of chaos. And in, they knew what they were doing. They brought a lot of those guys. They were plenty. So they were ready to let EFC just do a little bit of thing. You know, at the end of the day, it would be a lot of issues in Abuja. They'll start, they'll start causing a lot of trouble. So but I like what EFC has actually done. They've gone to the high court. They've got what they are supposed to go to get, and at the end of the day, you can see yeah, below is they will take him to in tomorrow. Right, uh, Larry. Let me uh, give you a little uh, insight in what I think is happening because I say that when I come here all the time. Yes, sir. Uh, these are minority groups. We have them all over the country, right? They 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 prop them up. Somebody like yeah, yeah, Belo. We have them uh, in it. Um, what was the name of that governor in, in River State that was a predecessor to um, Wiki? He has a Yoruba name and an Igbo name. Rotimi Amechi. Rotimi Amechi, right? We have uh, the other one, Okoro, Okoro Ocha. When these people are in power, they're very powerful, but they but they are propped up. But eventually, none of them escape with their loot and stuff like that. They come after them when they leave office because they're just there to play. A role they were propped up, but I will expand on that uh, phenomenon soon. All you have to do between now and when I speak is to think back at all the minority groups in Nigeria and and then how they are propped up uh, to be in power and they're like untouchable. This guy is born in Okene, in uh, Kogi State, yeah. a short little guy, and he's so powerful, just so powerful. for no for no reason. He's just such a powerful guy, but he could do everything until. That day they walk out, they step out of office, then they're going to come after them. And every other minority will be cheering them on. Go get him, go get him, go get him. So that is one of the uh, problems we have in that country. Don't give him due process, just take him. That's, 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 uh, uh, they divide us and they conquer us by doing that. So sometimes we have to sacrifice and say, you know what, yeah, this guy was a, a bad actor. But he should be treated as every other governor who left office, right? Give him due process. Don't insult him. Uh, uh, don't use thuggish means. Invite him in. And, and, and even though it's not right for somebody to uh, be that uh, fair, but at some point, the way we're going to have to look at is the marionette, the, the hands that's manipulating all these things. We need due process for even the worst criminals such as this Bello, but every other governor, all 36 of them are just as crooked, all of them. So that's that's why I want you to expand the aperture to look at the phenomena. Thank you. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think I think you actually, you know, you covered covered everything. 
So one man, I think I'm I'm good here. Please let's let's order to go. All, all right, brilliant. So so that's 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 you see that's the elegance of Larry right there, not want, wanting to hog the limelight excessively. So so thank you thank you, Larry. Stay stay with us. Stay in the conversation. Uh, so let's do um let, let's go to Dewale if it's ready. Dewale, you're up next. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, Dewale is joining us from work, so so he dips in and out somewhat. Uh, we go from then to uh, rational mind. Rational mind. Yeah, one man. Let, let me just pause this on the name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, sorry about that. I was uh, <laughs> multitasking here. Uh, were you watching porn or there? Uh, it was, yes, it sounded like <laughs> porn. Uh, yes, I, 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 you pick up on it as well. Look at that. Put that, put that no, Vaseline no, away no, and go wash your hands. Look at this guy. Put well, the Vaseline away. Yeah. Yeah. program. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it's not. Uh, why would I be watching porn? Why not? Uh, well, it <laughs> why, not why, why would I? I mean, I, I'm yeah, not. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, for for stimulation like now, for yeah. stimulation. Eh? I'm, I'm not a problem. Like, it's okay. All right, yeah. So what's, what are the topics? Uh, yes, uh, you, you can go to whichever, you know, uh, you are not restricted to the topics, but we're talking about Yahaya Bello being covered by the by the um, the current now governor. He wanted by the EFCC. So we're talking about that. We're talking about uh, the travails of uh, Abdullahi Ganduje, uh, court affirmed suspension of national chairman. So uh, we, we are seeing a sense of deja vu somewhat. Uh, this is usually mm. the pathway to getting rid of these people. Uh, Tinubu directs inclusion of NOUN graduates in NYSC scheme and law school. So the national, uh, uh, the, the, the national, open right uh, yes, it, it looks as though they are getting now uh, the proper uh, credit accreditation at uh, the long sort uh afeni ferry visits uh tenobo uh so i'm uh, more really the pictures telling the story rather than uh anything coming out of there uh Cardoso says cpn not defending naira so this is the uh the uh the governor of the central bank at an imf meeting explaining how he's piloting the nigerian economy and going on within the uh within the pdp Atiku, uh, Sabo, and uh, Wiki, others attend caucus meetings. So the uh, PDP having their NEC, and uh, wherever the uh, the chairman of that party emerges from, that tells us then both the sequence for 2027 and subsequently 2031. So I'll take your pick from there. But um, as you take your pick from there, let, let me actually bail out. Uh, I, I think I've got Thomas here. I would at this time, one man. Uh, why would you want to build out at this time? Because I started extremely late. So, uh, so, so, so. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, 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 one man, before yeah. you go, good, good evening, everyone. Yeah, yes, yeah. One man, there is a two story uh, uh, going on. I don't think maybe you, I sent you one video about um, about Yoruba people now doing like the hype up, um, doing um, bulletproof. Weapons, some local weapons was dictated by in your state. Uh -huh, by this, all this. Now, what are you doing? That one is gone since last week. It's not, it's not since last no, week. no, 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 no. About that, Coco, as a new video that surfaced, maybe I'm just seeing it. Maybe I'm, I'm the one that is not seeing it. Um, that is one done. Yeah. Then the, if you don't mind, uh, the Kobana chief, actually, Coco, will say I'm going to Bob Whiskey again now. Uh, the same offense was committed I, I by Fabrisky. You love you love that guy. You love but that, that's all right. If yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. the same offense was committed by Kubana Chief Peace. The guy was given bail of um 10 million. They don't send him to jail. So that that two story, I think we should I think we'll talk about it. Yeah, one man, we can round up then we can we I will continue. And Mike is there as well. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. Uh, yes, I, I actually saw that on a Rice TV. Um, is uh, recognized also? Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, um, I, I don't quite, I don't quite know what you mean by that, uh, Pansat. But uh, I, I'm saying course, that maybe you should give those of us a chance to speak since we're gonna leave when you leave and let this. No, 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 uh, no, no, I know, I know. I'm leaving now. You you can carry on the conversation. You you there's nobody here that you don't know now. So so. No, I know what you, I'm saying you, is yeah. that. 
I, I just want to enter the space of um, only one little area that I'm here to talk about, which was um, the space of uh, uh, leadership. I saw that somebody was talking about that um, Tinibu is the leader of Nigeria and um, not the leader of uh, Yoruba and one other says. So it's not really that important. We can come back tomorrow. I am not. <laughs> No, I don't. No, you, you, you cannot. You can go to that space still, but let, let me acknowledge Super Dad as okay. Ayo and Ayo, and then talk to Peo as well. So, so thank, thank you to all those three. Uh, so, so, so when they told to those three, uh, so, so, uh, um, uh, let, let me hand over to Thomas, uh, and, and then just free flow at it. Uh, I, I'm not sure if Rational Mind is ready, or do you want, um, do you want Pansar to have his cameo and, and then you come after him, uh, you can shuffle it as as you deem fit. Uh, thank you, everyone. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you, one man. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Yeah. Uh, welcome. Welcome back to the next session. New session. Yeah. Rashida, man, do you want to carry on? Rashida, man. Let, let him. Let yeah, him yeah, yeah. Let me carry on. I mean, yeah. Okay, I, okay, I will come on. back tomorrow to um, make that point. It's, it's not that important in the rest of the discussion. So, thank you very yeah, much. That's yeah, All thank right. you, Pam. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. So uh, I think the one of um, Wiki and uh, PDP, I don't know. Um, I just had this feeling that Tinubu will throw Wiki under the bus very soon. Um, and if he doesn't do that, if he doesn't do it now during this his first time, um, if he ever runs for second time, I'm sure he's going to throw Wiki under the bus. But I, I see it happening before the next election. Um, I don't know if people have seen one of these, uh, and I don't really take stock in those um, northern um, different not groups from the northern part of Nigeria. Uh, are they what this, are they what that, uh, northern whatever, concern. You see all those, they are stupid groups that you just form um, to protest certain things that they want to protest. You know, we've seen that um, there's been a coalition of um, these northern groups against a wiki being um, FCT. Um, uh minister and apart from that um there is more and more allegation coming up uh, against the uh, wiki of nepotism and um his high his high uh, hard handedness the way he's um, running uh fct like he's running his personal um his own personal company and all of that and this is meddling in river state and all of that trying to be uh, over, over. I mean, like, how do I say? <clears throat> trying to um, act like he's over, over zealous. Yeah, he's over zealous, but um, I mean, act like he's he's all and all, you know. So, um, yeah, I think he's getting more and more um, uh, enemies and all of that. And, and I think if that becomes an edict for Tinubu, Tinubu will throw him under the bus. Um, I don't. I mean, I've always but, not. But, my, do you, don't you think uh, FCT? Uh, governor as uh, a minister, I, I always call them governor, they are almost governor of the state. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, don't you think Ribadu to pass through the same route? Because uh, if you if you are taking a strong step, uh, people will criticize you. You remember uh, Ribadu to went through the same um, uh, persecution. Well, I, I don't know if, uh, Ribadu in this in this uh, context of what we're saying here. Um, for me, I don't see how Ribadu uh, compares to um, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Wiki. Wiki. Um, I don't see any comparison here. Um, but for me, I, I'm just trying to say is that um, uh, this is um, wanted to play sec uh, double fiddle. He wants to play double fiddle, not the second fiddle, double fiddle. He wants to fiddle in two ways, romancing um, APC. Uh, mind us, uh, we, should also remember, we, should, we should all remember that uh, those um, loyalists of his in the National Assembly, I mean, as a national, the State Assembly of um, River State, they're all APC members. So if those people are divided to APC and they're saying they are not APC, their leader, whom they look up as a leader, is now in is still in PDP. That tells us there's something much more going on. So I don't know what Wiki is thinking. I don't know why he's playing his game. He's so dumb. I mean, I I see somebody who thinks is you know, so sometimes when you when you are too over over how do I say over uh, get sense as they say in yeah, our local balance. When you do like say do you, you, you get uh, sense 
that sense sometimes will get you into trouble. You know, that's what we can think. He thinks he thinks it's always it's always right. It's but always... Not my, it, we, in Nigeria of today, it, we can still we can still say Wike is one of the most uh, smartest politicians. What what are you talking about? about him. Forget that thing, Joe. It just what, what is propping up uh, Wike and his ego and his uh, and his fame is just the money he has. You know, the money he has stolen from uh, when he was a governor, and I don't know if he still has that money. Uh, maybe some people say he still has the money. He has stolen a lot of money that he has kept, changed them in dollars, in hard currencies. That's why you cannot trace anything to him. So when the time comes, I start bringing out those money and start uh, uh, start using that war chest for his political whatever he wants. So but then the thing is this. I don't see how he's going to play. I know some people say he's playing towards um, 2020, 2031. So if he's playing towards 2031, is he, trying, is he trying to throw PDP under the bus again for a second time? To focus on time so that 2027 will not work in their favor because if they if they keep allowing him to sit in in, the, in their meetings and he's getting all the uh ins and outs of their plans towards 2027 what is that what is it what is guaranteed that it's not going to be the same judas that we saw in 2023 again thereby jeopardizing their chances in 2027 because it's working for the person who know that everybody's still everybody's still saying that now at least we had so few days ago when the idiot from uh, what's it called from Akwaibo that calls himself um, the criminal senator uh, president uh, who was saying that if anybody does not support a Tinubu second term, I mean, like, I, I don't know what does that even mean? What has he even done? He even is deserving a second term, even though because Nigeria is a, it's a, it's a, it's a very ridiculous place where people does not even have to do anything, but still they give him second term. I mean, I don't, I don't even get it. And so, very but, but uh, don't you see the fight of Wiki and the G5? Are they are they asking for too much? So um, we can't blame them for jeopardizing PDP's <clears throat> chance in twenty twenty three. Sorry, um, you see one thing is this. Uh, uh, Don't run away. Stay there. Stay there. You are trying to run away. Answer that question, hold please. On, hold on. Um, uh, Thomas, you see the thing is this. Uh, I don't. Um, uh, there's, uh, maybe there's some kind of question you ask me. I I just think I don't I don't just want to answer some of them in the sense that I I just and I think I could understand where you're going with those questions. That's what I'm saying. I might be wrong. Um uh the GT5 it has served their purpose, it has served the purpose for 2023, and it's there now, right? We're seeing what it's doing. Almost a, almost a year by by next month now it's gonna be a year exactly where Tinubu has been there. So what have we seen? They have plunged Nigeria into the worstest, the worst um economic um, um, hardship that the country has ever faced in the, in the history of that country. They've been ruling by propaganda. We've been seeing all kinds of crap going on in that country. And then you're asking him to go for second time. Well, I wish him the best of luck. If you, I mean, let me say I wish him the Well, we shall see how the second time, how he's going to make the second time. But we, my, my point is this, we, we care there. We care is going to sabotage PDP for the second. I don't know if these people even understand. I don't even understand if these people, this, uh, well, I don't, I'm, I'm not too, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too surprised. Because these are people who does not have any um, political ideology. Is anywhere beneficial for them as long as they capture power, they see, capture the seat of power. That's what they get. When they get the power, what do they do with those power? I mean, they just don't work for the people. They work for themselves and for their own pockets. So um, I don't know what we case. That's why I've seen. I'm seeing two things here. You see that Tunibu throw him out of the bus. If he sees that this is 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 getting so much, I mean, it's getting his wing to spread out a lot. I mean, like some people say. Uh, is it Machiavelli or who was that? Uh, uh, is it 27 um, some laws of uh, whatever that they say you can actually overshadow your your boss? I, I don't know what he's trying to play. I mean, because if he's sitting in on their meeting and he's getting ins and out of their calculation for 2027, what is the guarantee is that you're not going to leak those information to Tinubu and his uh, and his team? You know, and then if he still wants to be in PDP, why are you now working to promote Tinubu's idea? If you are from the opposition party, so you see that guy. I, I said, I said that this guy called uh, what's his name, uh, Wiki. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking about. So I don't just know. Uh, and I know the, one of the things he's playing towards is he, like he has always been, he has always been crying, you know, crying like a baby. Uh, it's as his, uh, he says his political structure in, um, in uh, what's it called, in uh, in River State. That's what really matters to him right now because. His relevancy is being relevant in the political scheme of things in Nigeria is dependent on if he's able to continue controlling reverse state, 
whoever gets in there, uh, whichever is the uh, the, uh, the governor, and he continue having the money, just the same the same template that Tinubu used in becoming the president, where he had Lagos in his pocket, all the money of Lagos State, half of it going to his pocket, and he was able to use that uh, in the last election and you know continue propping himself to be relevant even twenty something years after he's gone out of uh, circulation, he's able to continue. Um, uh, um, you know, promoting himself in the national politics. He was sponsoring um, one of the people that sponsored uh, Bubu's uh, 2015 election that got him elected, you know. So that's legal state money for us. So uh, that's what he himself, he wants to use that same te template. But uh, he, he, the, the tide has turned against him now. The table has turned against him now. So I don't know how he's going to play it. He said he's able to hijack um, the PDP of, Lega, of River State I'm able to uh, take down uh, what's his name, Simile Simi uh, Fubara, which I don't know if that one's going to go down easily with him, with some other people on the, on the side now. People like people like what's his name, Odili, former governor of um, uh, of the state, and some other big juggernauts within um, uh, 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 PDP. Russian man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I still need to take you back, if you don't mind. Um, don't let your um you you have the right to do what you want to do to say what you want to say but don't let your uh opposition for tinubu uh go against every word that is going uh for tinubu i, I think uh wiki is fear and the g5 what they want is we want the like the chairman to resign which all of them do even agree if the ticket went to the north, then the chairman must come to the south, which uh, Atiku and his court and his co cos breach the agreement. So you can't blame Wike for doing what they say, he, he, he said. Because they were, yeah. Don't let yeah. your opposition for Tinubu, because I, I asked those, those yeah. specialists. Yeah. You don't. That means you know the truth, but what because of your yeah. your opposition for Tinubu, you are you don't want to. No, let's just be yeah, factual, yeah, yeah, yeah. brother. Oh, um, uh, Thomas, I I'm not putting words in your mouth. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're doing. Yeah. It's just when you ask these questions, uh, I, but it's a pushback. I, I will take it like that. It's a pushback to what I've said. Uh, for me, um, I if I'm opposed to Tinubu, I have every right to be and that's one thing and i have my uh my facts uh when i say my facts uh facts that i see out there i said some of us want to deny that fact which i know some of us were so blind to it because um what's it called um because of this is your tribe man yoruba like yourself i don't like i don't let i don't let um i don't get biased because of somebody's from my 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 own if it's my if it's my dad if he's doing what is wrong i will tell him more that what you're doing is wrong because a single act of corruption a single act of um uh what's it called is it corruption or what do i put it uh, uh one one bad can ruin the life of so many people so um for that reason you wonder why places like china and even like north korea they punish people who are corrupt in the most severe, in the most ugly way that you can imagine. It's because to deter people from ruining the lives of other people. Because if one person starts with corruption, it's spread like wildfire. And you can imagine a kind of society where corruption reigns supreme, like the one we see in Nigeria. That's why Nigeria is not moving forward. It's because of one single act of corruption that was started by somebody. Rajana man, if mm -hmm. who is your dad, you will tell him not to play the politics the way he played it to become president. I will definitely. I will. I will. So I will. Don't want to be uh, forced. You, forget, you see, that is the thing. You see, uh, you see you don't uh, want to well, uh, well, so, uh, the country. Yeah. yeah. You see, you you don't know me. That's the thing. Uh, not, every, not everybody is. No, uh, not everybody is power hungry. Not everybody wants to be in the limelight. No, you won't uh, be talking like this because. Uh, it's okay, I know you say I won't be talking like this, but you don't. That's why I said you don't know me. That's why if you know me, you. Rational mind. Can I quickly interject for one minute, please? Okay. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I just uh, heard you um, saying what whatever you have been talking about. Actually, 
Wiki will continue to be relevant in Nigerian politics. So far, Atiku and the rest are still playing that kind of game. They are playing. So the PDP, unfortunately, shot themselves on their foot. During the last election, PDP should have chosen a southern presidential candidate. What they did in that party, especially to southeastern, is unfair or to the south. They have their cake and they also eat it. You cannot win that way. The National Party chairman is from the north. The presidential candidate is from the north. And then this time around, they still want to continue playing the same game. What do you expect? So as for Tinubu, he plays his game very well. This is politics. Every game is fair. But in terms of Nigerian contest, the way they play in PGP is totally unfair. And that is they still want to continue to play to do the same thing. If they continue to do the same thing, they will continue to, Wiki will continue to be a spoiler for them. And Wiki politics is also relevant. If he continues to play his game very well, he might not become the president of Nigeria, but who knows, he might become a vice president in the future. So everybody is playing, this is the power play. If you are playing a game to become president of a country, it's not a child play. For me, the way you have been talking, you just take it as so simplicity manner like that. We are talking about principle. If you want to be a principle man, then don't touch politics. Stay at your home and continue to do your uh, whatever you want to do. But if you want to join as a governor, as a president, politicians, there's no honor. Because you do whatever. Even if you just suppose it with American uh, presidency, Look at the way the political kind they always talk. They don't care. The hand justify the means. But if you want to be a my only man, then you can be a pastor or an imam and just stay out of politics. So whatever you are saying here, to me, is not relevant. And if Tinubu is your father, and you say, ah, my father, the way you are playing this game is not good. What do you think we do to you? We'll probably ship you out. No, Tinubu can never be my father. Uh, that's no, one. No, I, I said possible. Hold on, hold on. Let's get that clear. Hold on. Can I? Can I? just because of time? Because I, I need to go somewhere very soon. Oh, Let me just. Oh, okay, okay. You, you, you can continue. Yes, yeah, thank you. So, you see, uh, I know the pushbacks is all about uh, what I've said. Uh, some people, somebody, not uh, uh, or the uh, what's it called? Um, don't worry, not there. You know, uh, um, if you, I think you, you don't listen to listen. You just want to listen because um, you know I have a bias of some sort, um, uh, a, a, a not a liking for uh, for Tinubu, and then you always have to jump on my comment however you see it. It's okay. So that's your opinion. Um, uh, for me, you see, uh, one thing that we do not understand, we we Nigerians, is that. And it's so tough for me to wrap my head around it is that some of us will live abroad most of us on this platform here we live where things works uh this society where we all live i'm gonna say they are morally like we say we think of them they think they have their own moral bankruptcy in some ways but not to the point of uh when it comes to the state of governance where uh, people's lives are involved uh they don't they don't take to corruption easily Corruption for them is a no-no. That doesn't mean that you can't find a little bit of corruption, but not at the scale, at the level of the way Nigeria is. That's the thing. The process by which their leaders evolved here, am I saying it's a perfect, it's a perfect system? No, it's not a perfect system. There's still a measure of um, a corruption in the way they, their leaders evolved within their political parties or political sphere. But what I'm saying is that we come here and justify the the, the, the criminals we have in Nigeria that have morally bankrupt everything in that country, to even to the institutions that should be a push that, be, that should be standing in the way of those corrupt leaders, and then we come here, we we'll trivialize it and make it sound look like it's not it's not a big deal after all. Even here, if the place, this place you are comparing them to, like here that they, they have their own corruptions too, is, is it at the scale, at the level of Nigeria? And we wonder why Nigeria is not working. Some of us will just like it that way because we always want to justify anything with anything and everything we, we want to justify how we see it. You see, the point is this uh, having worked in governance myself, 
I come to understand that um, uh, some of us don't understand. We don't really, even the leaders, those people we call governors, we call leaders in Nigeria, a lot of them do not even understand uh, what governance is all about. But for them, we know their own kind of notion of God, the idea of governance is just to have the power, the fame, and the... Sorry, the, the sorry, national mind. Can, before, can, you, can, can, can no, 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 before you continue, I just want you to take this question along with whatever you were, you were saying. You don't like the policy of Tinumbu. Are you comfortable with the way Ubi is also playing his politics? Thank you. Well, that's a good question. You see, I'm, I'm digressing again from what I was talking about, but it's okay because I know um, um, a lot of things comes up in the course of when I when I make my speech here. Um, uh, lately, I've sat down, I've looked at the whole thing about Obi. I'm beginning to have my second thought about Obi. Um, uh, there was a platform I was, I think uh, Babati was there and some of us were there, we had this discussion. And I was saying to all of them, I said, I said listen, um, it's not about, I've come to figure out that for Nigeria to move forward, it's not about just one man. Why do, why do you, some of you Agbado people come here, you talk about, eh, you see, uh, Tinubu has given that uh, they are now making money. They are making more than what the Abuari uh, used to make now because they remove your subsidy. They give the governors money. Go and fight your governor. You see, that is what some of you say here that we should go and fight the governors because Tinubu has done his own part. He has given them money to go and take care of their respective states. So we should not disrupt Tinubu. That is the point we're talking about. So I thought about it long and hard. I said, okay, all right, that's a point. Um, that's a point. I won't want to argue that much. Because invariably, if OB gets there, now look at somebody was throwing, somebody was, um, I think it wasn't one man, somebody was asking that question earlier, that where are the obedience? Are they talking to those lawmakers or senators from, what's it called? Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, from this party, from a Labour Party that won under their platform. Why are they not talking about them? Why is it that they also, they all, their fixation is just only on OB? Which I say is going to be another total failure. If Obi gets there, Obi is going to do Oshinoma back room. Obi is going to fail because it's the same template that we've seen, which Bubu, all of them, even before Bubu and Tinubu now, it's the same template because the governors, the councillors, the chairman, the state out of, out, of, out of members, as, as members, the national house of assembly members. They do not have the same ideology because they are, everybody just seems to like they have their own idea of how they want to govern the system. So when the governor, when the president gives money to the state governors and they decide to do what they want to do on their own, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you build a society that way? So I was saying on that platform, I said, I think it is it's now time for OB to use this time before 2027 to start a kind of political party, if it's going to be still legal party. And I was even suggesting that, listen, Go and look for people like Shore. Talk to him. I still want Shore to come into the party, into the into the matter. But if Shore can really bring his own head down to come, be the chairman of the party, create some kind of like oh a seminar for everybody that wants to contest under your whatever party that you people decide to name it that time. Your council also, your chairman or your house member that want to contest, do a seminar for them, indoctrinate them. Let me use the word indoctrinate. So, and, so I have to come and work with uh, Badjue. <laughs> well, well, it's okay. It's okay. You want to say it's Badjue? Oh, oh, you should come and work with Obi only. Uh, well, uh, Oji, 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 hello. 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 Oji, No, 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 no. He has not been confident at any cut of law. It's okay, you people continue, continue arguing. So let me say this. My point is this. I know you can say bad you, uh, you are using your word of your demand from uh, who stayed, the former well, once respected person that I respected, but I no longer have any regard for him anymore. But let's leave that. So my point is this is that you can use this word bad you, or whatever. So my point is this is that all I'm saying is this is that it needs people who are tough, who are anti, who are anti corruption. That doesn't mean that we don't see one or three people to, that are sleeping, that are rogues in that party. But the thing is this, uh, whoever wants to be a leader of a country, you must have followers. By followers here, yeah, I don't mean just the people who vote you in. People who are going to govern with you, they must be on the same table with you. They must be on the same, they must have the same ideolo ideology as yourself. Not that you have this um, 
senators here who are doing something completely different from what your political party stands for. So that's why I'm saying that OB is not even taking care of that aspect. Uh, uh, but rational man, oh, hold on. Remy, please hold on. Hold on, please. Yeah, you will come after me, please. Rational man, is it not an insult um, comparing um, Shawore ideology to OB's ideology? Well, well, is that an insult to forget this insult it, or whatever you call they it? Don't go, no, they don't uh, go uh, party pursuit. Listen, 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 I've said it here. I don't know how you people read my read whatever I said. It's up to whatever you anybody wants to read it. I don't believe that Obi is a saint. What is he at the same part as Tinubu and what's it called? Uh um Atiku in, 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 in the at the level of uh, at the scale of, of corruption. No, he's not. Do I seem to be according to you, right? According, according to you, right? According to you, right? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. So, according to me, is that an empathetic leader? He is. Has he demonstrated certain qualities that I've seen that is lacking in Tinubu and Atiku? I've seen that. I've seen them. Can I quickly? Can, so, can tell what you? is this? No, no, this is the conversation now. You cannot just have the floor to yourself. No, it's, it's my it's my floor. It's my floor. If I, I, I want to let, let you talk, I know it's floor, but we have. Uh, we, we no, it's my floor. If I want to let you talk, I will let you talk. Yeah, all, all right. Can I, can we understand that? Do we understand? Do we have that okay, understand? I understand. So can I Rational mind. Uh, one man show is over now. This is uh, after a while. You know, we no, have to. No, no. Well, one, man one person on the floor for like one hour talking, just no, starting no. something we don't get. So can I interject? Like, it's becoming I boring now. Let me talk to you. I, I, no, no, you won't, you won't, you won't, you won't stifle my voice. It's my floor. If I want. Well, to you can't just stop forever now. We don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, so, so we don't even know what you're saying. <laughs> that's your go-to so word. You're just talking about that, that, that's you your go-to word. Saying. You don't know what, what? I'm, what I'm talking about. Why we don't you know, know what you're you landing, what you're even saying. We don't understand. What? My, 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 people, my, my, people that are trying to understand, let them at least come. Uh, in. Thomas, you are there. Are you there, what Thomas? Yeah, I'm here. Let me come in, John. Rational man, take your decision. Rational man, you know, you know, uh, you know, this second section we we free flow with target here. Yeah. So I if Remy wants to let me finish up my yeah. point first. Yeah, let's yeah, let let's uh Remy. Yeah, somebody let's like land. Mike will tell me yeah. when to we'll need land now. That that was a good event land for like now starting with your compound. We're just talking in a circle. Yeah. I remember trying to come in. Say no, let me land. You are, when no, are you going to land? Remy will not come in. If 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 you want to talk the way you are talking, Mike, I will not let Remy come in because you not tell me when to allow him to come in. All right. The rational man. Yeah, go on. This is how you want. This is how you want to be a moderator. I'm have to exit then. So no, 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 you don't have to. Uh, uh, no, I'm the okay. one moderating. Yeah, let, let me hear. Yeah. Uh, rational man, Remy, let him land there. You come after him, please. Okay, yeah, Remy, so come in. Have some Remy, come in for me. Remy. Okay, okay, thank you. Rational man, just Remy, Remy uh, you are uh, in the interjection two minutes, so he can take no, back. Maybe the I will not even spend up to uh, two minutes. Yeah, in thank you. For in that, terms yeah. of empathy, in terms of sympathy, in terms of helping the band <laughs> OB is not even up to 25% of what Chinubu have done or article. Go, go and ask most Nigerians. In terms of giving money, moral support, in terms of popular you are new leaders to become governors, senators, House of Rep, National Assembly member, chairman, OB is not even up to 10% of what Chinubu and article have done. In terms of helping the Dan doctrine, I repeat again, OB is not up to 10%. Uh, do you know how many people right. these leaders have, have spent money? It's okay. It's okay. No, 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 let me finish. You said uh, one minute. It's just tw 25 seconds, for God's sake. 25 seconds, okay. Uh -uh. Let me uh -uh. do that one minute now. Go to ah, one. Okay, continue. It's like, go I'm, I'm telling myself, this I look, the, the, the watch is done. Okay, go on now. Already, you're already go getting, taking your time. Okay, so. Don't compare together. So he does not have that <laughs> empathy. He does not have that sympathy. In, and in terms of, uh, let's say, their corruption, and this is our own personal opinion as yours also, it is known fact that the same will be you, you are comfortable with his politics. You should state money in his own uh, bank that he owns, and he also stashed a lot of money in Panama, which they have not indicted in Umbu or Article for that kind of crime. So I will stop here so that you can continue. Well, when you people dance around so many topics, you know, I, I was talking about Wiki and uh, the other Eleni Kupunye, Dr. Remy Mike, 
then you know, you know, that be a new guinea was telling me here that uh, I never learned. Why would I learn when I am I'm, I'm on a I'm on a trajectory? People keep people people keep throwing all kinds of questions that are not even really relevant to what I was talking about. And you're telling me I don't learn. And you know you don't know you don't see that as a pattern here on this platform that people always do here just to like either they are doing it deliberately or just because out of curiosity they just want to know my view on that. And you're here telling me I never learn, I never learned. I mean, I don't, I don't get, I don't know what your problem is, this guy. So uh, go back to the topic. Um, my point is this, guys, is that, well, like you say, everybody has their opinion, um, but uh, yeah, I think there's a plot, there's a portion, there's a portion in, the, in the good book that says, wisdom is proved right by its works. Whatever wisdom anybody has, we can see by the fruits that it bears. So if Tinubu, you people are saying that Tinubu is empathetic, well, uh, look at Nigeria and, and tell me what, what is the empathy there. Look at the sufferings that Nigerians are going through. I mean, even, even the notion of corruption alone, is, it tells you that whoever is corrupt, at the, very, at the very core of it, that person is devoid of empathy. Because if you have empathy for your fellow human, in the first time, you will not decide to want to like take over a state, do a state capture like in the form of Lagos state, and run that state like a, like a business like it already is doing. Because it's a business. Lagos is a business, it's not a governance. It's not governance. That's not how you govern a state. It's business for Tinubu and all his cronies that are there. So go look at what class. Uh, go see, see, don't get me. See, this is what I do a lot here. Yeah, because when you start get, taking me on some some track on, on a different. Yeah, hey, tell give us the example of your state. I just state, go, I just go that's, off that's, tangent. That's let, me go to, let me go back to Wiki. No, so talking about Wiki, my point is this: that I see him being thrown under the bus very soon. It might happen very soon before 2027. Because this is um, this is double video that is playing, trying to think he can have it, he can eat his cake and have it. And I think PDP wants to be very careful of him because it's a mole in their midst again. Because I don't know what game is playing. Because if you are an FCT press, uh, FCT, FCT minister, which is more like, which is more like a represented a rep of the president, where a governor sitting in sitting in office for the president in FCT, and you are working for the current president, so. 2027 is around the corner, and your party has to elect a, uh, a president. Are you saying you're going to contest against Tinubu while you're still a minister? But ra rational, no? rational mind, the 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 position of Wiki now is just a mere political appointment, which mm. the president have the prerogative mm. to choose for any party he deem it fit. So you can come from APC, 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 HIV, PD, PDD. The government have the right to choose its cabinet from any party. So yeah, that's your right, but not in the context of what is going on. Not in the context of what is Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Let, let, let me, let me, please, uh, let me reply to, uh, to Thomas on what he said. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, go on. Good morning, Thomas. I think um yeah the, the, the point is not uh, the president have having prerogative to appoint somebody from another party. It is we, we've seen some cases of that in other countries as well, and even in the, this fourth republic. But I think the major thing is that if if you look at other cases where something like this has happened, so usually how they do it is you write to the party and then the party gives you consent that you want to go and walk uh with the government of another party so what they give you they give and then and, and i'm coming i'm coming and then interest of for the interest of, for the interest of, of that go okay before you continue you already give him the pass to go and join the, 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 the to go and be a minister I'll, I'll, of, yeah so yeah go, allow, allow me now my brother allow me let me learn, no, i'm sorry. just trying to tell you if you are going that path so that you can change your course and move to another one I don't need to. I know. I know they gave him the pass. So why are you jumping into my mouth? I've not landed, but my brother. So how it's done is you write to your party, tell them you want to go and work with another party, this government which has invited you for national interest. It is acceptable in a democracy, but how it works in the same democracy is that the party now gives you some sort of a sabbatical leave. So you are a member of this party, but for the period of which you'll be working with the other party, you will not participate actively with the internal runnings or the runnings where, where, of the where, other where, party. Where is that been? Where, where is that been? Practiced? He's making where? it up now. He just, where, 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 where is that been practiced? Where? 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 Where?
Ah, it say it that we are just to Where, 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 where that happened? You just made it up, Nina. I be killing one people. I answer for buy. Be buy. Kill a man for buy. If you buy, buy. Let me be. 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 I be killing one people. If you pull out, you go. It's okay. I just go. 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 Please, any, 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 please, please, let me let me finish what I'm saying. It's really very insulting when people insult people like this. But then let, let me let me let me let me know hit back. Anybody that is listening to this can go and listen. Wait, let me let can I finish, bro? Come here, just make now. Things, man. Come on now. I'm not now. Any, any, anybody come here, just remember you're not in obedience to be just a bunch of idiots are there. You can do with deceiving each other. You can't come here without deceive us. You are insulting our intelligence, man. We are not dumb here. Come on now. When you start making up things, man. Come on. Calm down now. Ah. It's okay, up time. Just go on, just make it wrap. You wrap it up um, real quick. If you don't, I said you don't want to talk, let me just take over this space. I know you are maybe you probably you are. Probably, no, uh, it's really it's really very annoying, um, um Russian, very annoying, but okay. let me just learn what I'm saying. Oh. Any, any any anybody listening to me now can go and check Channels TV interview by one of the officials of PDP that spoke two days ago. That how it's done is that you can be allowed to go, but during the period of which you are serving another party. I put the word sabbatical because that's literally what he meant by what he was explaining. During the period of which you are serving another party, you no, cannot... No, 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 uh, uh, um, wait, um, wait, let uh, me learn uh, now. Um, you will learn. Will learn. <laughs> Hold on, please. Hold on, please. You will learn. Please. I'm the moderator. I'm allowed to come in. Please. Hold on. They don't say serving the party. It's the service to the country. That's what they call it. Forget about this party. Go on. Okay. You call it yeah. service of the party, call it serving the the country. The, the the party in government is another party different from yours and is a contestant, a co-contestant with yours. So how it's done is while you are serving the ruling government, because that is what what that's what it is, the ruling government, and that's APC is the ruling government. While you're serving the APC government, at that period of which you're serving them, you are not allowed to be part of the goings on in the other party so when you are done or if you resign or you are done and you return back the door will be open for you again but while you are there your loyalty is to that government at that time period the president the government that employed you that's where your loyalty lies now if you're coming in are you coming in as a representative of Asuwaju to those meetings in PDP? Because your loyalty now, not later, not where you live as FCC minister, now is to Asuwaju, the APC leader. He is the national leader of the APC. So when you are serving there, you are not going to partake in anything of in your party PDP or whatever it is, because they, they have their secrets as well. But when you are done there and you come back, you can continue from where you stop. That's the point the guy made. And I didn't so, and so the, 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 the guy so the let, guy let me stop that you listen to the guy that you listen to did he tell you that that's the rule in uh, PDP? Did he tell you that? Uh, yeah, he I said it. To, yes, he said that's the rule in the said that hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he said it here. He said it. Hold on, Remy, hold on. So he said that. Oh, so sorry, it's, TV, it's TVC. Hold TVC. On. Oh, hold yeah, on. I just remember. So okay. the guy said that that that's the rule in uh, PDP, right? Yeah. Okay. So why did why didn't the PCB effect that rule? Why is Weke attending the national? Okay, I'll I'll, I'll respond, respond to you. I'll okay, respond to you. They asked, they asked him, no, uh, no, no. Let, let me respond to Baba. They asked uh, him this question. Take this, uh, Remy, Remy, allow me. Take this along. Take I don't know along. whether I'm using you, a, a piece. Your voices are in my ear. This along. I want you to take this along. The risks that Weke is serving in Tinubu government, the risks is even more higher with your APC than PDP, and I'll tell you why. Because Wiki it will be sitting down in the Federal Executive Council, knows the plan that they want to do. So if you are saying that, okay- That governance plan, not no, political no, plan, no, governance no, plan. 
everything, whether political governance, that's all you discuss there. Governance, relax, relax, relax. relax. Yeah. If you are saying that uh, we can be a more a more uh, against PDP in uh, because it's serving the noble government, you are wrong because everything APC is doing because <laughs> you have a minister there. He will also know off and before you or I. He's know. not. He's not attending APC meetings. Uh, no, forget it. He will told you that this is the politics. Okay, so he has his hand on everything there, so he can also go back and report back to PDP again. So your what, analysis, what, 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 what you are saying, does not hold water at all. Thank you. I've already debunked you on your way to arriving to where you are going to. But let me answer, Baba Ajani. Uh, Baba, you you say the okay. The question you asked was also asked uh, to the uh, asked of the man. Where you asked, uh, um, remind me your question, sir. My question is that if that is the rule in PDP, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, why did you. the leadership affect that rule? Why did they see like Ex ex exactly the, 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 the executive meeting? Yeah, yes, that is what the lady asked the man, and the man said it's very simple because the leadership in PDP as presently constituted today. Is loyal to Wiki, and that is the Demago leadership they are trying to remove. So you believe that you know that guy is just talking nonsense. That guy you are talking. But everybody talking. that knows the politics hold playing on, on we are here on. now. Everybody knows what's going on, on in PDP on, right now. On. What is the position of that person in PDP? The, the acting, the last acting national chairman. Who? Who is talking about? What, what is the no? Hold on. What is the position of the person you listen to on the in, in, interview? What what is it? What, what's the position of that person in PDP? He's a PDP official. Yeah, the person that spoke. The that guy you are talking about is a former scribe for a long time ago, maybe 12, 15 years ago. That's what was the position? I forgot his name. It's not a party official now. He was a former uh, uh, holding a post in like 20 years ago. It's not relevant to that party of today now. Please. Wait, oh, wait, wait. Okay. Wait, wait. So, you do you want to? Up, up speak down, to up the down. Working, let me just, let, I'm coming. Let, 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 let me ask them. Do you want to speak yeah, to the yeah, workers of PDP question, more than a PDP go. member? I mean, you have never been in PDP, never seen their constitution, never done anything there, but you want to speak over a PDP member telling you what's going on in his party. This I don't understand how it works. Did, 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 open, did they open their constitution to show the no, uh, never. to show them? Where that is, uh, up town, up town, up town. Just let, let, let this matter just go. Let me matter. Let me please, just... uh, rational mind continue, please. Yeah, so, so uh, let's, let's rational mind take the floor. Uh, yeah. But, uh, ra rational mind, the 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 argument is uh, is is something we can discuss about. Yeah, I don't need if you don't want to allow it here. Yeah, you you have your yeah, you right. have your say. Let, let, let me let me make this statement. I will let you continue. Wait for the meeting tomorrow to end, then we'll see we'll see what, what I'm talking about. Yeah, you see the guy just talking nonsense. Nonsense that when the PDP, the first government that we had, that was PDP government in 1999, invited people across the party in Nigeria. APP was part of a Basanjo government. AD was part of Obasanjo government. That is Ebola um, Ige and some other. They are part of Obasanjo government. He picked his ministers and people that run the government, not only from the PDP, from across all the party. Government of national unity. And as at the end of their term, or when they did everybody I mean, while they were in government, they were still attending meetings of their party at on regular basis. Because the job of who, who, who was a, who was attending meeting of the party? Who can you mention the name? The AD guy. Because I'm they sorry. spoke about him as well. Hold on, hold on. That's the prominent guy in our just government. I don't know the others you're talking about. Polagi was attending the meeting now. So was, was, attending was, the meeting. was attending the National Working Committee meeting. Nice. The AD, I like, the AD. I like, I like, I, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying there. But, but, it was attending their next meeting. Where were you? Can, no, no, no. Can, let's let's no, let's forget the age. Let's forget the age shaming thing. 
let's talk about bringing something. So we are telling you what we, what, what we saw. No, everything I, is documented. So there's no need to uh, uh, shaming people. Just tell us this. I'll okay. bring my evidence that this person was doing okay. this because that's okay. how I do. Okay. I just told you now, this is the person that said this. You go and okay. check it in TVC. That's okay. how people do. No, 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 nobody should come and tell, 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 tell somebody, why are you born there? Uh, this and that, 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 that. Let's forget okay. about all that. Okay. But, but what, what is happening today is not a, it's not a new thing. That's what uh, Ajan Lee Koko, that's the only reason why I joined. Um, this, but, that, but, that but, but my brother, nice. if, if you listen to me, I first of all, I was the first person to admit that it has happened in this fourth republic. If you listen to when I started speaking, that means I knew what I was talking about. I said it has happened under Obama and just government. So I admitted oh, that it has happened oh, before. What? I just said that the point oh, the PDP I'm oh, coming oh, oh. that what the PDP guy was saying was that the convention is things as as sensitive as party meetings that the person is not usually allowed. To but come it's not true. That, that is what we, the guy was lying. That well, was let's see what will happen after PD, after we can, after we can kicked out tomorrow. There's, let's see whether it's going to go there there's again. There's no now. party. There's no party that will throw away. Uh, I mean, one or some of their uh, uh, leadership because they are they are what they are serving in in opposition party. They won't throw them away Your because soul, they soul. took they took permission from their party before going to serve. So what's oh. the reason for taking permission before to, to go and serve in the opposition party, I mean, opposition government? So I mean, let, let us just use uh, this is a matter of common sense. Did that oh, person so open the part of the Apparently, that, 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 that sense is not common because even for what you're just saying now, eh? there's something you just said now that uh, yeah. about Wiki, but you forgot that you left that part out that a PDP state as river state, where all the all the uh, uh, elected office, officers. More than 98, 99 percent of them were all elected under PDP. So just because they have a beef, which Wiki was the was the instigator of the whole beef. Uh, 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 almost almost seventy percent of the National Assembly, I mean State Assembly, they defected to APC. They have a right to. Oh, do hold, that. On, hold 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 I'm not the only one every time. Why? What was the last time I spoke? When was the last time I spoke? When was the last time I spoke? I let what I let what, you what I say. want to tell you is that no, uh, no, no, no. Remy, 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 please, please, please. Let's let's rational my please. Uh please, uh <laughs> I let's have some um please uh rational mind is here to us. We may not like his views. He may aim some you, you can even remember you can listen to me as been i've been tackling him since we enter but that is his view so let's let's let him have it yeah no, uh I mean, rational mind yeah i'm not even saying about view when i'm trying to flesh out a, a point somebody's interjecting in between when i'm not even done that's what it gets me irritated please yeah yeah go on my point is this is that when you have your ask, uh, ask members that were under pdp that you you yourself the, 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 what's it called the former governor said you use your own money or the whatever money to pay for buying the ticket for each and every one of them, including the governor that they are all fighting against. And you allow them to all defect. That was a huge loss to PDP in River State to APC. And you kept mute. And now you are going to sit down in the National Working Committee, party of, of PDP. What are we talking about here? What, 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 else can so, we so what, what, what do you think make them allow him to? Let, let, whatever it is, party comes first. That's what they say in the Nigeria parlance. In the Nigeria crappy political political uh, atmosphere, uh, uh, political situation, they say party comes first. You are loyal to your party. Why don't they be loyal to the party? Why do they have to defect to APC? I mean APC. Why? They have to because of so. They have, you see, they have to. So you can start just because of have, let, let me tell you something. Every you don't tell me anything. I don't know anything. You, I don't know anything you're going to tell me. But go on. Every politician defend. Mm. Uh, there were some politicians that defend from APGA to PDP, from PDP to APC, APC from APC to Labour. They defend anyhow they like, because there's no constitution stopping them from defending to any party they like. And if there's a crisis in any political party, they have a right to defend. 
So yeah. when I say they don't have a right to say that, just listen, listen to. I'm not listening. I'm not listening because you're not even making sense. Keep quiet for a while. Let me also talk, please. Keep quiet for a while. You are not. You are not. You don't have monopoly of the floor. There were crises in River State. They were throwing bomb or they are putting fire into the House of Assembly. Everybody know what transpired here. Although they were, uh, they were, they were elected on the platform of PDP, but when the crisis continued to fester, and they, they, they come to the opposing party, is there a crime in that? According to the Supreme Court of Justice, uh, the, the justice, yes, or judgment, if there is a crisis in any political party, they can move to another one. And we all see what transpired in, in River State. So let them fight their fight. You are not, you are not there. So for them to uh, I'm not there, to, and, and you, you are there, right? And you can be saying, you can be saying what you are saying, I'm right? I'm telling you what is fact. No, that it is, is not what is fact. You, know, you, you are fact. saying you, you want you to are, say what you what want I'm to say. To tell you what you I'm are saying, saying what you want to say. It's not exactly what, what you're saying. To, what what happened was to, not what exactly what you're saying. What, no, you are now look at how you said it. Now you said oh, it, it, there's a crisis in the party. What, what is the crisis in the party? Let him tell us the crisis. Uh, rest of mind, please. Um, tell us, really, tell us the crisis. Are you, ooh, ooh, just like just twist tell it. us the division, the division in the party. Can you tell us? Tell us, what is the division now? You kept quiet now, Remy. Okay, Any factions? Is, is it me? Is asking <laughs> the question or right No, now? we're asking you. I'm you, asking you, you Remy. Okay. We're asking you. Uh, when, uh, after the, uh, after the, uh, the, the Fubora was sworn in, I, and I think before you became a governor, I think they have a written ag agreement among themselves about sharing formula, uh, commissioner, or who's going to be the House of Assembly, blah, 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 blah. But when he became the governor, he wanted to quickly exercise his own authority. He thought he can be in his own man, because when they let him to be a governor, he does not care. But now that he became the governor, he wanted to exercise his authority to remove or control the apparatus of everything. And unfortunately for him, maybe he showed his hand too early, and they fought back. And when they that's fought the, back, that's the division. Can you just relax, please? Just relax and calm down. And then the crisis fester, and that is we have two opposing camps, and that is a division. The wicked camp, the Fubura camp, and everybody, other people in that state, everybody pick their side. That is already a division. And the division continued to fester, and they continue to, uh, uh, the House of Assembly was put on fire. Is this the bomb that happened there? Everybody saw the fire there. And then so many things continue to play out. Everybody continue to flesh their muscle. That is a big division. And everybody takes side. So if I take side, and if my leader said, okay, this is, we can clearly see that this party is in disarray in this state. You can, you can leave this party and go to any other party. I have a right as an elected lawmaker to, to pick which side I want to, to join. And I also have a right to change my political party. And that's what transpired. That's it. It's okay, it's okay. We, we can please, uh, Russell, 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 please, can you come and say something, please? I need to go. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry excuse me. Just, just a minute, just a minute. Please, uh, my dear Remy, you need to go back to the Constitution. Let's not spew ignorance. I'm sorry. The Constitution was very clear What on in that section. It said, in only in a case where there is a faction or division in the national leadership of the party. It was very clear that if there is a think, faction think, think in the just, national leadership of the party. You just make, it, make me laugh. Too. Remy, I, I, I dare you to debunk what I said. No, no, I no, dare no. you I to debunk to, I what I said. If, if the insinuation you are putting here is according to the national party, why are some of these lawmakers in state? Why are they defending? Can you answer the question? Why, why is why can't they any, wait? Why can't they wait for division? Remy, let me wait now. Let's not shout. Let's, let's not shout let's, let's on, not shout on, this hold on, now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just one second, then you continue. Okay. In fact, there is a bigger division in their national party, in their uh, what do you call it, their national council, whatever. There's a bigger division. How many national chairman do they have? How many national chairmen no, no, no. do they have? What I want to tell you is that they have like five factions in PDP national hegemony. We are talking about those people that are conversing for article, those people that are conversing for wiki, those people that are saying, no, it's more... Well, what are you Remy, 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 what, what, wait, Remy, what part of division in the national leadership 
that is this. not the, what you are talking here just is irrelevant. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Let's really just let this matter go. Okay. Oh. 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 They will come here and spin things. They will just come here and spin things and spin it like the way they just want like to spin things. It's okay. Let me let me just say. I dared him. I dared him. I dared him. I dared him to debunk. I dared him to debunk what I said about the constitution, and he's running around. What constitution are you? Tell me that what I said is not what the constitution said. Because now, because now, no, 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 it's not me shouting now. It's not. It's not personal between you and I. You said you came to the platform to tell us that the division in the states that the. No, no, I'm only speaking to part. I'm not even I'm not even attacking you. I'm only I keep talking about this is what constitution say. I say it is not it is, I calm down, calm down, my brother. Calm down, my brother. It, I you come here and tell us told us that the division in the state that people uh, say they were they weren't sharing formula and all that. I told you the constitution didn't say any of these things you are saying. The constitution was very clear and explicit about a division in the national leadership of the party, like two chairman emerging in one it's faction or the hold on, hold on. I don't even think it's a it's a constitution, it's a, a court ruling that was that says that that. No, the court ruling was 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 yeah, the court ruling defined the constitution further. You got what I'm saying? It made it more explicit that the division must happen in the leadership of the national, the national, the national leadership of the party. Yes, that means we are they have two factions. We are one chairman is this side, the other chairman is this side. So one secretary is here, one secretary is this side. That is what the constitution said, and that's what that court yeah. that, yeah. Uh, well, that up, judgment up, 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 uh, uh, put further. Up, up down with all this thing you are talking about. <laughs> This what guy. is PDP doing about it? Is it? PDP is not doing anything about it. You are just talking about... Oh, well, you can say they're not doing anything about it, but you know no, the dilemma... They, 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 dropped, they, dropped, they, they have dropped a press conference this evening, actually. If you listen to Bala Mohammed, he said that they now they, they are going to be moving... They, they said now... Court. It's not them. It's not PDP no, that, will, that, will, that will just... Uh, no, no F Fubara... F okay, my brother, that is why Fubara is yet to represent the budgets... And if you listen to his spokesperson the last time they spoke, the guy from the rivers, that's why he's here to represent the budget because they are still standing on the fact that those guys in those house of assembly uh -huh. is illegitimate. So, okay, up to you, so, you are so they know they know they were going wait, to wait, wait, wait. Okay. you are talking about um Fubara. And meanwhile, national and uh, rational mind was talking about that uh, it was a wicked that purchased forms for those guys to the I mean house of assembly. But okay. he was the one that even purchased form for the governor too. So if okay. if we are talking about the House of Assembly, he did the same thing for the governor, and the governor is not in his camp today. So we cannot just you know choose and say, oh, this is side that we want to, to you know we want to. Support. But I don't I, I I don't understand. Nobody is choosing here now. Nobody is choosing. Nobody is choosing now. Kubara no, 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 is no, governor. Rational mind will know what it I'm talking clear. about because rational mind. I, I don't know what you're talking about. about. That's why I'm saying nobody is choosing here. I don't know what no, you're talking no, about. No, 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 no. I, I am I'm confused too. You said you said that um, Wiki is supporting the House of Assembly. That uh, Wiki he was the one that purchased form for those guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that he did the same thing for the governor. So if you are saying he has something to, he, he can control those in the uh, House of Assembly, why can't you tell him to control the guy, no. the governor? You see, you see, some of us, will, hold on, hold on. Some of us want to act like that. We don't even, maybe, maybe because we don't even follow the politics very well. Or we just want who, to who is not by. follow? You oh, always, no. you always no, believe no, that no, you no, are no, 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 following it. They're pretending. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. You follow it, but you don't follow it. Apparently, you have to do it. Hold on now. Hold on. Dude, 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 just talk. Don't, okay, just crown, don't crown, call crown, me. Can you allow me to talk? Can you allow me to talk? Can you allow me to talk? You know, you just, just, see, see, the, the point is this. Just, mm. you know, just, just make, uh, make your point. Make it clear. Forget about it. You don't have to talk to people anyhow. Would you allow me? I will allow you, but I'm just telling you that. Hmm. You want to address me? You can't just okay. be telling me, um, you don't know this thing. You don't need that. So if you know, okay. what right. you right. know, so, okay. all this thing you are It's know. okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, so, don't tell me it's okay now. Uh, don't tell me it's okay. I have to talk. Ah, God. Let's 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 know, let's know, hold on. What's going on here? What's going on? Wait. Why? 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 Please hold on. I'm triggered. I mean, like, what's triggering you? Okay. You will talk from air from morning to night. We will not allow anybody to talk. So continue. Uh, That's but I, but I've allowed you people to talk. You know, you know how long I've allowed you people to talk here. Yeah? 
You people just Clown, we don't want insult. Irrational, we know. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm telling you. I'm not insulting said, anybody. I've been talking, so talking, talking. But if you try what to. What's he talking about? I've been talking. I kept trying to. Yeah, yeah. I would do the same thing. Ra 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 rational mind, yeah, rational mind. Let, let's be, let's be fair to Crown. He, he, he just. He just he just came in, so we should have allowed him to. We appreciate him coming. We appreciate Yes. He just so came in, so yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what I meant. Yes, continue. I appreciate his presence, but all I'm saying is this: is that some boss will come here, and if I say some of boss, if you know it's you, I didn't, I didn't mention your name, Crown. But you targeted me. That was why I said, would you please allow me? Do, I called you dude because I could not know that name to call you. So if I say, if I say, I'm not trying to disrespect you. Just the way I speak, I address people. I don't know if some of us. We, we, so, we know I, that it's not. Let me, let me know, let me know. Go. Up. So my point is, is that. Immediately, these people defected to APC. What did we see? They went to City Wiki. Why did we leave that part out of the out of the out of the narration? They went to see Wiki, and they were saying that they stood by their national. Hold on, hold on, no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, please. We, we must let speak to our national man. Let him, let him speak. And yes. they said they stood Go by Wiki, their leader. And so why did we cannot ask them? Why did you have to have people have to do that at that point? You see, we can come here and say things. Uh, uh, but but rather than mind, if yeah. only if you are deceiving ourselves, um, we can cancel. He doesn't know about the defection. Well, that's what some people want to believe here that he doesn't know anything. He cannot do anything. Uh, no, 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 no. So, why, why won't he know? So, <laughs> that my, is my that the blood that should, should lie. My, all I'm just saying is this: before we went off this whole this whole narration we're giving, I just believe that we can. Something will happen to him very soon. You see that Tinubu throw him under the bus? <laughs> yeah. You see that Tinubu throw him under the bus? Or uh, oh PDP, will, PDP will expel him. Because that guy, is too, his own is too much. His own is too much. But I don't know the kind of, I don't know who is advising him. Or maybe because he feels because he still was a governor of Lagos State, I mean, uh, River State. He believed that those, that those crap that he was doing in River State, can continue doing it. Well, we shall see time will tell. Okay, um, uh, Thomas, I need to go. I need to run because I have another topic I wanted to address, but okay. it's okay. I know people want to say anything. Right, so that mind, don't disturb yourself. It will end tomorrow. No worry. They go calm down. If, if they sweep them, we, we can. We go all about day and uh, they don't okay. collect rivers from our you so, remain national. So for me, what is happening in PDP is very simple. There are some set of leaders in that party who don't want Atiku to contest again, and those camps include northern governors that are interested in uh, in become presidency or campaign i mean vying for the presidency in 2027 or 2031 the present chairman of uh pdp damagun was put there by wiki and those governors they know the game they are playing it's a power game between article and his cohort with the others whatever you guys say here don't be surprised. Wiki is not going to be expelled from the party. He has bigger stake in that party. It's not going to be expelled. What will transpire in that PTP, PTP is that at the end of the day, if they can find a way to checkmate article, they will put their house in order. Because the Bala Mohammed you are talking about is interested in 2027 to contest. It's not in camp of article. And they know the truth. Their chances is quite limited. If they put an 82-year-old man to continue to contest in PDP, again, against a southern presidency, they know what they are doing also. So I know this thing we are talking about, the internal game plan of that party, hi or you don't know anything about it. So at the end of the day, they are not going to expel him because it's a big asset. And that Fubara, whatever we are talking about today, in the next two or three years, it will also realign one way or the other. So when somebody puts you there and you think you want to fight dirty, of course you can fight dirty if you have the political will and the sagacity and know how to play the game. Maybe you can come on top. But if you don't have it, you are relying on old foes to help you. 
if those old phones that is going to be your, at the end of the day, they are going to deceive you, and at the end of the day, you are going to lose out big. So I rest my case here so that other people can also talk. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I think rational mind left. Yeah. Um. Um. Do Do we have a Kenny? Let's give him the privilege of speaking from Nigeria. Ah, uh, the Jagaban of of Lagos. Uh, how, are, how, how are you, my brother? I do. Oh uh, yes. Uh, I let me let me let me give you kudos. Before. I I always appreciate you when you turn up because I know. The time is very, is very, very difficult, yeah, and you always turn up. Thank you, thank you for coming always. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So, what do you want? To, what do you want to speak to the topic, or do you want to respond? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, I, right, well, I was trying to, I was trying to calm down and listen to the argument, but I couldn't get the argument very well because this person is talking, this person is talking. You know. I decided to keep them. So give me the topic because I couldn't get everything. I couldn't get the argument from all the speakers. No, no, no. The 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 argument was we were talking about Wiki, how he is still is in uh police is in Dinobu's camp, and is also uh, attending the the meeting in um in PDP. So the, what what is the what is the rationale? Yes, that's what we that's what our argument is uh, based on yes yeah, so i don't think if you want well, to speak uh, for that, me, you know uh, for me i will, I will never support the attitude of kick because he has the right to attend the pdp meeting he has the right to work that's quite all right but the attitude of uh of week he gets it to where he is now under under Timubu's government everybody knows it's not it's not just uh, what he just got, it's just what the deity or the politics he played against his own party that like got him his position that he is today in APC. It's not just that he got uh, uh, um, um, Ekene, are we, I asked Rational Mind the same question. I know you guys are from the same uh, political party, Nilage, but I would be glad if you can give me a good answer. Can you, as a person, Blame Wiki. Yeah, you know, I can blame Wiki. Yeah, let me let me just give you some a little bit background. You know what's going to, but let me just say it for you to answer my question. When the ticket, the the agreement was when the presidential ticket go to the north, the chairman of the party will come to the south, which Adi Atiku uh, uh, attend to, Iochahayu to, they agree to. So when Atiku attend the the ticket, they don't want to relate the the, the south, the 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 the, 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 the chairman of the party to the south. We know what going um, on. We we can came out uh, saying let's let's stick to our agreement. Agreement is agreement. Are you must go? I, uh, you you uh, know uh, you know why they work against PDP. You know that everybody knew it. It's not it's not the breaking uh, news. Um, Russia, um, Mr. Thomas, you see, uh, everybody knows Wiki. I know Wiki, especially when he was Wiki was once a leader of the PDP. You cannot destroy your own house and expect it to stand. Atiku has his own share in the failure of PDP. For Wiki, Wiki, I know, stood with PDP even in difficult times. But you cannot destroy your own house with your own hand and expect people to applaud you. On that, you understand. All the almost three pass or two past the chairman of PDP was we can speak, we can pick nobody pick him for for him. So he picked Sokundus because of the power he wielded in PDP. He has the opportunity to pick Sokundus, and we know the reason because he wanted to. The power to come to the, from the north, which is supported from Tambua at the end of the day, I think to pick up the ticket. Then now coming to 2023, you came out also, you removed second news entirely by yourself without anybody opposing you in the party. And they replaced it with Yoshiayu. 
expecting to get a ticket in 2023 and you failed and you begin to rant see let me tell you party is not one man's business wiki is running pdp as if he is the only person in pdp and that is what i hate about him in pdp you give other people's opinion to stand because even in that convention you made your point clear that whatever happens as a party man you are going to stand by it you understand at the end of the day the candidate didn't pick you as vp seeing that he cannot he cannot work with you you became more angry it's not it's not it's not as if you didn't beg for it you beg for it you sought for it when the malaya challenged him you called him more than 29 times to beg a uh, article to pick you as as vp he never spoke he never responded to that which shows that what malaya said was the truth okay, man. Okay, man. so he's a he's a he's a okay. power okay. question which, which i dislike about him okay. you see the same thing he's playing in river state you understand oh, but he has the right to attend the okay, the meeting that happened Okay, even the even power coming to the south okay. it was the person that disorganized it because a lot of people in pdp told him man okay, thank, thank you for that point thank you for that point for power more come to southeast if that is not your position then we are throwing the ticket open because he knows that he has the resources to pick up the the the, the, the ticket if they it's say also the one that threw it open. it's also the one that threw it open through so the governor of benue state throw it, they throw it open so why is he complaining all about is he the only person in pdp i don't like this kind of character in terms of politics he's not the only person in pdp he should go and rest allow other people's opinion to to work he don't even want the party to work so i don't want i don't know what people are shooting about with he has destroyed uh, rivers politics uh, uh, today is the, the, the man he said in river state that he's not going to have a problem with which is with orderly Today he's having an argument with Speed Orderly, his political godfather, to show you the kind of green character he is. So I'm not a wicked type. Wicked destroyed everything in PDP, and he's still destroying it up today. He can work for us, whatever I can. After all, he described NPC as a cancer. He's not going to work with cancer. But today he's eating the cancer without even thinking. He's eating the cancer. He's not even wearing it. He's eating it. Again, someone is trying to interject. Yeah, let's give him that window. Trying to get his attention. He's just going on a one dead man's cruise. Wait now. You see, Ekene, have you ever worked somewhere before, and you didn't rip what you what you effort you put in, and somebody is ripping from it? Has it ever happened to you before? Probably not. I want to use I want to. I didn't get you. Can you hear what I said? Can you hear me? Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll ask the question. I said, have you ever worked or done something or a business that you put your money and resources before and you never reap from there? And somebody else who did not even put anything, cover, is the one reaping. Has it ever happened to you before? Well, uh, for me, yeah, I cannot. You are talking about wicked reaping from what? What did wicked did you know okay. really? Oh, hold let me, on, let me, that is, that let me, is, let me, 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 uh castigate this man and say what he's doing to the party is wrong but i'll tell you the genesis of this party what happened was that you know when you use the hand of a wealth to slap somebody that was what happens to ricky and because of his own exuberance too he couldn't control his impulses that is what happens to him ordinarily i think we shouldn't have clinched that ticket and how you of a person he supported how you when he uh, ousted his uh, main man secondo but you see, at a point in that country, Wiki was the one personally financed PDP. It was like PDP was non-existent after he had spent the resources of his state. Because usually when they spend money like that, they're trying to protect themselves so that he or sister would not come after them. That was the reason why he was, you know, gravitating towards Tinobu, knowing fully well that Tinobu will win that election. And for the fact that what they did to him in PDP. So, honorably, what you should have done the moment Atiku placed that ticket was to say, you know what, I need to ease myself so that somebody from the south, at least to appease, not just wicked only, but the people of the south, south south in particular, to be appeased. But no, 
he said that he will wait till the election so that should in case Atiku wins that election, he will now step down. But we can now told the public that this man collected huge, humongous amount of money, right? So that shows and tells you that this man would not leave office even if Atiku wins the presidency. And Atiku too, because he had promised Okowa, Okowa too was spending the money of his state to finance Atiku's campaign. They knew the south southern uh, the southern uh, government um, governors. They knew that that was the plan of PDP. Remember, it took a while before APC picked their own candidate, a vice presidential candidate as well. So it was a political calculation. And what did the wiki do? Wiki knew that he can match Atiku's uh, political progress and his tentacles. So he had to put in stubbornness, whatever you can call it to Dabaru, the, the old plan. And when it seemed the party would not accommodate him, number one, you won't pick him as a vice president candidate. Number two, you won't be able to pick his own candidate for chairmanship of the party. So tell me where lies his effort, all what he has been doing to the party. What was his reward? He knew that yeah, he would not amount yeah, to... So wait now, wait now, wait now. So all what he has done, all what he did for the party, even when he single-handedly sponsored the election of some, some candidate in some other states, including Ocean State, when he did all that, not the party would not recognize him. Number one. Number two, you saw how the Abracadabra that played out during their convention. So, and he knew that he was going to lose out if he has to stick his neck out for this same man and his camp that betrayed him. That was the reason why he stood his ground that if push come to shove, he will pitch his tent with the Ashiwaju. And he didn't lose out because you know why? Here comes he's now minister under the Mumbu. But the party knows his, um, his political. Uh, capital is political uh, 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 importance. And that was the reason why they would not even punish him. With all the shenanigans that he was doing during the election and all that, the party could not deem it fit to punish him because they know he knows the secret, the dirty linen of every member of that party. So in order for him, and you know, because the, uh, the administration is, is APC, so he could easily hand over those dirt to the APC and say, you need to punish these people for me. So, and they knew that he is in a dangerous place and cannot be messed with. And that is why the party to tomorrow would not, the PDP would not discipline Wiki. But of course, he was, in some instances, he was out of line, but because the party would not recognize his effort and what he has done for it, he decided, let's spoil this soup completely so that at least we can start scattering and picking the pieces after the election that was what is about and i can assure you pdp would not discipline wiki because at the point in time he was the backbone of that party and he's still committing the resources of that state to that party so there's no anti-party anywhere the party knew it was going to go with that she was even right from the get-go so whatever anybody is saying now it's just random, but they know where those power lies. I mean, he's in a position of power anyway, so he can do and undo it. Thank you. Okay, Adewale, you just you just gave an explanation of what your view is, not necessarily an equation, but I still have a counter argument on that. This is a party politics, not it's not a one man business. Your interest cannot override the interest of every, of every other person in that party. We case interest override every other people's interest. That means if it's not my way, nothing is going to happen. And that's not how to run a political party successfully. You understand? If it's not what I want, if I didn't get this ticket, if I'm not the president, then every other person must fail. I'm not a member of PDP. But I just got agitated when he played a kind uh, of politics. I, I can, I can I'm sorry, before you continue, I just want to throw this question to you. Remember, there is some people who call G5 governors. Can you remember, please? So yeah, I know. Talk, yeah. So when you talk about, the question I want to ask is that, we can play his role, 
marketplace role, some other uh, being a governor. Some of them follow PLP, what happened to them? And one other governor follow Atiko, and three governor follow Tinobo. So I want you to also panda around that uh, the question. Panda yeah, around even that. the even even the G five today is not G five PN again. You know, because he was the one controlling G five. If you ask about the benefit of Wike, Wike is the most richest governor. Look, if he's the one, he's one of the, he's one of the, why, why, he's, why be he's, governor? Follow LP. Why not follow APC? That means at a point they couldn't argue with. They couldn't agree with you. That means everybody so, have their own mind. Everybody is playing. Yeah, their everybody team. have their mind. But you know, Wike has this money from River State that he controls. Everybody so cannot deny that. Control. It's one of a is one of the few rich governor in Nigeria. You can yeah. say he has the money. And if you're you talking about the, if you're talking about benefit, Ekene. let me let me make my point now. Yeah, I'm like, making uh, points. Me, but okay, continue. So um in terms of benefit, Wiki has benefited a lot in PDP. You understand? Being a governor of River State and how rich he is. It's one of the benefits. It's PDP that gave him the platform to become the governor of uh, of River State. So if today people are asking what benefits in all the investment he did in PDP, he benefited more than even uh, a lot of people in PDP. Okay, a party giving me, you a platform, supporting me, you to be a governor, is not a... Let me ask yeah. you a question. Had they been um, um, wiki supported, if he supported... Uh, uh, Obi, you know, he promised to support him the other time during the presidential election. Are they being supported him? So, are you going to be saying what you are saying now? For me, if you watch me very well, if you have followed me on this platform, I've told people to forget it that Wiki is not going to support Obi. That <laughs> if Obi is going to go, for... just no, just, no, just, let me I, tell you, I, I have never, I have never, as far as I'm not, I've never had opinion on Wiki supporting Obi. No, I don't have any, I, any. I, no, there is no question in that. There is no question in that. I'm because I'm no. Let me tell. I there is no no. You cannot cajole me to answer what I don't believe. Right from the beginning, I'm I don't not, believe I, that we I'm can just talk about Obi. Question is not that. Yeah, I'm saying no, no, because no. starting from the starting from the primaries, when they were preparing for the primary, we can as already. And what you said, what you said about article is a lie. They are just trying to. I mean, it is a kind of sentiment like why article saying that uh, oh because if they you know throw the ticket to southeast it will step down oh if you know that he wants southeast to clean the, the it's ticket, not only right? his opinion i'm not talking about his personal opinion this is the meeting the campus no, meeting they had even before you, you yeah there? even before they there? came out it's not to, it's not article's okay, opinion yeah, hold on hold on hold on you were not there. It's just a booboo that you are just telling people that oh, this is what the article said. But the judge did not say that. But the judge was there, you know, and is a leader of the party. He's one of the leader of the party, and he didn't say that. He didn't a lot of Igbo Igbo elders said that. Even let me tell you see, the reason you why. That, let me let me let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me let me tell you. Oh, let me no, tell you, oh, I think no, I think they gave me this period to speak a little bit, then I will leave wait, you to continue. Have been talking now. Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The reason why Atiku could not pick a, 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 a vice from, from the southeast is because of that agreement. You understand? So in PDP, they told them clearly, if you're not giving uh, the elders in PDP in Southeast told them clearly, if they're not getting any, if they're not getting the candidate, the, the ticket of president in the pdp that nobody in the southeast should pick the position of vp and that i can tell you even the making order was the first person that article wanted to pick a lot of them but, but that ticket could because e because e of e the e warning e they gave e to e them e because e they e damn they e e e e all these things that you, you are saying during that the same primary all the delegates in the southeast they supported that article they didn't support the candidate from southeast so we are going we another angle and i will not, I, will not I don't want to be I will not, I will talking about also, also, let me finish now i'm not i'm not here to make a baby's argument i'm here talking oh. about we cannot attend the issue and the, the impact of uh, when if you want us to talk about that we'll talk about that you understand? Oh, okay. I'm not so, a, I don't, i'm not here for baby baby argument you want me to speak on this you go there, you want me to speak on this? 
what time? Etene, you, etene, etene, you, can, you can easily answer him. It's very simple. South. Uh, if you don't zoom to Southeast specifically, there's no how a Southeast standard will win. No, I cannot even. I cannot even. I don't even have time to answer him that because I don't want to act like we're doing Up down, up down. Why are we acting like we we are pretending like we don't know how politics is run? Hold on. Has it ever happened in Nigeria? It's only between the north and the south. Don't say they have to zone it to the southeast. Have you ever? Ah, why? So they will just say, okay, party will say, okay, we are zoning it to the southeast. Has it ever happened? So don't let us come in and be saying. It, 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 it uh, happened in 1999, or God. Uh, 1999. Um, people. Um, people um, uh, 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 please, I can continue. Yeah. Which uh, most, you know, most of the time, why I don't like uh, all this, uh, I don't like all this argument. I was, I was trying to make my point clear. You are taking me people voting this and all that. I can. We, when we have yeah, time to talk right. about that, I will. But sometimes people. I will, I will. I will. I will have time to explain to you why a Southeasterner cannot be the president, except PDP decide to give them the ticket. There is a lot of factors to that, but I don't have time for that now. They so, but to, my point is, my point still everything. remains that my point still everything. remains that starting from from the time of that primary, Wiki has already gone to the southeast to tell them that your son can never win him in the race. It's better uh -huh. you give me your vote, uh, what which is they, number one indictment on him. Why should he go to the southeast and make such statement? That is where I explain politics. How can you go to somebody else? Okay, let me finish. You can say whatever you want to say, but it is not a proper statement to be made. You can support him in whatever, whatever you want to say. But going to the southeast, you can converse for your vote. But trying to tell me that my son cannot and will never win the ticket of that primary. You cannot, you cannot come to my state and tell me it's George. You understand? So that is the force to show you that the impression he has going is for that primary. Is we cannot an Igbo man too? Is he not an Igbo man? Go and ask him. He said he's not an Igbo man. Is he so not I don't an know. Igbo man? We have. We, is he he's not an Igbo man according to him. He's He's not an Igbo man according to him. He's not an Igbo man according to him. Not an Igbo man. He said he said he's not. He said he's not an Igbo man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, not yeah, that word is dead. Wait, I can, I can I maybe if you ask Ajan Likoko, what is the meaning of Yensin in Igbo language? Yensin, what's the meaning? Wike, that tells the meaning. Yensin, Wike, is it not an Igbo name? What's the meaning in Igbo? What does Yensin, it mean? Yensin, Wike, is it not What does it mean, sir, now? What does it mean in Igbo? Now, now he's not an Igbo man because he, he, yeah. he but, went but there to but tell but people but. that Obi doesn't have the number. That is what he was. He, he said, said Obi he does said not he have the He said, don't I, throw I away your vote. Baba Jali Koko, people from Ikwere in River uh, State, uh, they don't believe they are Igbo. They will tell you they are not Igbo. They are Ikwere. All these Igbo. people, uh, Kenel, they, they were claiming them. They said they are Igbo. Now, today, he said, but one of not. my best. How many times will these people be? Uh, uh, I'm a, 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 I'm a,
And you know, you have some of these butterflies here, you know, everything that um the APC, everything that APC do is great. I mean, they never criticize or whatever. I mean, this is a tunumbunomic that's already fair economic is failing. Nothing has you know, nothing is going on. I mean, you know, they got it our reserve, you know, just to make Naira appreciate just to make um, Naira appreciate. I mean, what is going on? I mean, Nigeria is just a jungle place. Uh, no, you are you are playing propaganda now. Let's Adaliko could respond. Adaliko could listen to the interview of the um, uh, central bank governor. Today. But MFL kept telling us nice things now okay. till the end of the uh, 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 I'm not, I'm not man, to argue with, I don't want to argue with anybody. Adaliko, hold on. Emotion, hold on, please. Hold on. Everybody, hold on. Please. Let the conversation be between. Uh, man of prestige, Ajali Koko respond. The man of we can't be talking on each other, please. Yeah, okay. Ajali Koko okay. respond. Man, the of man, of prestige. man of prestige, you said uh, he was using our deserves to defend Naira. Is that not what you said? De now, yes, depleted right now. So, today, what are you talking that about? Is yeah. not, that is not the truth. Okay, he was an depend interview, on, depend, on, depend on who you're listening to. No, the central bank governor was an interview today. And he was telling us that that is not true. Their what is he supposed to say? He said they are not defending Naira with nothing. Go and look at what Bloomberg said yesterday. Okay? What did Bloomberg? What did Bloomberg said yesterday? He said they are using our reserve. You know. No. So, 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 so you, you want to you want to believe? You can't uh, get me what media. happened. What I listen. Uh, what I had. Uh, uh, so uh, so uh, you uh, want to. So part of it, our loans to China, to India, to America, all those ones, they use. Part I'm of not. I'm not. That's not. That's not just the. Only, that's not the only issue in Nigeria. No, no. Listen, listen, Nigeria listen, is a jungle. Listen, I mean, listen, look at what's going listen. on from Ganduje to uh, uh, so, everybody. So, so, yeah, yeah. And some of you here listen. are here defending, no, 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 defending no, 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 like uh, I think if, I have a even AAC, if, for if, I mean, even AAC really supporters, know. AAC supporters so, are no, defending no, 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 the criminals. No, no, no. I don't know why I fire Dialukoka. I don't know why I fire Dialukoka. Ah, <laughs> good. <laughs> no, when you guys are playing these dirty supporters. politics, you guys know how to play dirty politics, but you don't want others to play dirty politics. You want to you. show as if you know better than others. Do you when know you better than your own dirty do politics? You, do you have more knowledge? You, you, are nice in, you are nice in America. What yeah. knowledge do you have? You know, uh, so don't come here telling me whether you, you have more knowledge than I do. Bo, bo, ma man of prestige, look, look, oh, man oh, of hold prestige. on. You guys, oh, oh, the oh. obedient, you think you are the only one that knows how to talk against okay, the yeah. other. <laughs> you want to talk, you but, have but, talk but, all but, your I interest, but wait, you know, the other uh, people's uh, interest. Give me one sec. Give me Please give me one sec. I just spoken earlier on. Let the conversation be between Ajali Koko and Man of Prestige. Four persons cannot be talking at a time. No one is listening to us. We are just talking rubbish. If we don't give ourselves space to speak, Ajali okay, Koko, Aj Man of Aj Prestige, Aj Koka, have ahead. the floor. Go ahead, Ajali Koko. Uh, Remy, speak, then I please hold on. Um, um, uh, um, uh, Plata or Uptown, please hold on. Four people can't be talking at a time. Yes, Ajali Koko. Bratulam, man of proceed. Have the conversation that you guys can come after them. Yeah. Go ahead, Ajali Koka. Oh, you want me to go ahead? Yeah, I think Ajali Koko maybe is busy with something else. Yeah, maybe you, okay. you can go on. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm here. I'm Ajali here. Koko. Sorry. Okay, I'm okay. Go, go ahead and uh, cantalize what myself. I said. I'm, I'm here. Listening. I'm here. I'm muted myself. I didn't know. So, look, on the issue of Wiki, all of you, that are anti wiki we know your politics. You are all obedient. And simply because it didn't work for be that is why you are all against him. Okay, what's, what's nothing, wrong with that, Ajali Koka? Nothing, nothing that we can do. Hold on, Ajali Koka, what, what is wrong with that? Hmm? If that's true, let's just assume it's true. You know how, you, you've been in this country for a while. You know how politics is played. There's nothing Republican, Democrat is going to do, Republican is going to agree with that. What's it's wrong fine. with that? Uh, okay, fine. So what am I, what, what's wrong with that if that's the case? Let's uh, assume you are uh, right. Uh, uh, fine. But okay. the other side, hold on. Don't tell the other side that are pushing back against you that, oh, 
is because they are supporting Tinubu or is behold oh, Nigeria is they are destroying Nigeria and they are they are supporting Wiki or all of them. No, you are all playing your own part. Actually, because there's nothing Wiki. wrong with that statement. And, you and, can you and, can tell me the same thing and I'm supporting Obi. No, I mean, no. I don't I don't take offense to that. Uh, hold on, hold on. But your statement, the statement you are making that ah. Oh, Nigeria, they are destroying Nigeria and all of them are supporting Wiki when they are all destroying. No, it's because of the politics, because Wiki did not support Obi. That is why you are all after Wiki, that Wiki is, is never that, good. Don't for I have anything. an opinion? This is this my one, opinion. So, but that is fine. But the other propaganda that you are spreading is that <laughs> the, the, the central bank governor is using the reserve to defend the Naira. The man came out in an interview today. He said, no, he's not defending Naira, but they pay some debt. So you want, you you see, want me to believe you, anything why that come out of that man? The record is there. Do you want me? There's no record. I listened to an independence bloom, you know, independent? what he said. How does independence so I'm not going to... I'm, I'm, which independence? Every, not, everything that come out of Nigeria mad, Nigerian oh, government, hold on. Which is independent the source? in my own which opinion. independent source? Where is that? Tell me, mention that independent source that you are talking about. Sources I, I you are said talking Bloomberg. About. Bloomberg. Yeah. Bloomberg that said, Bloomberg that said last year that Nigerian currency, it, 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 I mean, immediately about, I mean, uh, Buhari said, he said the worst that can happen to Nigerian currency is 800 800 between okay. 700 did, did, and 800. Wait a minute, I don't need Naira. to listen to that, to that interview. What they said is that did, did Naira, did not go to Naira is the best performing currency right now. I am and they give you right the reason why that you, happened. What I'm telling you he didn't is say that it's the, it's, he didn't say it's the best currency, he said the performing because of the appreciating. That's all he said. That's oh, what they said. I, I, so, let me ask, let me ask a man of prestige. So, so if you say, oh, I, I one minute, sorry. If okay. you say that they are using uh, dollar, the reserve to to defend the dollars. So yes. why is it that? So are, are you saying now they are defending even the the black market because the black market and the and the and the normal and the CDN rate almost at the par now. So that means they are defending the, the the one in the black market too. It's a parallel market. Eventually, it's going to, you know, it, 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 no, you know no, eventually it's going to affect the black market. Because I look because at it, I look at it yesterday. On. Even the uh, the foreign reserve is, I mean, um, the, mm -mm, the foreign that's exchange is a little, it's a little saying. bit higher than it's a little bit higher than black market. So what cause and effect? Oh, so so when they were defending Naira, when the Philly was defending Naira that time, the difference is about three hundred Naira. So if 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 black market is higher, so we we know that they are actually defending the naira, but the, the naira at CBN rate and the black mark at black market is almost at the same thing. But, so but just, what, okay, but let me ask you: all of you are just clamoring. When they came in, when they came in, what did they meet the dollar at? About six hundred. Is it not what they meet in Nara? No, the Nara has quadrupled up to four times. But recently, you, you are has, shifting, you are shifting, has you are shifting, So it's still very high. So what, uh, man, man, of, man, of, man of prestige, can I say something, please? Can I say something? When did you want that? I wanted to... What do you want? What a lot of people... It's just because of APC made that campaign that they will not defend the Naira and all those stuff. But for me, there is nothing bad in defending the Naira. It's just that... There we don't have a lot enough. There. Bad in defending Naira. there is nothing bad in defending Naira, but it's just okay, that the way APC play there. Oh, oh, it's just, it's just the way. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. It's just the way APC is playing their their politics and all that. You understand? We the problem is that we don't have enough inflow. We don't have enough well, inflow. Well, I, wanted, get, I wanted to finish my conversation with Ajali. Uh, uh, let, 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 let me let me let me let me let me finish. Let me say I mean, this. The, the problem is there. Okay, please hold on. We must allow. If I say, let okay. it be, please. Actually, go has to finish with a uh, man of prestige. Let them finish. We don't even, they haven't concluded with their conversation before you guys come in. So, let's conclude. Rational, um, uh, man of prestige. Actually, Koko. Yeah. Okay. So, man of prestige, the central bank governor 
had an interview with international media houses and he said that interview that he is not using the reserve to defend Naira, but rather paid some debt. And Nigeria have responsibility to pay her debt. So, I where are, where are people saying he's defending the Naira with the reserves? Where are they getting their facts? Because Thomas, look at our reserve. It's depleted. Look at where it is right now. Okay, I mean, let me tell sense. you. Hold on, hold on. It depleted with $2 billion. But yesterday, according to the central bank governor, he said $600 million came into the reserve. He said that is the way it works. Some money will go out, some money will come in. He said, look, they have responsibility to fulfill the payment of the nation debt to their creditors. And within the short time that this guy came in, all the backlog of debt owing to the $800 million going to the, um, what do you call it? Um, airline across the world, he paid it off. Even within short billion, this guy had paid about seven billion dollars. So, what? What, what are, you are you aware? About? Are you aware they? Are you aware they still borrow more? Oh, hold on, this guy paid seven billion dollars within this short time he came in. In service, what are you in talking pain, about? Pain of death. They are clean up. They are clean up their mess. They the one that you know. They the one that prepared the no, economy. No, no. Why are you jumping from pillar to pole? They're just course. cleaning up. What are you why talking are you about? From I mean, pole? they have not done anything positive. Why are you jumping from pillar to pole? He already left a mess. He is cleaning it up. Uh, what, uh, Somebody what is that the difference is, between what is different between Buhari and Tinubu? They're, they're, di they're different, 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 different personality, different personality. Oh, they, I name, mean, everything is everything is had triple since since Tinubu came office. But everything is just getting name, some of them is just getting Buhari better right now. Why are you it, blaming? How why are you blaming? Why are you, why are you still blaming Buhari? It is not the same people that are serving Buhari's administration that are serving. Buhari blamed good luck for eight years. Now that we to blame Buhari. What yes. was what was Naira when Tinubu took, took office? Well, we 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 we, we I agree with you. The Naira was 600. It's bad. But this guy has been taking some policies, and sanitizing the, on, the place. Until they bring on. it to the level where it was o, before o, or lower. On, I on. mean, it's a thousand or a few hundred. It, I nothing agree has that improved. With you. I agree that with you. But he is taking some policy. All of you seen it. None of you in the heart of your heart cannot say that this guy is, is, is not doing anything. You have seen what he's doing. You've seen the way he's sanitizing that uh, um, uh, central bank. Several policies been put in place. Money, as at the time it came in, do you know how many um, 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 uh, Burundi change that we have? We have over 6,000 of them. They have gone down to about 1,000 because I, I of the what, policy. In my own opinion, what they are doing is try and, try and error. Oh, See the one oh, that's oh, going to oh, Hold on. How can, you you say, how can you say it's a try and error? <laughs> <laughs> when you plan. see, and, 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 it's it's and, it's, and it's working, is it an error? Or is it working? It depends on, depend on, depend on how you are Depends on how you are taking it. How do you, yeah. how do you think? You said it's trying an error, but it's working. Is it a what, trying what, an error? Wait a minute, Thomas. What is working? Tell me anything working. Okay, let me tell you. Because do you know how many? Is appreciated. Let, it's not let, affecting. It's not affecting anything. It's not. It's not affecting the, anything in the economy in terms of inflation. I will give you one. Inflation is to the highest. A, a bag of rice. A bag of rice two months ago was eighty-five thousand. As of today or yesterday, it's now sixty thousand naira. Who took it to eighty five thousand? Uh, yeah, Who took know, it there? Know, <laughs> you know what? All, all, all these people. No, you, you, have have so you, you, you ask for money. You, you ask for money. You have some people that are propagand, propaganda. Some of them are here. Right? Like, like, like you, you Remy. See, Remy you, you see, this is, area, this is what, uh, this is what you guys, this is what you guys know to do best. You want to condemn everything. And when they are telling you, show you the fact that, okay, what fact? It, 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 hold on now. 
Hold on. Can you please listen? Can we please listen? Can we please listen to each other? Let me just told you. Let me just told you something now about the price of rice that is coming down. You still don't want to see it as a progress. You want to condemn it. So no, when I got told me it's not true. When the price because goes up, you some, are condemning. I listened to on. some. I listened to when, some radio today in Nigeria. When, when the price, when the price went up, you are condemning. Now the price is coming down. The price is coming down. You are condemning again. What? Where do you stand? Or, or, it, it, or, it, it, or it, this it, is voodoo it, economics they are playing to you. You all oh, are buying it. Okay. Abracadabra. Oh, okay, we'll do it. We'll are you we'll are you are, are you guys want to listen to an opposition voice? Do you really so, want to listen to an opposition voice? So uh, what, what we are saying, what we are saying is that what we are saying is that look, you guys can continue to pay your opposition, but when your opposition is looking to a stream, it's not you are not Ad, you are Ad, not um, okay. you are Adelico not um, applying let me ask something let me finish, ask something let him finish and then you come after him so that we can okay finish. okay remy oh, okay okay i'm sorry so when you people are not applying the reality on the ground to objectivity judgment, objectivity to, yeah yeah to form your judgment then people will see you as just uh, a bunch of uh, a, a rascal opposition. Bunch you know? of losers, yeah. right? A rascal. Rascal. Okay. You just want to, you don't want to see anything good. Rascal but, Baba, but Baba, sorry, so, is, uh, but our opposition is more objective than Shori. Have you gone to Shori's Twitter page before, uh, uh, earlier? We are, we are, we are more objective than him now. <laughs> look at, no, look he, at no, he's an AC he member now. Forget about Shore. Don't mention about Shore. I, I is he a rascal? Is he a rascal? He's just well, a rascal. Leave why why are we going to leave him alone? I, yeah. I, I, uh, you want to condemn us office. alone? Yeah. You want I, I, to leave Shore alone? What to I, I, make I, I, us the cleaners? Man of prestige, can I? Can I? Keep on supporting your budget that will never work in Nigeria. Ajali Koga, can I ask you something, Ajali Koga? Yeah. Okay, well, let me ask you this thing. You blame me that we are playing whatever, you know, you don't you are radical whatever you call it our proper what we're doing is not right ha, tell me everybody in this platform tell me any kind of charity you have done to that country you know and most of people here you are no, cho, 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 cho. most of you are condemning obi for going to the north building a borehole his own money he's not ah. in the government and that's most of yeah, yeah, you are that, that, one, the that is a private eh? individual that yeah, yeah, uh, he's starting to help you can I tell you something, please? Can I tell you can something? Can you build that kind of borehole in your house? Answer Baba, uh, what, what, Koka, what have you done? No, what hold, you on, done in hold on. Tell me what, what have you done to benefit Nigeria? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, let it be between me and uh, this thing. Let me ask, uh, let me ask uh, my, my man of pressing a question. That kind of boho, can you build that in your own house? The people appreciate it. No, no, no. I, I asked the question. Why are you running away? Can you build that kind of boho? The way what stop the representative to do to do house. better thing for them. You asked what stop the you ask me house. a question. Can I answer you? Is that the kind of boho Obi have in his house? What why does it have to be applicable to what Obi has? Uh, no, beggar has no choice. No. What is are that you talking the way, about? The one he have in his compound, is that the way he look? The okay, way, Adalikoka. the one that he does the beggar, the does the beggar have a choice? I mean, you guys are just... Uh, Na, Baba guys, yes. so, Na, Na, Nigeria is the beggar. Nigeria is the beggar. No, is the beggar. no, no, no. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean the northern When we are telling you that that guy is a bad guy, you don't want to... They have water to drink. They are beggars. They should be appreciated, whatever somebody. What have you done? Man of they pre they them. prefer to talk to Man of Prestige, hold on. Man of Prestige, hold on. It's too much voices. Oh, if hold it's on. too much voices, let's just close down the section. We can't, I can't hear anybody. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. One voice. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Man of Prestige, please and please. Obi is not the first person that is going to do anything for anybody in Nigeria. Atiku, Obasajo. Uh, Chinubu, Buari, all of them have done something even more than build for their own people. Okay, Remy. 
So no 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 calm down 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 not everybody will believe what he's doing is good. A lot of people will still believe he has undertone, just like we accuse others that give them money, build churches, build mosques, build a lot of them. It's all about politics. So if okay, are, what, what, what's wrong with that, Remy? So I said, just I said now, I said it's appreciative. So don't worry. But that's not what you're doing. Yeah, you're here criticizing. No, 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 no. Can you listen to me, please? What I'm trying to tell you is that. He is not the first person that is going to do something for them in the northern part. Some people have been doing it more than 20 years. You cannot tell me uh, Atiku or Tinubu or Buari, they are not helping their people. They are helping their people. So what you guys... Okay, do you what, remember what the last time? This, this is the deal, social um, media. Everything you do is going to be out there. So, no, yeah, no, 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 relax. What is, uh, what is he doing that is so special that others have not done? It's not special to you, you, Remy, because you got money. You, you are where to do. You are living yeah, well. Hold on. But those yeah, people hold on. are beggars. They got nothing. You cannot call yeah, them beggars. Don't, don't call no, them beggars. You can't, you can't call don't Nigerian beggars. No. Don't, don't, that don't is very much. I call Nigerian I said those people. Those area you, you cannot call them Nigerians. Are they not Nigerians? What do I say? So what? They are. So what well, Nigerians are beggars in their own country now. What are you trying to say? What Nigerians are beggars. The politicians have turned Nigerian beggars in their own country now. Ekene, what man of prestige is telling us today is that the northern people are poor. Why you guys are rich? That is not good. No, it's not like that. I, it's not like that. But every, and I, what I, what I, what for me, what I, what I, what, what I understand here, what I understand here is that Nigerians are beggars to politicians. And that's and what you guys, that's what they have done, Nigerian done Nigerian do. We beg, we beg for everything we want in our own country. So, so when we know that we have the resources. They, 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 beg, they, they beg for, they beg for the amenities that their government should provide. If you listen to, to provide for them, Obi, Obi, today, Obi, today Obi, we are still begging for electricity. Nothing Ekene, is being Ekene, done in that sector. Ekene, we are begging for Ekene, everything. Ekene, Obi said what he went there for Obi said that he went there for Salah, and everybody around him. We kept saying one thing water Every water water and water and then he, i'm road. coming calm down i'm coming i'm coming everybody that's kept that's uh, that's calm down now bro now not be only you they talk now calm down small obi said he went there for salah everybody was saying one thing water 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 and i told him okay he dropped money he said this water we need and uh, um, put this water here and then they dig the borehole and get water. The fact that those community people don't know how to do aesthetics because they don't really care about aesthetics, they just want the water. It's their business. But Obi makes sure ah, that that's what they ask for. He ran long power, a tonic, a total so. Obi makes sure. Let me calm down. Obi makes sure. Obi, I'm coming. What Obi makes sure that what they ask for, which is water, that he provided it. That's no, the point. What and that is the opposition this guy is talking about. Up down, up down. They are only talking about. They are only talking about the borehole. What of the about hundred about hundred is empowering? empowering hundred. What about the people that empower in that community? Is you know why? Let me just, um, um, Thomas, my brother, no. Thomas, please. I, I, was, I was talking, let me just complete what I was saying. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You will talk, don't mind. please. Okay, I know you will talk, please. Yeah, we can't be four people can't be talking at the time. Um, up to, do you understand what I'm saying? If four people no, are no, talking, I understand you, understand no, nobody's nobody is hearing us. It has to be two Thomas, conversations, Thomas, one line way, then one line response. Thomas, line it up. Line it up. Yes, please. yeah. Line yeah. Oh, up. please. Let's 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 let I don't want to be too rigid. I don't want to be kicking people in the background. It doesn't make sense. But if four people, if you listen back, if four people are speaking, nobody is speaking because we are not hearing what you are saying. I am just here to moderate. You are the guys that will talk. I'm not here to talk. I'm here just to moderate here. So Uptown, take it on. Remy, respond. Then Ekene, take back the floor. So Uptown, yes, the floor is All yours. Right. Um, um, thank Hold you. on, um, Thomas. Wait. Good. I, li I like your moderation. Thank you, Thomas. The way you're moderating. No, I, uh, 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 I, 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 that's what I wanted to say. Thank you, my able moderator. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's really it's really very simple what I said. This guy, 
Come went on. for Salah. Time us. Time us, please. Time us. Maybe one minute or two minutes. So that okay. Can... Okay, okay. Um, this guy went for Salah. They asked for water. He provided it for them. Simple. And the point uh, uh, this guy raised when Remy talk, uh, when Baba Aja talked about politic uh, opposition that is not objective. That's why you raised that point. That this is the better opposition than just uh, the, like the type show is calling uh, uh, occupy Nigeria revolution now. Uh, go to the street and carry this and do that and that. No opposition. You can play opposition while also helping Nigerians. You can mix it together. Why making sure that your opposition, your style of opposition, while you are playing opposition, while you are um, yesterday, Obi spoke to the budgets. He outlined a lot of things inside the 2024 budget that a lot of people have forgotten. He's still digging out more things. I heard them discussing it in TVC. I heard them discussing it in Channel TV. He was doing that and still trying to also help to better the life of the people. That is how to play a same objective opposition not uh shouting and these are the people that have members in house of assembly that has budgeted 180 million for the same boho i expected people like baba Aja as an aac member like aluta people to be talking about those people in that budgeted that 180 something million for those boho that ob is doing that those are the people he should be talking to like well and they later found out that that particular community is the community of the speaker the sitting speaker of the house of uh, of the of the green chamber the current speaker that is his constituency and he's the speaker and he's collecting billions that's what we should be talking about but everybody wants to leave governance about don't governance and face will be and face obedience the people that are even trying to help and that's the same thing where he's doing yeah uh, okay let me come in here for me this is a public figure because maybe be a governor before or senator before and everybody is playing politics. I quite remember before the 2023 election, when there is a big, I don't know whether it's a flood or a big disaster in the northern part of Nigeria, Tinubu donated about uh, 50 million, 100 million to them. And that time, a lot of people in the south also said there is a big trouble, it does not donate to us. So he donated, and his wife also took a lot of things to that place in the northern part of the country, food item and so many things. So what your B is doing now is not a big deal. So a lot of them are playing politics. Nobody can tell me OB is not doing that of charity. He's also doing it to win their hearts so that in the next election, maybe they can vote for him. So all what is is, is that not a good opposition? That's the point. Is that not the um, best the, the better form of opposition? When you are talking, I did not interject you. So just give me my own time too. So whether good opposition can I come in? He is doing his own stuff. It's Brandy, not can like, I come in? Uh, no, no, no. Let me finish quickly. What I'm what I'm trying to say is that giving them boho, whether good or bad, whether the quality is not good or the quality is the best in the world, is not a big deal. Some people have spent hundred million, donating hundred million, building mocks, providing shelter, giving food stuff more than him. So what people are trying to tell you is that. If you are saying that what he is doing now, of course I appreciate it, but at the same time, to me, that's a political undertone. Everything is about interest. And the interest is just about if he's going to process next time, so yeah, people can also remember him. I've done my part. Simple as ABC. Thank you. Uh, um, let, me, let, me say, let me say let me say this. Uh, let me say this. Before um, you respond, please. Before okay. you respond, please. Uh, which is it, it's not the bad, but but it's not the bad thing if he uses wealth to back up his political ambition. There's no bad thing about that. Uh, Fayoshi did the same thing. Fayoshi has been given a kitty water, which is called a uh, spotlight, and he used that as a, a tool to come out as a governor in the kitty state, and people voted for him. That is it. Yeah, it's, there's nothing bad in be doing that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you have to okay. Follow. Let me say this. Uh, one thing is sure, one thing is certain is uh, Nigeria in Igbo language. They say, I geno silike. Uh, uh Morocco said that, uh, cafe a make a metal one ma. I mean, ma in on oku, I mean, jo in on oku. So, the best thing you can do as a human being, do what you know you can do and leave the result for god you understand if you do good you are in trouble is that, is in, a country, in our country 
Yeah, if you do bad, that's the meaning. Yeah. yeah. If you do good, you are in trouble. If you do bad, you are in trouble. You understand that it's nothing you do to please the world. So just do your best. If you do good, you're in bigger trouble, actually. Yeah, even bigger trouble. So that's a Morocco for you. If you understand the music, you find a Morocco one, one Maroka. You want you will enjoy the music very well. Then you know that you don't have to trouble yourself whether you do good or bad. Just do the thing you want to do and move on. So, but uh, that's not my point of interjection because uh, a lot of things, as we, we said here, which is uh, the economy, the way it's turning out, and the, the defense of the hey, Naira. Hey, can I, yeah. hey, can I, you, you have the yeah. floor. You are not, you have the floor. It's the people interjecting you. So, you have the floor. So, continue. So, yeah, thank you, Thomas. So, my point is this. I still maintain that depending the Naira is not bad, but the way APC is putting it as if it is a good thing to do not to defend the Naira, and that is why people are coming against them. You understand? Uh, Jonathan, a lot of them defended the Naira, both of us and Jody defended the Naira, but the difference is that we have much uh, influence then, and they are not defending from what we are borrowing. We have a lot of resources then to defend the Naira because we have a lot of crude oil which we are exporting so we have much inflow you can go and check the statistics we have about 90 something billion 70 something billion inflow all that just down to buhari period we don't have that that inflow again so he was defending from what he's borrowing and that is where why we are where we are today uh, uh, you're defending the naira with anything whether you whether you want to put it that way or you don't want to put it's it that free, way well, the only thing is that the only thing the only, you cannot tell me you cannot tell me that naira just came down from 2000 naira under a few months just for nothing what made it to come down what did you export it is it is not yeah what did you what did you export what did you export Oh, hold on. what is your inflow what have, have your have your oil out have your have your are you generating revenue? Has it increased? You still have about one point four, uh, one point something billion per barrel a day. Anyway, you understand? No, to... you cannot tell me. I'm not a. I'm not. I'm we not that. And I'm not that economist. But but here. common sense. But common sense can tell you that. You understand? What you should be talking today in order to maintain a good, a good economic background is how to increase your your inflow. At least your oil your 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 oil, your oil, your oil, your oil which is your major the, the... export. Should do, be about two point one billion. Do you want to? Do you want to list in? Yeah, let let's Ajali Koko. Ajali, let's Ajali Koko. Yeah, Ajali Koko, come. Look. But I've not made my point now. Okay. Continue. Yeah, you cannot just come here when I've not just Continue. made my point. Continue. So yeah, you, 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 should, point. you should be, you should be able you, to stabilize. Okay, you should be able to. Okay, 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 yeah. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Uh, com, uh what do you call it? Conversational. You just throw a question to Ajali Koko. Ajali Koko wants to answer you. You don't want him to answer you. You say what? Okay, happened let him. Let me, okay, let him. Okay, okay, let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. You still have the, yeah, you still have the floor. I, you ask a question and let him respond. Ajali Koko, you respond to a Kene. Okay. You said they are defending the Naira, and I said earlier that the central bank said they are not defending the Naira. All right, and you said that is not true. That why can it come up? Why can it come down from one thousand eight to one thousand one? That they don't have the money. Look, as at the time this administration, when central bank governor came in, he discovered that the banks were holding the night the dollar up to the tune of seven billion dollar were in the vault of the bank. They were not releasing it to the forest market. He ordered them. All this money must be injected. They must inject this money. They must pump this money into the forest market. And he took some policies that make it impossible for those that are doing round tripping to continue with the round tripping. The bank official cannot do round tripping anymore. The Buruti chain cannot do a round tripping anymore. The Buruti change. Their business was booming before this man came in. We had over 6,000 Buruti change, but now they are not they are not more than 1,000 because business is not good for them anymore due to radical 
policy that this guy has rolled out. Burundi change cannot have more than 10,000 a day. And at the end of the day, if it's only 1,000 who are able to sell, the, 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 that 9,000 in their hand, they cannot keep it 25. They have to return it to the central bank immediately at the close of business a day. The money must go back. So, look, many policy, I mean, policy that were rolled out by this guy caught wings of, you know, currency speculators and, you know, um, 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 uh, 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 round trippers, or how do I call them, who are all responsible for this thing to come and more investment, more dollar has flowed in. Because now, remember, before, when we send money from abroad to Nigeria, that money will not go into our system. But now, every money we are sending home, the central bank is getting it. You can't get dollar when we send money like before. When we send money, you can collect dollar. It, 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 right now, it's converted to Naira. Those are the things that make life Naira a stronger currency against dollar. I mean, don't let me say stronger than dollar, but at least give it some sort of uh, more value than before. So, okay, there are bye several bye major bye. that result. It's not that the bye. government just throwing money out. Oh, we want it to work. Hey, dip money into itself, throw it to the... No! Baba so Jha, Baba Jha. Those, those are the things. Baba Jha, you just made your, you just made your point, uh, which is very uh, understandable. Yemi Kadoso, I'm not saying that he's not working or he's not. His money, pol his monetary policies, is still good. But for the short to time, major. You still know. You understand? For the short time, major, at least. Is bringing a little result because I cannot say that the dollar at one thousand, naira at one thousand one fifty or one thousand two is still a good, uh, a good exchange rate. But at least we can still manage it. Then hoping that it will still get better. You understand? So, but uh, the movement, point is this: it's a movement, whether slow or fast. Yeah, the the point is this. The point is that uh, the point is that our foreign reserve is being affected, and nothing is there. So how are we going to Ekene, make when more, the Naira was falling? How is the foreign reserve when the Naira was falling? Did you mention foreign reserve when the Naira was falling? Let me see. Let me see. The, the foreign reserve we, we see it from the we see it from the new we so. see it from the new agencies and that foreign reserve is very important. What you can check the foreign reserve. reserve. Even, Naira is, I know you Naira see how the past administration has destroyed our foreign reserve starting from the time our passenger left office. And the what is getting to the is nothing to write to him about. So the, and the, the only thing that is performing in this government is the monetary policy. The physical the side of it is not currently. The the, the, the physical currently? the physical side of it is not doing anything at all. And that is why you see the price of commodities not coming down the way it should be. You hey, understand? Hey, can, I, can I can I say so, something? Just a minute. Yeah. 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 You you commended Ajali Koka for what he said. All Ajali Koka said was is purely misinformation. There's nothing he said that's accurate about what he just said. I mean, <laughs> to begin to begin with, to, to begin with, Naira has been Look at hold on, Democrat. Naira has been Look you know, Naira American has been Democrat. depreciated <laughs> against dollar during Buhari time and eight years, you know, but slowly from four to five to six. But when Tunumbu came, you know, and propagated his new policy, that is what depreciate Naira to the highest level, the fastest ever in Nigeria, yeah. in Nigerian, yeah, right. in Nigerian lifetime. The way the, Niger, right. the way the Niger, Naira depreciate, that yeah. is the fastest. So when you come here and give all this misinformation, and you want me to believe that the government is doing something. Yeah, baby step. I mean, baby step to correct what baby they step did. Is a step. That, you know what the cost of Wait a minute, that is exactly what is happening right no, now. Know, and knows, you want me to come here and give them a credit? He knows. Oh, 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 hold on, prestige. hold on. The the, the the man of president, the Benaz, the Benaz, the Benaz guy, Benaz guy that too, is in is jail part of the in Nigeria. 
Why do you yeah. think is is going through trial in Nigeria? Why is it going to? Why is it going to? Binance, um, Binance, uh, Binance. Uh, yeah. Oh, the Binance guy. Yeah, you're one of yes. them. The other one why is it going through trial? <laughs> okay. Well, why is it on trial? Because of what you accuse him of doing. I'm not saying a lot of people in didn't contribute, population, but they are not, they are not the world perpetrator of whatever is happening to Nigeria. They are involved in that. So don't put everything on him. I mean, I have I have people coming to give me information when we try to correct correct people, and you come here play play your voodoo economics, thinking that we are all dumb. <laughs> even at all, we are not. Even at all, we are not economists. We are smart. Sorry, you. Everybody just... here is smart. But the point still remain that uh, they have not done anything mm -hmm. about the economy of this country right? because yes. the purchasing we, 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 power yeah, of the yeah. people is too low. Because yeah, what we, what yeah. what determines what determines the what determines the 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 performance of governance in terms of in terms in the economy sector is when mm -hmm. your your five thousand naira can get you what is desired. You understand? Yes, yes, or when your salary when your salary can get you at least the affordable. The major need of a human being, which is a clothes and the shelter and the food, these three major things. So when your minimum wage cannot afford you those things, then the economy is not faring well. So we yes. still uh, we are still under that under performance in terms of economy because our purchasing yes. power is still very. If you are not earning higher, if you are not mm. earning, earning very high in Nigeria today, you are just living from hand to mouth. Yes, Every other yes. you can confirm it. As an Nigerian. Let me come in. So you let cannot uh, you cannot say that the economy is doing well at the moment. Yeah, let me come in. Let me come in. Uh, during the Buhari's, I mean, Tinubu's came in, uh, took some drastic, um, there is some background sound that is coming from somebody. I don't know. Took some drastic um, measures by floating the Naira and then Please, uh, where is this sound coming from? Is it Thomas? Is that from Thomas? No, no. it's not from Thomas. Me. Please I mute your mic, please. Hey, no. Yes, maybe from Thomas or something. The sound is is really disturbing. It's not. I hope everybody is muted. If everybody is Thomas, muted, mute your mic, mic please. Thomas in Nigeria, because Nigerian, I get a lot of shaky. If this is not about Nigeria, it's about somebody muting, or if you are not talking, just mute yourself. Don't bring anything that doesn't relate, relate. Internet is internet. I believe this is coming from Thomas. I believe it's coming yeah, from Thomas. It's coming from, from Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Because let me let, let me let me get in touch with him. The noise is really disturbing. Thomas, 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 an engineer now. Waiting the engineer now. Hey, now you should just move. Put it in mode, Tony. It's Thomas said that his phone is ringing now. I think bye bye. Baba is trying to call him. All right, guys. Good night, everybody. I can't take this anymore. Bye. Anymore, yeah, okay, my man, man of press is okay, okay. Yes. It's obviously not with the phone. And the phone said might be with the might be the same platform he's joining from. So Oh yeah, BKB. I think the noise is. Uh... Yeah, like a... yeah. Not no, it's still now. there. It's still there. Even when you when you try to call him, now his phone is ringing. But I'll just try and uh, make my submission. So yes, just try. So when he came in, 
of course, the floated denial and remove subsidy that uh, astronomically brought the devaluation to that significant uh, level. Yes, he has muted now. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. So, I'm the one I'm using. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mike. Thank you, sir. So, but now the uh, currency is doing well now. And uh, some of us want to appreciate that at least they are doing something. But some people don't want to. They just want to believe that they are doing a Vado economics, uh, uh, trial and error, anything. They are defending the Naira. Those same people, they are not, they are not bothered about the, the reserve before, but they suddenly becoming a, a defender of foreign, uh, Nigerian reserve by saying he's using Nigerian reserve. And the man has come back to come out to say he's not defending using the reserve or something like that in the recent interview. But my point I wanted to post was that when uh, Emifili was defending the Naira, there is still a significant difference between the official rate and the parallel market rate. I think it's in the excess of 200 Naira, if I'm, if I'm correct. When he was defending it to be around 650, 460, the parallel is going to be around 700 or thereabout. So, but, but if you observe what is happening now, the parallel and the official is almost the same. So what I don't get is that if we um, want to follow the uh, obedient uh, uh, perspective that is defending it, is it defending the parallel market also? Because if it's defending the official rate, let's say the official rate is 1,001, but is it defending the parallel market also to be equal to the official rate? Because the Mifili was defending. That was why we had an official rate of 460. Uh, why the parallel market had the about 200 Naira or 250 there about difference. So that's one point that I need the some economics to explain. What is that? MFLA didn't, MFLA, MFLA didn't, MFLA, uh, in, in defending did a lot of damage to the economy, him and the Buhari, because they didn't understand it. So for me, I will not say MFLA defended or anything. No, MFLA, they defended now. MF, yeah, I, I know, but in his own terms, he dollarized the economy. Not, no, 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 wait. I'm not planning to talk about economy. Just some clear fact, some clear uh, point BQP, I would give you on the BQP, same BQP, Please explain subsidy. BQP, explain subsidy very well. No, before. no, just wait, please. just wait, just wait. Uh, then there is a point I am raising in that particular. Um, um, uh, I'm raising a point now. No, when you when you talk mm. when you talk about mm. the defense of the naira, you can you yes. can take it to the time of good luck, not the MFRA. Um, Buhari Buhari economics is one of the worst, and I cannot even understand the economy not, very well. You know, honestly, I'm, speaking. I'm not. I'm I not, understand what you are saying, but when you, when you when you talk about Buhari, when you talk about defense, wait, when you talk about defense, wait, what? I'm not saying why yeah. did well or MFLA did well. That's not what I'm saying. Don't interpret what I'm saying. I'm only explaining to you that there is a there is a difference between the official rate as proposed by the government or CBN and the parallel market rate. What now, what they gave us that what they gave what MFLA took, took his time to enrich his people or his colleagues in the government in terms of it. So I cannot understand his own economy very well. But when you talk about defense, you take it down to Jonathan. Jonathan, different from, from what the Naira, the official rates to the market rates, then it's, just, it's nothing less than nine Naira or 10 Naira. You understand? You can check it very well. And they defended the Naira very well because we have a lot of inflow. So when you're talking about defense, I can only, I can only refer to, to good luck, Jonathan, down to other governments. I will not oh, talk about APC because all okay. these things came, all these things destroyed starting from Buhari and when APC took over the government up until today. Yes. So there is nothing to count about Buhari. When you want what to talk about proper defense of the Naira, you talk about good luck, Jonathan, who defended the Naira, and the difference is nothing less than nine Naira or ten Naira. So you can easily go to the black market, get the dollar you want, just the difference of nine Naira or ten Naira. So you, everything uh, starts to everything starts to crumble when APC it, came into power. If if the, the reason today. why so they are they are, are striving they are even if starting from that 2015 up to now APC has not found their ground in economy the way it used to be you understand okay. 
It is not that Cardoso is trying to put up some measures that will look out to be something. But if you are talking about mm -hmm. where we are coming from, starting from the time of good luck, Jonathan, APC is still very far. APC no, is still very far. Now. You understand? No, so you we don't can't... just bring a MFL into it. It's, it's just, if, I want to, if I want to combine it, I will say APC government killed the Nigerian economy. So maybe the current government is, try, is still trying to find their ground, which they are not even getting close to. Okay. You understand? Let's, but I give a, a, a Cardoso. Cardoso, Cardoso is more learned than MFL in terms of economy. He's doing more better than him. I think, but the only thing I'm concerned about is if he's able to build the inflow and we are getting about two point something million barrel per day, he will do very well. No, but the problem no. now is that the people he have the, the people the people that he have in the people that uh, Tinubu appointed, Tinubu made a very big mistake by still retaining that uh, NMPC this thing. That man is a crook. I don't know why uh, he should use thought to play politics. Can we, can we, you are just jumping from one one point to another. Let us let me let me just make. No, these are the factors. Uh, BQB, these are the wait, factors wait. why the economy will not get more better. Uh, you that's understand? Your opinion. That's your opinion. Let other people talk. Please. Yes, let me just so that somebody else can talk. What I'm saying is that I want to link this. Well, what my point that I've. Uh, put forward to what Baba said that um, Cardoso, as bad as it as is, seeing the, the way the Naira was depreciating, took some decisions. Baba Jali Koko has alerted some of them. The Binance guy, what they were purely doing was Naira speculation. There is no economic, even the head of the opposition. That is just saying buying and selling uh, production and consumption, all those things in, in Pakistan, Kinikon, in Bangladesh. All those ones are just theory. There is no economic buying and selling that you can say is responsible for why Naira was suddenly depreciating to 2,000 Naira per dollar at that rate. <laughs> because Nigeria is not producing. That is why if you wake up, uh, uh, Naira to dollar, just wait now. Naira to dollar is 1,000 Naira. <laughs> But by the time it will be evening, it will be 1,005. So what economic principle can explain, what buying and selling or production something can explain the reason why between within one month or two months, the thing will crash to like 2,000. So there is no economic principle that can explain that one. That is Tom what I just wanted to know. That one is purely speculation. Oh, it's okay, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, <laughs> so yeah um, so what, what, um, what, uh, let, hold on okay, where okay. are the where are the where are the pastors hmm. sometimes nigeria i just i just love i just keep quiet what are those pastors that are saying they are praying to for naira to dollar to go to 2005 where are they yeah, now because, because when they, they, when, they are candidates can you be specific, can, can, can you be more specific please thomas yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want to stereotype. There's so, there's so many videos now. They said Nara will There's so many videos out there. Yeah. Who asked it's, you to it's vote just for crazy. Man. And uh, and Vicky, do you know what happened? Didn't that some of those members actually bought dollars with the hope of it going because of the man of God said so? Yes, now. Nah. And they yeah, are losing money now because now. the man of God are, said so. Me, uh, Mr. Abiti, you are even. We are even going to sorry, another my another of my points. I'm saying that all this production and consumption that this guy Ama. It's not what is responsible for why Naira was depreciating. It's just purely economic sabotage. Binance was one of them. Then even Nigerians among us of source is one of them too. We are holding the dollar with the hope that the thing will crash. So it's not purely economic principle of buying and selling. Uh, Nigeria is not producing that is responsible now. So uh, how, how suddenly does Nigeria importation suddenly um, um, uh, increase by 100% when we don't have money. Do, do you understand? Because when you say we are importing, that means we need dollar. Do we suddenly need more dollar now that we don't have money? So even if you reason it along that line, so you know that it's not this production, consumption thing that they are saying. So, 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 so people... the well, you don't believe uh, you don't believe we should inc increase our exports. It's not, it's not you don't follow, you don't follow logical discussion. 
It's not yes, because it in a clear time, because you said uh, no, I want you to explain it in a clear time. You are not following no, my no, logical discussion. No, okay, your logic is that you, your logic is that you don't believe what I want to. I just ask you a question. Not, wait, so wait. it doesn't mean that we're not let we are me, not supposed to increase our exports. I'm not saying to, that. To, to let, 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 me, let me recap what I'm saying to you. Within that two month crash, is not that economic principle of that your production and consumption that is responsible for that naira fall. Whether you believe it or not, I can't help you. BKB, can you please add it to this? Before, <laughs> before the subsidy yes. remover, we are we are subsidizing 80 million liters of petrol per day. But after the subsidy remover, we are only we are not subsidizing like before. And the thing from yes. 80 million consumption go down to 30 million. We are paying more subsidy today, so don't go to don't go to subsidy. Yes, of course, that is part of economic stability. You, 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 you are paying more subsidy today. You are paying more. You are paying more. You are paying more. You are paying more subsidy today. See, see. We are not paying more subsidy at all. We are not paying more subsidy. Just wait. Just wait. Subsidy. You can hear. Uh, you can ask the five. I'm not a member of APC. You can. You, they are even planning to suspend the five because of that exposure. You are paying more subsidy today. Ekene, Ekene, wait, wait. When yeah, yeah. you are paying subsidy for 80 million liters and you are using dollars, the dollar that we are supposed to earn to show up our reserve, mm -hmm. to show up our value of our currency, they are using it to pay subsidy. So what would, what do you expect? So definitely, this part of economic sabotage also. So all those things that are responsible for that sudden crash to 2000, if you look yeah. at all those points very well, they are economic sabotage, not all this your production consumption thing that you're let me tell you, your, let me tell you something. Big. The only thing is that the only, the only thing is big, the only thing is that Tinubu came and made some decision that he didn't look very in, in very well before he made those decisions. And oh, those things no, affected. Let me let me let me finish. Let me let me have a little report, please. And those those decisions. He couldn't handle it. He could, you cannot say let the market what force decision? determine. What decision are you saying? What decision? You, 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 said, uh, you said let the market force determine your currency yes, and you remove the subsidy. Let me, let me finish now. That they, and you remove the subsidy at the same time without looking into it. You understand? So you should have mm -hmm. take it one after the other. But so today, what does, what those, does those policies, do? let, me, wait, let wait, me finish. Wait, those wait, policies, he, he think, don't just, don't those policies. In general. Don't just talk in general. What does floating of currency does to the devaluation of your currency just explain it it, it does a lot because it, 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 makes, this, it makes it brings okay. more speculation that means it, 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 there is a lot of speculation then within that why, why, most, would a lot of speculation. why should they so let me why? at least you you let you you open ground for them now you open the door for them, for to, them to, to speculate to, so yes, economic that's what the economy that's, that's what the policy did this during that yes, few months. So, so but the point so is the point is this let me let me say this let me say this that you are saying is let me finish. Let me finish. Let that me let me finish. No, you let have me to finish. conclude. Don't just be talking general. General. Yes. All those things are involved. Those things are involved now. Nah. Economic sabotage and all those things. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, even the politicians so are involved. Sabotage, you understand? So the naira is not supposed to be where it is today. So in his own policy, you open more than more door for them. And you see that he couldn't yes. control it. You remove the subsidy. But today you are still paying subsidy. You are still uh, you are still doing those things. You say you you have removed. On that ground, you cannot come out now to to defend it properly. Even when a lot what? of allegation is being done on that, you understand. What? So today what? you have you said you said you said right from the one subsidy is gone. Today you cannot handle it. You still go back pay subsidy I on that ground, even more than what you meant with. You understand that is for me. That's not a that's not a clear polit. That's not a clear economic plan. But the only thing I want for Nigerians is just a better life. Because if, if we should go by the rate of the exchange rate in terms of petrol today, no man, no Nigerian can afford the petrol. So they have to subsidize it for uh, it not to go up more. Uh, money. You understand? You know what, no, what but, uh, but it's very bad. It's very bad that in our own country we are subsidizing petrol at the rate of 600 and something naira. It's very bad. So at the rate of, we, are, we, are, we are subsidizing our, our own petrol. Even when even when Buhari did so, even even under good law, under law subsidy, he was subsidizing at the rate of eighty seven naira. Till um, 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 Buhari subsidized at the rate of eighty seven naira. Today we are subsidizing at the rate of six hundred and something naira. No, and we want no, you want no, me to no, applaud no, that. No, it's very bad. Okay, let me ask you this question. 
and I want you to answer it objectively. You do you understand when we say intervention? Intervention. Do you understand what we said? Because when they remove subsidy, Tinubu, as the president said, government will intervene if need arises. Do you understand that statement? If you understand that statement, that means no. There is nothing like a, there is not no, there is no me, different let work. Me, let, let me explain it to you so that you can understand. Because here everybody is learning, and it's good for us to learn more. Anywhere all over the world, government will intervene to either yes, support their currency or support their policy. What is going on in Nigeria today, the price of oil internationally continue to jump yes. up. Yes, there is subsidy so on factors. petrol in Saudi Arabia. So, Where because of that, live. the government of every country always intervene at a time. You cannot just say, okay, we are doing subsidy removal finally, and they just fold their hand, and then they let the price uh, uh, continue to increase like that. So what they are doing is that when the need arises, they will intervene. Yes. That's what government should do. They don't want to increase further. Let me so let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this, Remy. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. You get, you want you want to give me you want to give me a different meaning of intervention and subsidy. For me, I don't have a different meaning for that. In, whether intervention or subsidy, that is the same thing. So you can go and give it. You can go and give it a different meaning in you. Whatever you want to say about it. You okay. understand? So if a government comes out and say that this policy has been killing our economy and we can no longer deal with it, so therefore subsidy is gone. At least, you understand? It's at the same time, after you, was, you said, the, but if they had left it, you said the petrol price at five something, seven oh, something okay. was going up. They're trying to bring it up. They will to just oppose it with the, with the exchange rate. So you hear now find out that if this if this petrol price continue to go up because of the removal of subsidy, by now petrol should be about one thousand naira or so, and people might revolt. So the next thing he has to do is to come back and pay start to pay subsidy on that ground. So today you you guys are using different uh, vocabulary or different uh, uh, different words for it. You now remove you now want uh, let me finish. Let me you now you now don't want us to use the word subsidy you now want us to be using the word intervention i don't agree with that for me and what i say and the word people are dead and the government has not and the and the government has not come out to defend it the current administration is paying more subsidy than the previous administration and they have not come out to defend it. that is the blatant lie and the reason why i will tell you the lie is this we are not consuming 80 million liters of petrol per day yes yes now so you that's just say that before. Right. That's yeah, than previous, before. Now, that's what I'm saying. That Ikeni is just talking. He's not talking with facts. You are just saying anything that's that any other person. You cannot say that. You are consuming 80 million. Yes. Now you are consuming Hello? 30 million. Hello? 50 million already. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Make your point. Make yeah. Your point. yeah. You see, I think we should allow Ikeni. I think we should allow Ikeni to really say, speak. Because he's saying something there. He's not saying don't pay subsidy. He's not saying don't intervene. He's saying don't make it opaque. Don't hide it. If we are eventually, if they have started paying subsidy, don't let it be an error file that is going to be saying it somewhere. If you are using public funds to say, I've removed subsidy, that's why petrol is high, that's why there's inflation. Then if you start paying the subsidy, say, look, I'm paying subsidy. Even if I'm not paying as much as I used to pay. That's, he's not using his money to pay it now. So if he's using Nigerian money to pay, he should let the people know. Uh, but, but Patrick, one it's thing you should understand is uh, what you should understand the price and, this the and, price and that. That, that is my point, Patoski. Now, the hypocrisy is too much now. That, that is not his point. It's the hypocrisy. Let, let, let me hold on now. In a very negative uh, way. The price of food oil does that's not mean That's his point. I've been listening. When you were arguing, you were not listening to him. That's his point. That was why I was listening to you people saying if, if, if you are listening, point. Mr. Patoski, Mr. Patoski, if you are listening, everybody knows that if you are listening, if you are listening to look to work yes. things out. Yes, if you are listening, if you present to work, with facts to work if, things out, if the consumption is 80 million and consumption is less than 40 million now. So what facts points that they are paying more subsidy for 30 million than for 80 million now? 
it's not just somebody just talking. You, it's just, it has just been talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether they are paying for. Hold on, Chama. So it's just, whether they are paying for. Whether they are paying for. I'm not. I'm not, for, I'm not, I'm not here to talk about whether they are paying for ten million or five million. The point still remains that they are paying. They are paying for. No, that is the point. So they should come out to. They should come out to explain it. Nobody is going to kill them. If I'm going, if I go to the to the petrol station to buy a petrol for hundred naira today, I will even I will, I will even be more happy. But trying to use it to do to play poker, that bank, that to make your policy to look so more good that you are the jagaba. Yeah, you are yeah. yeah, telling me uh, I'm not paying stop today when I know you are paying stop today. So that is the that is the hypocrisy that I'm talking about. It's not that if I go to the petrol station and buy petrol for 100 naira, I will not rejoice. I will rejoice. Even let for 15 naira, I will rejoice. Happened. Let me tell you what has let me tell you what has happened now. Okay, if we watch very well, the floating of naira, he has started supporting the naira. The subsidy, he has started paying subsidy. So where are we? Are we not back to square one? What, 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 what evidence do you that have? Is the, that the is the point naira. we are trying to make. Uh, that is the point we are trying to make, Patoski. And nobody is going to kill no, them for that. Yeah, you know, Mr. Patoski, you are just repeating the same thing. Okay, and you said you have been listening. Let's you be said you have been listening. You, no, yeah. you said you have been listening. You have just been listening to regurgitate what Ekene has been saying since. Because what you just said is what Ekene has been saying since. So what evidence do you have to support that they are supporting the Naira? That's number one. And and what and the, you have and the and minister, also, uh, that they are paying subsidies. Are paying. Okay, hold on. Let me tell you uh, now. Hold Patoski, on. Patoski. Hold on. Patoski. Hold on. Let yeah. Patoski tell us. I will us, give please. you some evidence that they are supporting the Naira. Okay. Hold on now. What evidence? Hold okay. On. Yeah. Yeah. We are we are listening. In recent times, uh -huh. hold on. In recent time, the central bank government, the, the the federal government released money to the central bank to the bridge change, release dollar at a okay. particular rate. That rate at which they released the dollar was not the market rate. They fixed the rate for the rate change to sell that particular dollar at a particular rate. That is subsidizing the, the, the dollar now. That's subsidizing Naira. That's still, they are no longer floating it. That's okay. We are giving you $10 million or maybe so and so million dollars. Sell it at a particular rate. Have they not fixed the price there? So what okay, now let, 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 let me evidence. Let what me, evidence do yes. you have to the contrary? Yeah, yeah but let let your point is very clear. What your point and they even give and they will say that now, in the next to say the same thing is saying again. You want no, to he's the same to, thing to, to, to support his, to support what he said. He, they say that the next dollar they said they said the next dollar they're going to sell. They're going to sell at the rate of nine hundred naira. Just that's what they said. Oh god. You you can't be saying the same thing he's saying. He come in, he came in now to say the same thing you have been saying. You two want to be saying the same thing he's saying. Let me counter him. Now, the rate at some point was 1,900. So how is the rate 1,900? Who put the rate to be 1,900 before? That when when Nigerian government through CBN now intervened to be 1,002, that they sold dollar to Burundi chain 1,000. You are not saying they are supporting it. Who made it to be 1,900 before? Is it not the activities of um, economy sabota, like Binance, like so many other people? So you think that that rate that it was before is a reflection of the true value of the exchange rate? No. The small, small policy that this Cardoso man has put in place is what is reflecting in the downward trend. So what, what was the rate you said they put out? 1,002 something. So now, has there been any circular that put out 1,000 or 1,150? So why is the rate now 1,150? So you mean that CBN are suddenly again start selling dollar to bully change at 1,100? On, on GT Bank app today, now Don't it's 1,000. when they fix it. No! Now, okay, on, wait, now see, you said they, they sell it to them as 1,200. Yes, explain now. Yes. Okay, you just want me to agree what you have said. No, I'm let not saying if you agree. I just can't tell your what, point. You said they said they said they said you, you, said, what to, let you me said, tell you that. Okay, I you want to tell us another thing that happened based on my point. So yeah, tell me. I'm listening. So yeah, what happened again? You have made a point, and I'm okay. Yeah, what happened again for that movement? Yes, I'm listening. If yes, I yeah. put wait now. If I put a price, ah, pre prejudice don't kill people. If I put a price, okay, maybe I say CBN take this dollar, sell at one two. It doesn't okay. mean that every 
dollar in the market will go for one two. He might okay. fought it down. Hold on. You can sort of cut me. I think it's all I've not even spent up to no. Make your point now. Nobody's make your point now. Don't cut me What I'm saying is this if you put one two in the market, you so if people have been holding their dollar, they will put it in. But what I'm saying is that even that um that um, money that was released mm. is it's an intervention and it does not suggest free floating it just means that they are managing it they are putting some money to also manage it which is okay people do that economists do that but to say that we are free floating free flow and you are managing it it is very easy it's, it's not transparent it's not um, it's not a sincere approach Let's say, look, it's a hypocrisy. It's economic hypocrisy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing. The with money you we about are bringing in is, is costing us something. I'm only, what I'm only have, saying is, they that, have intervened in free floating. Okay, say so what? A manage, manage floats. There is what they call manage floats. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Let I'm not debating thing. with you about Let floating. Me, what I'm only saying, saying is that background. there was a circular that released mm. that released dollar from CBN to put the change at 1,250. But dollar has gone down much more than that now. So was there another circular that CBN no, are now sending it to them now. at 1,000? That's what. Uh, why are you using like this? That's what you expect now. Oh. There's a circular that released that. Oh, so that's now. what you expect. <laughs> So that circular unilaterally is Don't, causing the dollar to drop now. I mean, the dollar to that, be dropping. That's I'm what not that's addressing your... only you. I'm not addressing only you. So let, if you like, uh, uh, exclamate or do anything. I, I'm that only, I'm only interrogating the point you are this making. This is what happens. In when the sense that if you are saying they release a circular, that circular is what is making the naira to be are dropping. Are you done? Now, you are just trying to not to appreciate the policy that the guy is saying. I Are mentioned the issue of finance. I mentioned so many other policies. Hey, that the, the, the point is this. The point is this. Big Spin, there is no need of going around this all this. The point is this. The point is this that what you guys, what you guys rejected. Let somebody else express himself now. Hold on. Pardoski, please hold on. Hold on. Let's bring the tempo down. Are you done? It's not really a good word, my brother. You, I know what you, yes, yes. Just let it, let's bring the tempo down. Yes, have the conversation not to pass on that. Yes, go on. Yes. Can I can I continue? Yes. Yeah. 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 If the federal government release the circular and say okay, I'm releasing dollars at one thousand two fifty, the market is expected to respond. Is the response I expect in the in the course of event that has happened? is for dollar to go down further and there will be so much conversation around it oh you put are holding the dollar you are going to lose money so people will bring it out and which is okay to get to come up with a strategy that will make them bring it out but the point is that you cannot say that we are free floated and you are putting circular you are putting more money in the system and to be telling us you are free floating you are not stupid now we are not we know what is happening. So the same thing with subsidy. If you claim and say we have removed subsidy, we have done this, these are strategy, these are a major steps in the right direction, which is okay. But you cannot go back and pay without letting us know. It is good to pay if, if it's going to relieve the burden of the masses. But let people know. I support him, but I still support him. During the elections, all of us talk our neck more than most of you guys here. But the point is that the election is over. The guy is ruling the country. We have to hold him accountable. I want him to succeed. And one of the ways to make him succeed is for me to hold him to account, not just uh, shouting. When I see a policy that is working, I support him as working policy, but let him be open. Thank you. Uh, the reason why he will not be open is that he made those things to at a point of uh, as a point of his uh, campaign or his point of uh, to be the point of his success that he's not going to pay subsidy 
in dollar or in the petrol. But today, he found out that he cannot handle it. So instead of him to come back and say, this is not working, at least for a short time measure, we have to do this and that. They are doing it on the ground. I think that people are stupid. People are not stupid. You understand? See, I, 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 what is going on in Nigeria today, the price coming down or it's okay for me. If they, even if they should pay petrol for 50 naira, it's okay for me. You understand? But don't deceive people. Don't deceive people and say you are not paying subsidy, you are not doing this, you are not doing that. Everybody wants a what we want we, we want a ship. We want a, a, an economy where our purchasing power will be very we, we, whatever any amount we have in our in our hand, we we'll use it to, to feed ourselves. But today the purchasing power is very low. We are we are not still there. And they, they recognize it that if they leave things to go the way it is, people might revolt because there is already protest everywhere. So the purchasing power of the people cannot get them anything. The 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 the, the, the minimum wage cannot get them anything. The only thing that he would have done, maybe if we would have wanted to sustain the subsidy, was to to increase the minimum wage to about five hundred or four hundred thousand naira. Then, if you are selling a bag of rice, you pay for hundred thousand. Nobody will complain. Ekene, you always talk about this minimum wage, as if others, all the states will be able to pay it. Why you, you, your economy? Uh, they, you know, you know. Before you, that this is these are the things we have to put into consideration before you remove those. Before you talk about those. Let me ask. Let me ask. You know that you know when you know that when price of things starts to go up. You know that when okay. price, the price of things starts to go go up, the mini, people people the salary earners must come out for demand for salary increase, demand for minimum wage increase. But you are not ready for that. The, the job, government is not yet ready for that, and you are you are removing yeah, something on petrol and the you and are the dollar. Talking, 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 talking. How many states can pay that? That's what I'm saying. You just about. talk more, but ah. just talking, 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 talking. Ja, 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 ja. How many? The thirty thousand naira we are talking about today. How many? They've not even paid. Pay. There's so many states that can't even pay thirty thousand. Ah. We just need to use our sense with all this thing we are talking about. The government power, purchasing power, purchasing power. All those things now, they cannot pay those things. They, they, they are giving them money to, to for all the allocation. They are not paying. And you are saying the, the federal government should go and give them money and pay. Who runs Why this bid, country like that? Why bid so many states out with this salary payment self during just the talking, term? Purchasing power, purchasing power, purchasing <laughs> power. Good evening, gentlemen. Okay. okay, you guys, we I do not talk about our. Uh, we should. Uh, um, uh, one voice. Yeah. You, you one, one you voice. Be, you be, if I'm living in a country, if I'm living in a country where I usually go to the market, maybe last year or last two years, to buy a fish of 1,000 naira or 800 naira, then uh, with uh, maybe 3,000 or 25, I can cook, cook a good soup. But today, if I go to the market, I, the only fish will cost me about three thousand five hundred naira. The, the uh, you, say, you said uh, you said you and you are telling me to rejoice, but that's how to. That's even the simplest way I'm to not, measure your economy. Not it's not all this. Uh, it's not all these things you guys are saying here. But the simplest way I, to measure the economy is, is just no, is just hey, the purchasing power hey, of the people. Most of these people oh. on this platform are living in the west. Ask them too whether cost of living has not gone up where they are living also. Um, 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 UQB, <laughs> I always make that reference every time on this platform. Hey, hey, so, because that's what I'm saying. Uh, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't increase their minimum wage. Did they not increase their minimum wage? They yeah. are not. They their minimum wage they now. Minimum wage. Price of things has gone up. Where can you tell me? Give us a little time to talk. Uh, um, can can we can we just hold on, guys? I always say this. When four, three people are talking at the same time, no one is hearing you. So let's take it one by one. Let, let it be conversation and answer, answer and question, so we can enjoy ourselves. Let's hear from Play Summer. He just came in. Yeah, Play right. Summer. Thank you. Thank you, Brad Thomas. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Yeah, I was, uh, the, what prompted me to come in was uh, the argument about the exchange rate, government is defending it. But there's one thing I would just want to tip in. We should always appreciate a, a Kenya is an opposition, number one, I know. But at least, even if you would criticize government, first of all, appreciate. Let me let me point out something. Previous governments were defending Naira. And the difference between the parallel market and the 
and the CBA is huge, is up to 300 naira. Yes, I said it too. Yeah. Let's assume this government is defending naira. And the difference is no more than 20, 30, 40 naira. That is a, a huge, a huge, a huge work they have done there. Because if the margin is so high, people will not work. If a Kenya government gives you $1 million to go and buy your goods from China, and you can sell that $1 million and get three three hundred naira and $1, you will not buy that goods in China. You will rather sell it. So that's all these people, things... That's what people are doing, Mr. That was what Mr. they were doing. Yes, yes. That's, what, that's what they are doing. So let's see that. whether they defend it or not defend it, the moment they are able to bring the gap so close, that is a huge work they have done there. To bring the gap so close, there's no way in the world you get defense of a uh, parallel market and bank rate so huge like current dollar. And yet, uh, about the the petrol uh, differences too, we were, we were importing about 80 million before, and now it is reduced. Please just even appreciate, because even when we were importing 80 million, what we were consuming is no more than 50 million. They were selling subsidized oil across the country. But, uh, yes. So let's appreciate. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, Pato is still here. Yesterday he was talking about uh, Nera gaining weight that is not good for investors. Because if the investor wants to bring money to come and invest in Nigeria, he will have to bring a lot of money. No, yeah. let me say, he will have to be. I, I don't know if you guys are not listening to him yesterday. But the thing he, forg yes. he forgot is that Nigeria to yeah. need dollar to purchase something abroad. So, uh, for example, now, an investor is coming from abroad. He wants to come sorry, and buy. Sorry, sorry for cutting you. Have you ever okay. seen any opposition? that we appreciate what you are doing even they I, knew what you are doing is good they will never you give this kick yeah, for mr like thomas, for mr. thomas i appreciated that i appreciated mr kadoso now but the point is uh, the point my problem with a lot of apc supporters is that they feel that we are not appreciating because we are not agreeing totally with what they are saying you understand not that kadoso kadoso monetary policy is gaining some temporary uh, ground but not uh, not uh, permanently and uh, you guys are not ready to accept no, that there is no, no. some there is some intervention or or subsidy both in the petrol or in no, the dollar is it, that is, is my intervention is there is no transparency the right the there is no transparency in what in the policies of the government Mr. they are doing Ikeni. everything on the ground i want people to be to fully or foolishly follow Mr. them Ikeni. Mr. I cannot foolishly follow them Mr. because you guys said that. Let me let me Mr. respond to the let me respond to play. Let, let me respond already. to play Thomas. Let me respond to play Thomas because it's just as if uh, we are dumped. Then everything that comes into Nigeria, all of us will believe it. But you came out to say that you are not going to do this. You are not going to do this. Then you are you go to the back. You use the same policy to solve your economic problem and still and still maintain that you are not doing the same thing. That's ridiculous to me, and that's hypocrisy. I'm talking about the hypocrisy in what you guys are saying. I'm not talking about whether the intervention is good or bad. The intervention is good for the economy, both in the petrol side and the dollar side. You yeah. understand my point? But it's yeah. not as if yeah. they yeah. come here to tell me that there is no intervention yeah. or there is no yeah. subsidy. It is it's it's done. Done. I don't like it because is putting in place are the interventions already. To bring back okay. anything no, no, intervention no, no, no. is the don't, yes. don't remove it from there. That's my point. Don't mm -hmm. let me believe what I know that is happening okay. in my country. Because well, you campaign against you, you are going on, you are not going to do this, you are not going to intervene, you are not going to pay subsidy. Today you are paying subsidy, you are you are you are you are you are intervening why, in the naira why, and the dollar. Why, so why, why you do to come out fully and say, yes, this is what we are doing? That's my point. Why should you come out fully and say, yes, this is what we are doing? That is you are governing human beings, no good. You are governing Ekenu. human beings, no good. You are not governing Ekenu. dogs. You are not governing uh, people that, that are not knowledgeable. Ekenu. You are governing Ekenu. human beings. You are not governing animals. Ekenu. You don't play Ekenu. people's mind. In the why this foreign exchange, exchange rate is affecting obedience too much like this? So. Uh, Nothing is affecting me. Them. I don't understand. Nothing is, see, let me tell you. Let me tell you. It, it will give me more. We are making, a, we are making, some, we are making some analysis here. So that you don't take people as fools. You understand? Don't come and say I what you cannot do. The president said 
federal government will intervene if need arises. Need, when yes, I don't understand. Right. You know, my, just like, uh, just like, uh, let me, let me, I'm not, I'm not against that. I'm not against that. You just like when Obi appears on Arise TV and said that there is nothing bad in, uh, in, so, in, uh, in supporting the Naira. Every other country does that. You guys came here, you criticized him, you, all this and all that. Think, it's not possible. How can you say, say? Let me finish now. Let me finish. Well, how can you say you will su you support the Naira with all these things that is going on in the country today? This and then today, the let me finish. Today, 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 the government is is making policies to support the Naira and even support the the, the, the removal of certainty. You are now embracing it. Now forgetting that you criticize you criticize a particular candidate when he said that such such policies are not bad. What is what, that's the hypocrisy? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let me tell you At least you are now you will now see that you now see that what will be said there is the right thing to do for the economy. Yeah, I think you are, you are making that point not because of the national interest but because of politics. I'm not joining you in that. You are no, it's not, a, it's not a national, it's not a, it's not politics, but it's yes, not politics you know because anything, anything that benefits me today. Is for the nation. It's not politics. We but I'm just trying to bring the. I'm just trying to bring the hypocrisy. Because Naira when you're talking about you, are, when you're talking about the, you, you are talking when you're talking about the, when you're talking about the. No, when you're talking about national interest, when you're talking about national interest, other people's opinion should matter. Other people's opinion should matter. You don't say you don't delegate other people's opinion to the ground and expect your own to be higher when you're talking about national interest. If Obi say if Obi say that are, supporting the Naira yeah, is good, and today you are you are lying with it, it's not just the national interest to, now. You shouldn't make his own to be look to look stupid when he provides an opinion. You make his own to look stupid. Then today you want your own to be greater than his own when you are still following the deadline of policy that he laid out. So what are you trying to tell me? All of us are for nation. Even Obi is for national interest. Everybody is for national no, interest. Anybody criticizing for national interest. So the best thing for the government to do is to do more than the the the, the people that is uh, is uh, uh, okay, is criticizing okay, his okay, government. Okay, this question. Okay, now I will throw this question to everybody on the platform. Everywhere people, wherever you are living, whether in America or in Europe or maybe other diaspora, do you think the uh, state or the federal government of that state are not uh, intervening in the price of crude oil? I will start from BQB. Can you come again with the question? My what question, was the question is, do yes. you think the, 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 the government of the country where you are living today, they did not mm. intervene in the price of food or petroleum products in their country? They, in fact, I live in the country that produce about 15 to 20% of the world or petrol. Petrol is cheaper than water here. Petrol is arguably the cheapest year in anywhere you can ever think of petrol is subsidized here okay yeah, let's go so, to patrick patrick please yes. so that we don't everybody can have a say yeah i can respond yeah. patrick yes. patrick in canada yes i don't think it is you know why mm -hmm. petrol is cheaper in the u.s than here canada produces okay. oil you understand canada is an oil producing country um, we buy we buy a, a liter of petrol for well over one dollar. In short, there was a time it was almost two dollars a liter. As at that time, we're buying for two almost two dollars. US was buying people were buying a gallon, mm -hmm. which is four liter, for yes. about three or about two something dollar or three something in some states in the US. Not okay. so. I don't think it's subsidized here. So when so your price is pay carbon tax, uh, yeah, the reason is here, yeah, I think there's carbon tax for my province because my province oh. is the one that produces the the petrol. My province mm -hmm. and Saskatchewan and so it's it's um we are even getting taxed. Mm -hmm. Though they pay so some you, money to people so for can you just break it down that because of that carbon tax make the price to continue to increase? No, can no, I think it's not it's not just carbon tax, it's part of it now. That's the price. Mm -hmm. So the government mm -hmm. is not is not subsidizing it. Okay, so I when that price increases to two dollar, do they increase your minimum wage? Do they increase the minimum wage? Yeah, when the price increased, I work. No, I, I mean, work for private sector. I don't even know whether the, I, I don't even monitor. The, I work for private sector. If um, 
if I feel that I need a wage increase, if my employer, if I have not, if my performance does not merit a wage increase, I look for another job now. So in a you don't waste too much time. You don't know whether to increase the minimum wage because you work for private sector. Yes, I work for private sector. And you can't expect government to be increasing wage because okay. we already have inflation already now. So, so if, if you are increasing, so it's like putting petrol in fire. I'm not arguing for increasing minimum wage. I'm okay. arguing for more interventions like this, but very open and strategic. Then mm -hmm. Uh, somebody said something that I said yesterday. So, yes, we are just this question. I just want to quickly take it to okay, okay, so okay, okay. Have, so that okay, I can yeah. never understand that whenever mm. everybody leaves, this is the situation in their country. The government okay. intervenes in other area. You understand? Okay. Or they might not subsidize petrol for me, but government is subsidizing healthcare here. Seriously, I don't pay anything for healthcare okay. except in instances where I use my insurance. Which my oh, but can you pay. tell? Can you to crown it up? Can you tell them? How much is the tax? I mean, um, I don't know. Maybe just not. <laughs> Canada is, is one of the Canada is one of the most taxed developed countries in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm telling so you, would you, you, would you like that kind of tax system to be introduced to Nigeria? Of course, I'll be ad advocating for that. If okay. you yeah. want so the system you, to you, work, you pay tax all, 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 all on virtually everything. If you how, want much, how much is your VAT there? You see, my in my province it is five percent. In uh, other province, okay. there's a province that pays about fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. There are provinces so that pay seven. Is, is that? Is, is quite, I mean, your your VAT is five percent, right? And my own in my province is five. But I, I know, am. I my 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 nephew and niece, they live in a province where they pay about uh, fifteen percent. Okay, let's let's go to people in oh, America. I think about Jale Koko is here, right? Because I, I think he's still here. What about Mike? Uh, maybe then. Okay, well, please, Summer. Can you tell us about your own uh, your own country? Yeah, yeah. I know. I live in US too, and uh, okay, good. Ah, good, good. That's what I want to know. Okay, quiet, please. Yeah, uh, gas gas goes up and down, up and down, up and down, slightly, slightly. So, but uh, anyway, I know government subsidizes a lot of things here, yeah, and. Uh, yeah, that's just pretty much it. Go government subsidizes most no, things, sure. but particularly they intervene. They intervene, they inter right. they intervene. Yeah, they intervene a lot. Yeah, they intervene a lot. Mm. Okay. So uh, we also have a crown. Crown, are you here? Yes. Crown is not here. Yeah. Okay. Can you go ahead? Are you in America or where are you? Yes, I'm in America. But I, like what he said, you know, mm -hmm. that was a time that Biden that he opened the national result job because when the cash was going up i think it was around five dollars then mm -hmm. uh yeah it was around five dollars so in a not in a short he also the, the Biden administration also intervened yeah he did that he did that uh, but i don't know whether they still open it up now because uh he's going up again is going up say, uh, uh, no no it depends it depends on the states some states some states pay a little more it's just no, like nigeria no, like lagos pay less lagos pay less they do uh, pay more is about uh, three something now yeah three something per gallon but you can get some two something per gallon in some states you can get two something it, per it, gallon uh, so uh, depending 20, on how far we quickly talk about here in 2022 when there's a lot mm. of uh certainty the price of uh um a liter of petrol here go as which liter. country are you okay. i'm in really? finland finland finland, finland. I'm in finland the price go to about uh almost three euro per per liter as of today the price is about one around 1.8 to 2 euro per liter and i must tell you something the price can change more than three or four times in a day here so the price you buy in the money it's not what you are going to buy in the afternoon or in the evening. The same in the U.S. The same in the U.S. No, yeah, it, the it is not US, that like she just stay fixed like that or even, something like that. Even yeah. different from gas station, you know, if you yeah, go to yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, go, yeah. you get different price, you know. Yes, from and, when, yeah. and when the price continues to skyrocket, the people here also like go on strike a little bit no they just protest but <laughs> nothing happened they did not jack up our minimum weight they did not increase it they just let it slide play I, out right 
Remy, the reason Remy, why I'm I... asking this question is that for a Kenyan to know that no, 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 Remy. Uh, oh, no, you didn't no. ask me now. We just oh, answered. No. Everybody just answered. Oh, you don't yeah, want me okay. to. Yes, go to you because you are, we are Nigerians. Okay, will you also answer the question. Yeah, you, I just I, I I thank God for your question. You ask everybody about interjection. Everybody confirmed that they're interjecting. But you know, well, somebody like you, Remy, when this administration started, you are happy that Nigerians. No intervention. No no fuel subsidy. At least Nigerians should now leave the true value of their. Of their income or whatever however you want to put it you have you are you you blame citizens too much for asking too much from the government by the time when we talk I, if i come here and talk about uh, government uh, policies that will affect positively in the life of the people you can't tell you so much you and the simba but today i thank god you're able to 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 analyze that in other countries government intervene no I let me finish I... let, let me finish let me finish and you are able to confirm that where you are government intervene mm -hmm. and everybody here confirm the government intervene because you it, it seems like hey, Kenny, you know go show up today it's almost 10. I will, no oh. today is by 10 o'clock i will still oh. go it's by 10 o'clock oh. so i have time for me today so you today you, today i thank god that I thank God that I thank God that Remy really come back today and say that his, no, uh, no, other countries no, subsidize no, intervene. No, but that time when uh, when a uh, price go up, this and that, you have everything to defend the APC to say that no, Nigeria should no, leave the true no, value of the no, of their no, life. No, now Nigeria no, is beginning to realize they are, they realize the no, the true value of what they earn and all that. You understand? So no, and when and you are talking about tax. Let me finish. You are talking about tax. Yeah. First of all. The tax you are paying in your country, you are having the service provided for you. If you are talking about water, you have the water. If you are talking about electricity, you have well, the electricity. Can I, you don't pay tax, but today, can I, you don't let me finish. Tax. Let me uh, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> but today, today in your own country, in your own country, you shouldn't talk about tax when you have not provided the services. The government talk about tax when they have provided services. You can still argue on that. You can but still argue on that. You the government don't, don't, don't provide service. When governments provide service, they don't talk about that. You just but but today, but let me let me finish now. Today yeah, we are you are even paying money. higher. You are paying higher in a we are, we Nigerians today are paying higher in electricity that is not being provided. We are paying higher for darkness. Are you on if you don't know, you, you know we are paying. You, let me let me tell you, we are paying higher for that. Let's check other countries. Check check our check our check our check our. Uh, let me let me finish. Check our African countries. Check uh, South Africa. South Africa is not paying uh, um, uh, sixty percent or fifty percent of where, what we are paying in electricity today. But they have electricity. I Their minimum wage. If you convert it, it, let me finish. Let me finish. If you convert it, if uh, let me finish. If you convert their minimum wage to naira, it's about three hundred something naira. Their minimum wage. You understand? But today, with the minimum wage of thirty thousand naira. You are paying about uh, 260 something per kilowatt in electricity. Almost 300 percent increase in the last month. Almost 300 percent increase in the last month. You know they say it's ban A, ban B, ban this. But when my when I when I saw my this thing, the way my things, my electricity bill is running, I begin to run my. I begin to run my. So so your country is a funny country. You 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 enjoy the citizens to suffer, but you are enjoying other people. You are enjoying another man's land. That is providing electricity okay, for you. Okay, you are okay, paying okay, for it. Okay, let me tell you, if we if we if we have a, if we have a, let me tell, let me tell you, let me finish. If we have about twenty hours electricity a day, don't finish. You continue. If we have if we if we have if we have about twenty twenty hours electricity a day, and we are paying we are paying what we are paying without buying we are without buying gas petrol to support it, nobody will complain. But the problem today is that I buy gas in the shop, I buy petrol in the house, I still pay higher electricity bill. And you want me to be happy with your government. And today you are in, in another man's land. You're only paying for electricity bill. You don't buy general, you don't buy petrol or gas to power your house. You you, you compare I it can, to I me pay, living in Nigeria. I can make you pay tax. When you give me electricity, I'm paying tax. Now when I pay electricity, bill, yeah. I'm mean, receiving you know, tax. Uh, do that. Even the little one I use here. Is, is, it, is it free of charge? Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Please let me explain tax. Let me let, let me explain tax to you. Let me explain tax to you. What what? And if I buy if I buy soft drink, I pay tax. Hold on, oh, if I enter Uber, I pay tax. If I if I what? Oh, if I buy gas, I pay tax. 
If I in America, I'm telling you in America, there's nothing. Hold on, no, there's nothing in America you do. You pay tax. Hold on, no, my paycheck, twenty five percent tax. Are you are telling me you are paying tax in Nigeria? Yes, I'm paying tax now. The same thing. If I buy petrol, I pay tax now. If I buy, is it not? The, is it not the amount the government put that I buy? That I buy. When last did you file tax for your company? If you if you check my if you if you check my bank statement if you check my bank if you check my bank statement every day anything that I do I pay tax. Any ah, if I transact one thousand naira, they charge me. Let me finish now. Let me finish now. If you think the only person paying tax, if I transact for one thousand naira, I pay fifteen naira. If I transact, no, uh, no, if I, I transact, is, is it tax okay. charges you are saying? Where they collect for your money, Natas? Whatever you want to put it. That's Natas. When you talk, the best thing that the government to do, the best thing, if you are not happy, if you are not happy with the way we are paying it, let me let me finish Patoski. Let me finish Patoski. If you are not if you are not happy the way we are paying the task, if the task is you are not happy the way you are we are paying it, the government should modernize it and make it in a way that it should be functional to them. You understand? But if you are telling me that am I not paying am I paying tax? I am even paying higher than you. Don't if worry. I if I show you if you, if you see my bank statement, if you see the amount they remove from my account at the end of every month. You will know that I might even be paying higher tax than you. Let me define tax for you in a simple way. You see, that no, the tax is whatever you collect from my money. There is nothing to define. Whatever you collect from my money is the tax. Wait, wait. All these bank transfer charges, they are deducting it from these people to send you money now. Now it's When I come to your shop and buy something, am I paying tax? Is it not? Am I not paying for what you are selling to me? Let me tell you, the tax you are paying is that aspect of your money that goes to government. That one is the tax. That's a simple layman way of explaining it. You understand? If you say ah, you go to bank, you charge you bank charges. That's tax. This is bank transfer charges. That means if I come, that means if I come to your shop now and I buy something, mm. that's tax. Is the government that owns the bank? Is the government no, that owns your shop? <laughs> Not the government. Owns okay, your okay, shop Patoski. Now. Okay, Patoski. Patoski. When when mm. all these uh, women women that sell a uh, uh, pussy or one of fish, even in the market or even in my market, when government comes. They collect their revenue and all those things. Because at least I paid my own last week. I paid my own. I paid my. That's why that Let me finish now. That's that. Let me finish now. I pay my. I pay my. I pay my tournament leg. You will finish. My tournament leg. My tournament leg last month, which I believe goes to the to the to the Lagos State Government. Hold on. Hold on. Um, guys. Ah, you Nigerians, you deceive yourself a lot. Um, when we talk from diaspora, you think maybe we are talking from another planet. Maybe are you not part of Nigeria? I say Nigerians to deceive yourself. Yeah, Nigerians, <laughs> Nigerians living uh -huh. in Nigeria. They will you deceive Nigeria. yourself or not? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but, uh, but those kids, I just, I just got my, I, I, I have like three or four jobs. Uh, I just got one of my paycheck just wow. now. One thousand. You work three jobs. Oh my yes, God! Yes, three jobs. Oh, yeah, you work here in Australia. You are and I have my own. I have my own small business as well. Co baby so uh, that is four jobs. Yes, yeah. I just got my paycheck just now. Uh, ask me how much they pay me in five days. Uh, one thousand five dollars. Uh, ask me how much they give me. Yes, how much they remove from tax? It's usually about thirty percent now. Oh, there eight uh, almost eight okay. seven hundred dollar okay. was removed from my money. Eh? Hey, hey, hey. How much? Eight hundred dollars. Ah, that's, that's almost seventy percent. Seventy percent now. More no, than no, that. okay. You, no, you with, the, not, with the with the uh, we have supernation like um pension. They remove oh, from okay. our money. They will keep yeah, it for you. That, but, now, but even, even like that, that, that is too much. Wait, even at that. That's not too much. Maybe you didn't look at. No, 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 no. Maybe you have one. No, 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 no. Okay, I know why. You know because you have two jobs. So maybe you have. Maybe your income bound has gone to the upper. No, no, no. Let me explain. Why would somebody earn one thousand and they will move eight hundred? It's not. There's no upper bound limit. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain now. Don't you listen to me? Maybe it's... Can I explain? 
Let me explain. Guys, let me explain. If you have first job, they have percentage. Second job, are you telling me now? No, we can hear you. Go ahead. We can hear you. Go ahead. If you have first job, if if you have first job, you have the percentage they will remove as tax. Second job, the percentage will go up. Third job, the percentage will, the more you work, you yeah. have jobs. That's what the percentage of the tax will, they will the, remove. Will the percentage ever go to seventy percent? That the percentage ever go to seventy percent of the UK, of the money? That's UK method. No, even UK method can the percentage get to seventy percent? So we we just what, what is trying to say. I, I think at the end of the day, because they, they have access to your income, so they can and how much you, how much will the percentage income, get get to? Hold on now. He has said I, 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 no, no, no. This that one is different. That's your personal problem. Okay. Now. What of your social security? It's private. Mm. No, no, no. They don't know. No. The, my oh, point is that who thought this, who hold thought on. this insurance get to seventy percent of the money to one no account? That's what I'm saying. Hey, that's that's crazy. Now, that's crazy. Because the account split here. Any police have to seventy percent to one year. That's the point. Hold on. Social security income. Even yes, it's it's been removed from there. Let me ask him question now. Thomas. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah, there's somebody here. Yeah, go on, Ajali Goku. Social security is removed. Yes. Pension is removed. Pension, we call it supernation here. We don't call it pension. What of yeah, state tax? What of state tax? State tax, yes, is removed. Yeah. Lo what of local um, uh, county tax? No, no, no. They don't remove that. It's only state tax. Council tax is property tax. So they don't. Um, um, uh, council is the pro property tax. If you have a property, the council no, will charge no, you. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Well, anyway, the United States it depends on some state. Like in New York, if you're in New York, you pay. The, the the federal you pay the state and you pay and you pay the county so you pay uh, three taxes. even though you don't have a property in, in if you don't have a property even when you Baba. don't have the property tax is separate that one Baba. it doesn't it come out from your from your Baba. paycheck we that are not one interested in you even and that. Um, we are not interested in the that. details Baba. What we are what percentage my day what can, 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 can one person speak Yes, Let me just speak your on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, what I'm just trying to let me in a no share. What I'm telling in a no share that I'm trying to reverse to Nigerians thought they are paying tax. The yeah, Nigerians are not paying tax. Nigerians <laughs> weren't paying tax. Yeah, that's not true. There is nothing. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me land now. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land, please. If you don't let me land, I will not let you talk. You guys have been talking. I've been listening to you guys. Land, please. Ajalu Koko. There is nothing. There is nothing you purchase in this country you don't pay tax. Even McDonald's of five dollars or the counter, you pay tax. After that, they will remove tax from your payment. I got uh, we, I, uh, my pay, my work is every week. We don't they don't pay fortnightly. I got payment every four, seven seven days. They will remove tax. You pay tax. You pay. I have two houses. They will land to lose charge. If this country is about tax, if you don't pay tax, they can jail you. So Nigerian thought they were pay the Nigerians weren't paying. I can can't tell me he's paying tax now. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Actually, let me respond to him. Let me say something to him. You mm. say we are not paying tax. If you I'm in Nigeria today, yeah, okay. If I'm in Nigeria today, I have a 24 hours electricity, just as you have. I have a uh, water, uh -huh. just as you have. I have uh, all the roads working just as you have. I have everything working just as you have. And then at the end of the month, 
my salary is uh, quite sure that I will get those things. Quite sure that I will get those things. My salary is fifty thousand naira a month, and at the end of the month, you are able to give me twenty thousand naira after I have enjoyed all these things in a month. Will I complain? Ekene, that is the mistake you are having with No, there is no mistake there. You have to provide you the avenue to collect the tax. We are not providing the avenue for these things. Even if I can begin to, I can begin to explain to you that Nigeria is even paying more than what they are paying. I can give you an response. Let I can give you analysis first. that Nigeria is even paying more than what you say you have, you pay there. Let because when respond, I buy, man. when I, if I calculate what I spend, if I calculate what I spend in petrol, gas, then oh, um, then at the end of the day, no electricity. I still pay that high. That's can that can three hundred percent in electricity. Your you know that I'm paying more than what you, what you are paying as oh, a as an electricity ah. bill. In where, in where you are. Ekene, Ekene, it's, it's not about you want to talk over me. Let me respond. All what you are facing in Nigeria, I'm facing it here. I buy fuel in my car. You buy gas also. Now. Yes. I buy, you buy gas in Nigeria you too. too. You pay electricity, I pay electricity more than you. <laughs> Nigerians, listen. Listen to your, your heads. I pay electricity more than you. You don't pay for water bill. You have a conga, you have a wall well at yeah. the back of your house. You put pumping machine. I you you can't put conga here. You can't put a well here. If you are living here, you have to pay. So all you what you are paying for, you I pay, pay for them. them. I pay more <laughs> than what you are paying for. So don't get it twisted. So but, you, if you are complaining I'm about when the services provided to you now. We just have you know you know you know, you know I'm, the I'm, current I'm, minister tell us to start to off our free. free. Do you have your fridge where you are? Do you have your fridge? The minister tell us to do off our fridge. You don't want to do it. Let me tell you that. Let me, let, me say say please. let me say something to Thomas. Ekene, Ekene, Thomas. Sorry, 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 Thomas. Baba Jale Kukwejo. Let I work for government in Nigeria, so I want okay, to quickly okay. keep something about tax. Okay. That Mr. Thomas, there is a well-structured tax system for the former sector. Those people working for company and government. I don't know about informal people like Ekene that does... They are all bad, they are all bad now. They don't pay tax. Uh -huh. They don't pay tax. But for yeah. us, <laughs> they remove... <laughs> they remove... Oh, sorry, we don't pay tax. You know how much I do have much I do for us every day. No, they remove some of the money. They pay pay. That's the call it pay. They pay pay. So they remove tax. Yeah. Ali, they remove income tax from our salary. I think it's about 25% for us then. Mm -hmm. with the government it's 25%. Now, if it is yes state, Lagos is about 25%. That, yes, that your, your tax to this. Then the other commodity tax are indirect tax. If I want to buy Milo now, I'm not going to pay tax to buy Milo. But the company would have factored in, in it to get it anyway. So, but we don't pay commodity tax for every product we buy. Unlike if I go to McDonald's here, there is VAT there in the bill immediately they spread the bill you will see the vat there even here in saudi arabia but no in nigeria i don't think no mind uh, by the time they, they pay for those commodity tax suya. in nigeria and the factor the factor yes. yeah, tax what is, Ekene, <laughs> yes what they is saying is is a uh, bank charges that he sent five hundred thousand. they remove 50 naira no i are, find that I find that they can say, hold on, hold on, they can say, hold on, they can say, 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 hold on now, hold on, hold on, hold on, please. You said if you if you earn fifty thousand naira and you pay bills of thirty thousand naira and you are able to get twenty thousand naira, you will be okay. Twenty thousand naira out of fifty thousand naira is about forty percent. Even in Western world, nobody saves. 40% of their salary after expenses. I'm telling anybody who says this is a big is a big man. No, after it's a, expenses, it's a 70% too. It's 70%. No, no, no. You say 50,000 okay. naira. If you earn 50,000 naira and your expenses is 30,000 naira and you're able to keep 20, 20% yeah. is 20% of 50,000 is about 40%. 20,000 20, of 50,000 naira is about 40%. In abroad, nobody keeps. 40% of his earnings after expenses. Take it or leave it, I'm telling you. So you are lucky. 
Thank you very much, guys. But you're able to keep something now. You're able to keep something. But I'm telling maybe, you that in Nigeria, maybe 10 to 10. Yeah. Maybe 10 but I'm telling you, I'm telling you in Nigeria that your salary, your salary cannot I'm even feed you. you. Talk less of the past you are talking you, about. You can wait now. I'm telling you. You see, that's what happened to all them that they are doing fine, fine boy. 70 or 80 percent of them can't keep anything. That's what I'm telling you. They can't keep nothing. Forget about all this way they come and do a fine boy. They do this one. They can't keep anything. 80%. Because of, yes, because of the place where I work, eh, Ekene, me and they do taxes. So I they see income where people they make. And then they tell me their expenses and everything. You understand? So I see the pattern. They can't keep. I worked in a bank. I've worked in an insolvency firm where people file for bankruptcy. I've also worked in a very big, one of the biggest accounting firm in the world. I have information. I'm not going to start giving you specific for <laughs> professional reasons, but at times in the West, 80% of those who that you are seeing that are donating money to Nam Kano, they are using their credit card to give that boy money. That's correct. They are, they are struggling. They are just living on budget line. If they lose their job today, three months, they are already out of their homes. They could they would not lose their house. Because you can't afford not to get salary for two months. Have you ever seen anybody come to Nigeria and stay three months vacation, two months vacation? Two weeks, they don't come back because there's no way it's going to pay that bill. Um, Pathoski, let me tell you something, my brother. Uh, not not proud in half to mortgage. Pathoski, when the bank sent me how much we are hoeing on the two houses, <laughs> I said, am I going to leave this country? <laughs> It's not but it's not bread and butter here, oh, my brothers. If you if I when I check my mortgage, oh, statement, nah, make when I come back, may we may we repair Nigeria now. Stop or if you if now okay, now one complain to me and I make a deputy for now. But that was when I come back now, we will do the agitation, may we repair Nigeria now. What is all this? Uh, if the place is not good for people. you guys, okay, let's repair our country. Okay, I, I still believe okay, that uh, I still believe okay, the reason why I live in Nigeria is that I, I still believe that Nigeria is still a better place for me. Okay, okay, do you know why I'm not finding a better country now. that will suit me more okay, than Nigeria, especially in terms okay, of business. You understand? Okay, do you know why so that is why I, if you see me talking you know every day, you cannot come back. Let me tell you, do you know why some cannot come back? They sold everything to come here. So to go back now, they are starting all over again. Not be say because they feel say they know. I've seen people who have gone back, but the reason why some people cannot come back is because they sold everything. I was in US. I came back to Nigeria now. I was in Texas. I was living in Dallas. I left US and came back to Nigeria, and I stayed in Nigeria for like about three years before I finally moved my family down here. But People come back. Most people would have come, a number of you would have come back, but they sold everything. They have they don't have too many contacts again in Nigeria. They don't so when they come, it's like they are starting again. It's like they're in a foreign country. Forget that one. Though. Everybody, people they struggle. Uh, if uh, my my point still remains that this, I know that uh, do three when they do three jobs, in go, even if you see your position to do three jobs in Nigeria, he wouldn't do it now. He goes, yeah, I don't keep myself full. But now, that, that three job when they do not be saying their job, he has to pay bills. Even see, you see job, you see job, you see job, find three, they do. You see job, find three, they do. A lot of graduates in Nigeria don't even see one. Do you know, do you know what time? Take our unemployment rate and all that. But you, you see three to do in another man's land. In your own country. Graduates don't, they have never even see one self do. Wait, Ekene, you see, time here is 12.22 a.m. I sat on my desk. I'm working from home. I sat on my desk 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. I have four screens before me now. Crunching numbers. Since 8 a.m. in the morning, and this is 12.22 a.m. Do you know how many hours that is? <laughs> you understand? Just come down. You think I Mr. Patoski, my I'm point still remains boy. that. Yeah. I'm not a young Mr. Patoski, let, let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I'm not a guy and I'm not even dreaming of leaving Nigeria. I have my reasons. 
I want Nigeria to work very well because I know what, what we need in this country to work. And that is why you see me everywhere talking about Nigeria and all those stuff. If Nigeria have um, one quarter of what you guys have there, Nigeria would be richer than most of these countries. I know that. If we have electricity, just electricity alone, do you know how many industries that will rise up in Nigeria? Do you know? But when we talk about it, you think we don't know what we are talking about. Give us the electricity. Let it be paying the. Let it be that we don't pay the bill. Oh, if they give. Is you know, if you don't pay the bill, they will take your life now. You understand? No, electricity. Electricity will bring up a lot of uh, a lot of manufacturing companies in this con this country. It will improve our our export. If you if Nigerians are to pay for power, the way we pay for power here, the companies that are giving us power here would. In there, you know, the, the country. If you are ready, look, let me give you another example. Confidence. You do what the first of I don't know how to do in Europe, but you do so because initially they still have the there's America experience or Canada experience. I beg, uh, I beg, I want to market. Ona, thank I, you. Can you hear me? Yeah. So, at the end of the oh, day, yeah. if, you, if people are ready to use one third of your salary to pay for utility, then utility companies in Europe, in North America, and in Canada, they will come there and give you the same power. Thank you. Is it my is it my position to do that? The government know what they're doing in the power sector now. If they don't want to do it, is it, their is their choice. Uh, the only thing is that what I know in Nigeria is that if you're able to build a very good uh, home for yourself, you're able to power your house. Like if God bless me today, I'm able to power my house with solar and everything. Then what concerns me what the world with what they're doing there? They like let them put the power there, and I know that I will achieve it. I wish I will achieve that in a very short time. So let them continue to do what they do, what they are doing. You understand? So the plan now is that when you are building your house, you put up a solar system. You put up. A uh, very Ekene, Ekene, even yeah. you, you are not smart. Since uh, uh, since around uh, when I when I used to live in Nigeria, as, as far back as uh, ten years ago, I, I have been using solar. So you are just talking about solar now. Why would you be waiting for government? If you are smart and you know the kind no, of you, you have. The only, no solar system like my, the solar system I'm talking about, I have the plan of putting it in my house, not in a, in where in I am. Before I finish, no, because no, no, I have no, no. it. I also I also have it in the budget, and the the the, the, the things I use in my shop is the solar or thing? what I use in the house. The this? solar the, the no. solar I I cannot spend money. In putting up that uh, solar system, then yeah, at the end of the day, now. it. No, no, yeah, it's, it's not expensive. expensive. You can use inverter instead of solar panel. No, you no, can I use can inverter. Instead of, light, I know how to manage. Inverter will function now. If you don't have light, how would you charge your battery? Yeah, that uh -huh. is it. So the only oh, thing I mean is before. If it's you, if you, like, any, if any you have five hours, hold on now. You are not using it. But let me tell you, if you have at least five hours of power a day, you are good to go. The only thing yeah, is that you won't use. You, hold on now. You won't use AC and refrigerator. At least fan, the normal thing, fan and TV that the kids will watch. You are good to go. No, those that, things are not. That, we know the, that five hours you are talking. Like, that five that, hours that is too much now. You, you barely see. You barely see one hour. You are talking yes. about five hours. <laughs> that uh, so the point still remains. The point still remains. It's not that I don't know what is good for me in this country, and I'm uh, by God's grace, we're going. To, we're going to achieve it. You understand? I'm not ready to leave Nigeria. So, but you guys, uh, to speak for the government to do things for us. Not, not speak for the government not to do things for us. All these guys are accountable. They have the money to put things in order, but they don't want to bring it out. They, they're, they're holding it for the next election. I don't want. I don't know what Inubu will achieve. If after two years he's not he's not been able to put a, put up electricity to some minimum hours or build the economy the way it should be, because I know that after two years the next thing is campaign and they will be holding money for the campaign and the next election.
So and now one year is over. The next one year, I don't know what he's going to achieve. So I don't know. But anyway, yeah. I go but for just one year, Kenne, you are counting all these things for him to be. Is he a magician? Is he a magician? Now, now, the campaign, when, now the campaign now he said uh he will hit the ground running number one mm -hmm. hit the ground running continue running and continue running but the ground yes. is not uh, he's doing that he's doing that after, the, after, the election, after, after he won the election me. after he won the election after he won the election mm -hmm. he tell us that he now tell us that it's no longer the ground to run it is not a it is not a baby step where did he, so where did he tell you that where did he tell you it's not a ground to that run that you know that you get scoop yeah that man like a man a uh, very guy man in terms of politics. That okay, one gets man. cooked. You don't have to dream both people. Is when I'm going to dream, when I'm going to dream, not people Hold like on. me. Hold on, we that agree, we agree, way. we agree. But if, if you criticize <laughs> like this, no one will take you serious. Do it bit by bit. You cannot model up everything. How are you sure that if we be took power, all these things you are saying will work, will come to pass? No, don't be talking like this now. Think. No, the problem, the problem is that the problem is that the, uh, some people are functional. Oh. I will not, uh, I will not uh, leave. Cardoso is a good. Uh, he's doing good. Uh, no, he's a that's what I'm saying. So don't but just most of the, let me, let me finish. Most of the ministers they appointed, eighty percent of them are not functional. It's just like this power minister. I don't know the reason. Why? What make him give that guy minister of power? If really, if really he wants the power to work, is it that guy that he will give the power? Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry to cut you. From 1999. Tell me the the government that is better than this one. Do are you saying that this government is better than any other government? No, no, no. I am not saying that. I just want you to give me a, a, at least choose that no, which government is this, this government. Did. No, no. Let him yeah. mention it now and let him say what the Jonathan did. From 1999 to to to, to we enjoyed a very good economy. Economy. Now, Obasanjo was Obasanjo did very well. Uh, Jonathan don't have the capacity to to caution nah, people. You didn't so mention sure anything they, they did. You didn't mention anything they did. I want to compare what they did with this one. Now I I measure government based on the for me, I measure government based on the purchasing power of the people. I don't measure no, it which, by all this which grammar area, we speak. Yeah. Which area I still maintain did that. Did well? I still maintain which that. I still maintain Jonathan that during well? the time of. Uh, I still maintain that during the time of uh, Jonathan government, the minimum wage is 19,000 19, naira. With 19,000 naira, you can earn yourself a bag of rice, carton of indomie, tomato, granite oil, or just name it. You can use it to to package your your food stock. So during your last one, your during last one, your. Obasanjo started to increase even, the minimum wage. Even, even during Obasanjo, during, during, during mm -hmm. Obasanjo period, the civil servant they can go to the bank, take a loan, they build good houses, drive good cars. During those mm. days, you understand. But today, in starting hold from on, the time hold of on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me finish house, now. Let me finish. Let me let me finish. If you, if you, when if you, you know now. Yeah? I mean, people buy house. So you, hold on. All these things you are saying during those times, some people did not buy house. Now, this period, people are buying house. Those are not yardstick now. No, no, during the now, period, during, this, those, during the, yesterday, during the yesterday, period, yesterday, let me tell you, during the Obasanjo period, the yesterday, economy yesterday, is so good. People are buying the economy is so good, the economy is so good that the most of us, 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 the can build a house. Today, but today, tell me how many people are buying house. that can afford that today in Nigeria. A lot of people are buying No, it doesn't happen anywhere. We, we, what are you going to borrow with with with, with, with minimum wage of 30,000? It's not like that anymore. You now. understand? Let me tell you, today, today, your minimum wage, your minimum wage can get you that quarter bag of rice. That quarter bag. That's what your minimum wage can get you. Not even up to a bag. So, I measure government based on the purchasing power of the people. I don't come here to speak grammars. I came here to speak what I can afford in your government as the government. You understand? I just give you an example. Just hey, no, that, that's not a good during, example. During the time of, the time your, of good luck, Jonathan, the me, minimum wage is, the minimum wage doesn't need to, talk. the minimum wage doesn't need to be up to hundred thousand. It's just nineteen thousand naira. But you can still get a bag of rice. How you can still get a bag of rice that time. time. How much was bag of rice that time? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Answer. How much was bag of rice during during Obasanjo? How much was bag of rice? Obasanjo period. Yeah. It's about four thousand or three thousand something now. Yeah, that's not true. 
Okay. That's what let me that's what let me true. let me make my submission. During the time of no, 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 you, 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 you cannot I think he should it was no more than five thousand. I know I bought I used to buy bag of rice around that time, five thousand. Uh -huh. So with your, with your minimum wage then with the, with your minimum wage you can get all those stuff full stuff and a, and a package of minimum your your stuff. No, wait. Minimum wage was eighteen thousand. Yeah, you could buy one. You could buy a bag and it will last a family for like six months. So that's uh -huh. like um, that less than uh, mm -hmm. eighteen thousand was the minimum wage then, and if you buy a bag of rice for five thousand. If you last the family, if you buy two bags of rice for ten thousand, and it lasts the family for ten months, so that's like one thousand from your wage. Okay, okay, that's good. That everything yeah, was looking good there. Well, how come? How come now? Barcelona couldn't see, uh, fix electricity. No, when things were good, it didn't succeed everywhere. Now it succeeded in some area and filled it. No, 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 it, no. So that minimum wage. Wait, hold on. Minimum wage of Obama was it was it was from Abacha. It was from Abacha. It was all Barcelona that brought it down. No, bless mm -hmm. my, bless my, the point oh, is this. The point is this. See, the oh, point no, I'm making, bless my. From a let me, it came let from me, let me, let me put out some argument to what you're saying. The point still remains no. that the point still remains that uh, play some the no, point still remains no, that no, no, no. We are going no. down every day. We are going, we are going down. Every, uh, oh, no, God. let me finish. Let me finish. Oh, we are going down that. every day by day in terms of our purchasing power. Oh, we are going down now. every day by Mention day. Mention something that was not there that Obasan just fixed. It's not minimum. The economy, right. uh, Obasan just did excellent thing. Uh, Obasan just did excellent thing. Oh, hold economy. on now. Let me, let me make my point now. Rice was 4,000 during Abacha. Obasan just makes it like that. But electricity was not good during Abacha. Did Obasan just change it? Did Obasan just change it? Rice was four thousand during a batter's period. Obama not maintain that. But uh -huh. power was not good during a batter. Did Obama John revive it? Obama John did not revive it. Uh, we are telling you the area is considered very well. Mm -hmm. Baba, I can talk now. You are yeah, there. Talk. On. No, you see, you keep arguing like I say something. He, he maintain what was before, but the one was that was bad. He didn't turn it around, and you are oh, chatting at me. Hold on. Hold oh. on. Even during the Abbasanjo, there was mm. uh, uh, better electricity supply. Because I can remember back then, some of my friends, when we are talking, they'd be saying, oh, look, Mafuashako, don't be doing Bukaragara. We are getting electricity here uh, okay. in Nigeria now, just like you in uh, America. Don't be doing Garagara with us. We are having better electricity now. So... We can't, we can't, you know, condemn Obasanjo period. That was the best time. No, Hold on. Hold on. It was all different from Obasanjo period. Was all different from Abacha's period. He only maintained Abacha's. Abacha's regime. He maintained it. It was not bad. Like electricity was not bad too during Abacha. Well, let us agree that it was better than what we have today. That's number one. Then number two, he increased minimum wage within the short period of time that he got to government. He actually mm. promised before he got to government and increased it from 1,005 to 3,005. That was a huge increase back then. Which mi minimum wage of for which government is this? Or based on your time. I thought from somebody 1, said 18,000. From 1,005 to 18,000. I thought somebody said 18,000. I repeated no, that thing. I was no, like 18,000. No, no, no. no, no, no. I said to Jonathan, no. I said Jonathan, I didn't talk about minimum wage on Obasanjo. I said, oh, Jonathan, uh, minimum wage was 19,000 naira. And you can be able to get uh, a bag of rice. I thought somebody, I thought somebody said it's 18,000. It's Patoski that said that one. No, I didn't say anything about that one. I didn't, so, I'm not, I didn't talk about minimum wage in Obasanjo. I talked about Jonathan minimum wage and how you are able to use it to get everything you need in the market. During Jonathan period, during Jonathan period, the crate of egg is about uh, 400 or 300 and something naira. I was surprised today, the other day, the government, the, I don't know whether it's the Lagos State government. That was selling a crate of uh, egg in my area with this uh, one kind motor like that. I thought the thing would be cheap. 
when I go there, the the half crate of it is about two thousand something. The, there was a way they can package it. I just uh, I just leave them and go. Just half crate to about two thousand something. There's How a much? way they package it. Two thousand something. Half mm. crate. They are, they just package it a small small with one design something. It didn't look very nice. And the thing is like it's from the Lagos State Government with one of these uh, open uh, you pay for packaging yeah. now. You know, go you pay for packaging. <laughs> Two thousand nine. I just looked at it. Now packaging I went off. I just didn't go. <laughs> but I was just telling you that <laughs> I was just telling you that during the time of good luck, Jonathan, just full crate is about three something or four hundred something naira. Today you are buying a half crate for uh, two thousand naira, two thousand something. If you understand, so just check it now. Just just check the purchasing power of the people. The way even the electricity you are, you are talking about before, even the, uh, during the Buhari period. Let me not lie to you. Buhari period, at least every night from eleven to four a.m. in the morning, we used to have electricity. But today we don't see it again. If we manage hold to have on, hold on, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to ask. I don't need to hold on. I don't need to hold on. Hold on, please. So, I don't know. Please, 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 I don't we're not doing anything about okay, it. Okay, oh, please. Uh, we know. Uh, we got to move a bit in it. And uh, Kenneth, you can hear this. During all this review from Obasanjo, what improvement have they done to that power sector? That is the point. Uh, that the, the, that will make this not collapse. The, the improvement it did, at least there it was did. No but there was no How improvement. There was no improvement. Generating. And that no improvement is what in, we are seeing today. I, I think we have only two. There was no How many, improvement, Baba. Generation generation plants have been growing for matters or so. Generation yeah, I think plant. like two then, yeah. I think it was two that we had. I think it increased it to like, is it six or eight? A bit more generating gen, gen, generating plants than uh, any other person in the history of that country. So he built it. And uh, Jonathan is supposed to continue build, so to improve on that, on um, um, you know the transmission and other things. But Jonathan went to uh, privatize this thing to crooked friends and all this, and uh, they couldn't manage it well. And Buhari, throughout his own year, that one was just playing a nonsense game. Uh, yeah, thank you. That is the point I'm going. And uh, Kenny said Jinobu should fix everything in one uh, with, with less than one year. You see, you you want, you, you mentioned how it was deteriorating after Yes, and now. was it and, and uh, uh, Kenneth said you should build all, all those things within, within I one year. I you know, as I under Abbasan John, the, 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 No, Abbasan John improved. Movement. The other guys didn't improve. Subsequent government did not do anything. Like they did not improve. So and the, 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 stuff are, they are getting, the, the stuff are getting old. They are using yeah, it. Yeah, and they are not improving. That is collapsing. That's the thing we are seeing. Uh, please, Omar, didn't uh, they cancel that Siemens deal or OBJ made before he left under Yadra? You know, you know, he had it with Siemens that uh, Yara uh, withdrew, right? Yeah, that well, he, he was talking yeah. about the, the 15 billion deal with uh, for, the, uh, for the gas, it was supposed to be a gas, plant. Ga, gas powered. Uh, yeah. And yeah. after, hold on, after almost 20 years, we are back to that gas plant again, but like, like, we should have done 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's just exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, they want somebody that came just yesterday to come and uh, skyrocket it. No, it doesn't work like that. It's as part of the system billion uh, scandal that article st is still hanging on article's neck. Even uh, uh, it's about under article anyway. But, uh, but uh, uh, first of all, you look at your okay, you look okay, at your budget okay, system. Okay, your wait, budget system on. doesn't show that okay, you want okay, to improve in those okay, sectors. That is even the problem. Okay, no, wait. Now, because of the need for our gas supply, the, so those government or German government is willing to even help you because they need, you have leverage now to to make it to speed it up. The process of getting this thing uh, done quicker compared to with the OBJ days because they need your gas because of the war in Russia. You, you all know look, that. Look, 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 so, look, Babati. Gas, all they can do gas. is my point. Hold on, hold on, Babati. Okay. You see, we have to discourage this uh, centralized system. If I you agree, really I want to have electricity. That's one part. Oh. Of, 
no, no, no. They have to they have to break it down yeah we, no no we must do everything on gas uh, solar everything i bring everything just don't do any one just do everything everything you have bring it any region no, what, what they everything. need to do now they need to they need to encourage you know the state and even if possible local government to start generating them they have and, the power and, to do and, so now they already gave them the power to do like so that. now we they have the power already to we, do so look this centralized this thing will never work like no no no, than no they, they, fall, they have the power now the, 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 they, have they have the power oh. which power no, no, they have the power. Let yeah, me say one thing. Power, like, which no. power? When the power grid is breaking down every no, time. No, the power? issue is no. Any the issue that they have uh, now is that Even Nigeria is in darkness now. The uh, the power grid uh, is is no. Is, is we are down already. To, no, I'm saying that compared to before. Now they have the power to do so. The issue is that the financing, which I believe that they should come together, maybe for Lagos or some city that they have the money, but like Ogun now. Talk to Oyo and Lagos. Let's come together and do these things. Because that would be more cost effective for three states. You can't have one state doing it by, by themselves. Like it would be more expensive, like that for transmission. But if you have states, maybe in a region saying like, let's come together as a region and do this thing, it will be more cost effective for them to come together and do like a transmission line together. Then you can do your own individual distribution and uh, generation. That would be Babati, yeah. Babati, there's something else I see in it. Uh, you see, these governments, see people are just underestimating them. There is something I'm seeing about this Tinubu, and especially with this Adebibu, the guy in power sector. The reason why he chose him, I later understand. I later understand why he chose this guy. The guy only understands the finances of business. That's why he chose him. Do you guys think, do you know why this guy raised the alarm that even Asorok were owing bills like a, a month ago? Uh, the the man is a the man is a, he needs a stronger better PR team. It should not be no. Talking. What they want to use him for is to make that department monetize so that the value of the reason why they, people why, why can't sector, they just give up transmission for God's sake? That's the issue. Just give it up. As, why is federal government holding on to transmission by force? Lord, on your there they go. Uh, well, if you say let that it go, is, no, hold on, please, somehow, hold on, please. Right now, we can actually generate up to up to above twenty thousand, right? Right now, we can yeah. generate. Mm. You can actually distribute, but the issue is transmission. So why is the federal government holding us to it for security reasons? I mean, that's the excuse. No, they are still going to release it, but they want to make the sector buy. Well, well, no, 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 please, no, when, no. Where, where, where are they oh, I don't know. I don't know, but very soon I'm sure they will release it. Say, what, yeah, what I'm yeah, saying is, do, ah, do you want to ah, ah, yeah. see, understand what I'm trying to say? I I, I listened to some of their uh, some of their spokesperson, and the guy explained very well. See, if the, the price, the price, that's why they remove. Okay, that's the purpose. The reason why they remove the the subsidy in it, and now serious business people will come for it. If if they didn't remove that, if they didn't remove the subsidy, no state will generate electricity with the old bill because they will be stuck in charging the old bill. Now that they've created some band A, so people who want electricity, private sector can come and be generating it and be selling it at that band A price. And you'll see to I'm telling you, that is what they are doing. Think about it very well. That is why they remove the subsidy. Now the the, the price is it's attractable for any hey, investor. I, I am not disagreeing with you, bro. I'm mm -hmm. saying that if you still want to keep your what you have right now with transmission, mm -hmm. like everybody like say, encourage the use of regional lines. In addition to that, when it comes to transmission, is my point. Mm -hmm. But you can't have one transmission for the whole country. That has to stop. Yeah, they have to break it. Yeah, there have to be multiple transmission lines. Maybe transmission line. lines. that's the only way. You can't just have one line and say you want to improve on that. No. And that's the exactly that's what is killing the present generation. Because when they generate, they can't transmit. And it collapsed. And uh, and uh, we are not we don't even have a deadline. We don't know where, when we are going to have this electricity. Man. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. We're just they will send email to you. Yeah. They will send email to you. Senate will send email to you. 
So the these guys will come really to TV and talk, and they say, and they say one thing, and they go to the back, go to the back and be doing another thing. Uh, but can I can I ask you guys a question, please? I know it's okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, can I can I ask you all a question? Go ahead. Yes, we are listening. Um, I know it's a, a little bit unrelated, but I want to know uh, what would you guys say is the best way to send money to Nigeria now, since Western <laughs> Union and that one is not working now. Well, like, uh, uh, from I'm where? hearing from about where? Boss Revolution <laughs> and Flutter Wave. What do you, which one is the best now? From which country? Where are you sending it from? Hello? From U.S.? Uh -huh. Oh, from US. You can use send wave or tap tap. In other states. Yeah, you can use send wave or tap tap. America. I don't know if you know about that. Yeah. Do you can you hear me? I'm sending from America, America. Yes, you can you you can send through send yes. wave. Send wave or tap tap. You said tap tap. Or oh, yeah, or send wave. There's another one called send wave. What about wave. Uh, that? Uh, it's a bit of an echo. What about the uh, boss? No. Uh, boss, boss, no. Uh, that, what about the uh, boss revolution? Is that the uh, no, that's a, that phone? That's a, a phone stuff now. Yeah, it sends money, but it's old oh. stuff. It, does, it doesn't have good rate. I use I a, a, uh, wait. I use a word remit. Yeah, word remit. Yeah, it's good too. Word yeah, remit is good too. Yeah. And cheap to send, so what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. Guys so you, yeah, yeah. So you said that you said the two main ones now is send let's, wave and let, tap let's tap. Let's type it in the private chat for you, so you can you see the name. I think maybe you can word remit. So I, I, I will put it in the private chat so you can see it. The best one you said is send wave and tap tap. And world remit, yeah, you're right. And world remit or world remit. Okay, okay, that'd be good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you you guys don't send all your money to Nigeria. Enjoy your money. Um, <laughs> Don't, don't, don't want to I want it almost in I want <laughs> Yeah, no, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Baba, if you know how much is going to Nigeria in my pocket, you will pity oh. my life. It, it's just some I people mean, I, even, I, I, regretted, I, I regretted giving them my number. It, now nah, they will even they don't even ask as your family, as your children. First thing is money. Mon Nigerians, they are so Oh God! I don't want. To, let me do. Let me see what is in my mouth. It will not empower one, oh, Thomas. <laughs> empowerment in me. Try how many, it, how many empower? How many empower? How many empower? You will empower Taya. No. You will empower Taya. No. Let me let me tell you something, please, Thomas. I do it all the time. I see send money to buy or kind of for some people. Let me tell you something. So you look big, man. What lost you? Nothing. Lost. Lost. You don't be. I did find that most in the Thomas in Kokoni. To be Thomas, I did ask you how many weeks ago about this Australia thing. Oh yeah, yes, uh -huh. yes. Ask me once. I, once you that way, if you fly over there, you're on your own. Oh, you won't ask me again. I be not seeing. You see my my point. You're yeah. your own now. Nah. That's it. That's empowerment. But we can make my phone roll every month here without doing anything here. Like well, uh, yeah, that that's it. The visa is starting, but if the visa is not there. No, no, even for Nanjas, eh, the bad day, no, ah, you should be, ah, dear, dear, Nikoni, Jogbo, or Joko, she be gone, oh, oh she's not gone now. Uh, that, that's different. But we, eh, if you know, phone, 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 then you go, remember, ah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They won't tell you a phone, you tell me your body, man, ah, it was really bad. And this is Apple, too. And Apple, not to me, ah, me, you, 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 my own, it is the funny way they, they, they want to celebrate, they all celebrate uh, Good Friday 
at this time on day, and me, I'm working on that two boats today. So I can begin to imagine that, ah, if you go and be sharing a good Friday, you want to celebrate good Friday, you want to celebrate a star Monday, and I'm at work. <laughs> what kind of thing is this? You know, it can be annoying. I am at work. I am telling me, please, ah, we need to buy chicken on Monday. And I'm still going to work on Monday. I'm just shaking my head. No, you know, you should help as much as Tobali help. Even if you know that they don't, if it's disposable, something that Tobali need that much. But if you really want to help people to point, is to help them to be independent of the, of, and if leaving the country or doing something like that is their own, so be it. Oh. But I mean, I mean, if I know, you know how place you want to buy notice, I don't come out that way to buy for money. And let's go for money, hundred dollars. Low shoe needs to go for money. What do you want to mean next month? They want, they want, so you're on day the last year. What's it? Do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it? That's their monthly pay now. The thing that you owe them every month now. Yeah, yeah that's why yeah. sometimes uh, Nigerian people, yeah, man, I get tired, but. No, 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 no. To buy J, they are elder. They are I want you. Of course, elder, elder. They are only. They are only. They are only. They are only separate. It is where Colin Shalu and the pressure is high. I be any. Oh, what did what did I get? What did I get? What did Oh, 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 is it that's that's the reason why we're telling you okay, all this complete complete people are buying house now even if his strength is the uh, 30,000 era people are they are making money so it's just in their, their cocoon that uh something is going on oh and don't be me be me be here and let me ask you why any laptop when you want to learn you have to go back that way don't want to look back no fellow laptop two thousand dollars. And we go to my very phone, come up the iPhone, come up the iPhone 15, iPhone Kiniko. Wow, could she learn a lot in America? Almost, they will ask you for things that even you don't they use for that. You're going to watch me like I don't even use iPhone. I mean, Samsung, Samsung. I hate iPhone. iPhone is too complicated for my. For my life, I mean, in particular, in me, the fish phone freak. So, my, 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 my Android phone is like two years ago. And you go, man, we are I'm an Android phone, but me only choice because of fish. You say, my boy, call on calling, it's all up, it's all, and so. Baba, I, I own a, I use um, a Samsung Ultra 22. Yes, my wife gave me as a gift on my bad on my birthday. That's what I've been using. Mm. A twenty three came out. I didn't change it. Mm. Twenty four is out. I didn't change it. Two yeah, weeks ago, two weeks ago, it developed some fault. I sent it back to Samsung. They gave me another brand new twenty two mm. because it's still under warranty. It's under two years yeah, warranty. Uh, Thomas, hold on. This culture of uh... A man knows the party. I, I broke lane party. Me, why do you why do we do that? In I don't understand. Eh, Boca Kiloa, and no way. I broke lane. Where she, you mean? Why did you spend all this money on? Uh, talk, talk, some people really? talked about the gift. Do you know some people arrange party because it are expecting gift from people? They are so gullible mm. and full to that extent. That are uh, uncomfortable for me, and people will give me more money. Let me organize a party. So, at the long run, nobody will give them. So, they will be running the party. Sometimes it's like an investment in Nigeria. 
Uh, but sometimes, no, sometimes you just want to show off that because uh, my neighbor did a big party. I have to do a big party. Don't worry, please, please, my oral meal here. Can you, oh, I need to look at the goodness. Can you, and go to the next video? I'm going to begin to go to the next video. Oh, actually, can you appear? Be in the canopy, there's party inside the party. Uh, section by section. You know, the same family, yeah, I won't come with alcohol or blue. In the same family, no. Yeah. You know, I want to that I give you no glitter juice, different drinks. I want to pure water. Do you ha? Ah, hello. I'm telling that, you. That, 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 that is our lifestyle. We, we, it's, hey, um, uh, Baba yeah. T. Uh, since I came in this country, I take life much simpler. Eh, hey, but, is, but, 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 Thomas, God, Thomas, even in this country, too, Bashora. Okay, Molo, yeah, in kind of passing me on Marshall Bell, Marshall, Monty, and Marshall. But then be a month later, in Midden, or to put a simple mechanical bell. Oh, don't let me get a very simple person. Money, I'm going to wear the same cap. Only like, 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 yeah, that was that was then. Money, look over like, I'm putting on the way, could a simon only the gas is book me, we cook my embarrassment. You can't wear that again. You must buy the new one. Nigerian community here, if as they are so so myopic, so as you be every week. Babati, if you if Nigerian community here, if you don't have your own house, they want to they don't want to associate with you. Before they come to their your house, they will send one delegate to go and check. Maybe your house is fine before they mm -hmm. come to your house. So so, as I'm speaking to you, I don't have any Nigerian friends. I even hide myself. I'm not Nigeria, but you know. Why, are you, why are you doing that? It's not because Nigerian to consider okay. I don't want to associate well with any Nigeria, my brother. Yeah, mm. no. I prefer to associate with other Africans and the white. White is the the best one because they will not lie to you. They don't white. They don't have fake life. White the whites they don't have fake life. White and Thomas, hello, me, hello, me, Thomas, Thomas, in this country, hello, me, ba, I will, I will, Lori, I should, I should be. I'm telling you because every week they are going to different parties and they can't wear the same thing. They have to buy the different daily, different every week. This ah, no, 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 my, 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 if I go there, I must spend at least uh, five hundred or, or, or seven hundred dollars in bed. Could you want to be in bed? So I'm here. I don't know. I don't know. My brother, I don't. I don't follow the multitude. One day, my wife said, uh, "There is one party you want be." I said, "I don't have money." He said, "Really?" And he has, he has access to my phone. He has access to my account. She, she checked my account. Say, "Ah, you have enough. You even have more than enough with." More than me, I said that's fine. You know, I'm not a passive person. I don't care about your party. If I do, if I don't come to your party, if you don't come to my party. I'm not. I'm not going to have one. Come I'm on. not a passive person. Party must have one. Yeah. What I hear, Walato. Oh, they give me more love. I want blizzards, bro. I want blizzards. At least you are neutral. You are neutral. Blizzards, more love. Lori, you da. You have to keep it up, like you. So Nigerian community here, yeah, uh, they will buy big cars. They want to show off if Mr. A buy Lexus, the next day Mr. B will go and buy um Range Rover, the, the latest one. I don't care about you. You don't know my assets, you don't know what I want. It's not that's, about what that, I, I'm driving. That's one thing no. I first learned when I came to this US. That's <laughs> one thing I first learned. I, I I was living in U I lived in UAE for like uh, fifteen years before I came to the US. I had like two cars, two good cars. Yes, yeah, maybe one for business, a pickup truck. And UAE we, is not the credit is not the credit state. You have to buy cash just like Nigeria. So when I came to US, I understand people are using big cars, everything. And uh, at the end of the day, it's a it's a car loan. So I call it a party only. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no,
That is what I will tell you. I am I am I am I am I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I but at that time, I don't need it, especially my job. So when I was working, I got a job. I used public all the time. And uh, at the end of the day, my wife only drives children to school and go, me, you need it, you need it. But later, I changed it. The reason why I used it for two years was to be able to save the money to buy the car of my choice, the SUV. And I bought it cash. Because I was, for me, after paying mortgage or something, there is nothing else I owe in. In the US, so I can decide to travel back home for two months, and um, you know, I'll come you know, so okay, I have this bills, I have these bills. So I studied the system, and I saw ah, everything money, loan, money, loan, mortgage, loan, everything, loan, everything, loan, phone, gone, loan, book, well, loan. Ah, so the magic of balloon inside the area, I don't know the month, they are already on the market. I said, some No, people, yeah, oh, good. some people buy loan clothes here. Yeah. Nigerians. <laughs> okay. Must you buy it? And it's only money. Eh, Thomas, it's not for fair value. It's the, it can be hundred k, only in four hundred, and you must pay. It's based on what the person said the value is. Feeling you what in hotel and stuff. Eh, I saw Molebi. See Molebi, you know. They know they they make money. What have you make money? I want to make I my 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 no. my my wife they, she know me very said sometimes she won't even offer me. They say want <laughs> somebody's having party. I said, God bless them. God bless them. He has no the he has written the he has writing written the handwriting on the wall. I said, God bless <laughs> them. <laughs> okay. okay. Go listen up move one bed. Bam Kim won't move with me. I'm a business. That's it. Good morning. Maybe I'm not in here. I'm not in Russia. I'm not in Russia. I'm not in Russia. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Carol. Yeah, Carol. Yeah, Carol. Yeah, Yes, it's only one thing that I just want to say. Like, this is these obedient people, yeah. There's nothing. There's you nothing. are you are you are an obedient. Wait, I'm sort of obedient. Yeah, yeah, that's my own problem. That's my own problem. You see. Uh, maybe three days ago, when they are talking about our uh, law, rational mind opened his stupid, dirty mouth to call our law myopic. Me, me, Bori Lanye, I was, although Baba Jambe Koko Jalom, you understand? He called the visionary, he called the visionary myopic. A visionary. Yes. Our <laughs> law, wow. he never. Korean countries in Nigeria see she as a bad we are obitre. He never see that way. He saw that is our law that is myopic. See, when I when I keep on saying this to everybody on this platform, never you call a rational man a Yoruba or you say rational man is from Ilaje or something. It's a lie. This guy he has shown the kind of person he is. And all of your go were like a I'm saying this with my whole heart. Me, me, me. So, do I mean, I'm a short, I'm a man of short words. I like it. Yeah, I like it so much. Because how could rational mind? Don't 
eye ma pampa oh gani gani oh yin ko to kile ni mo wo arise la roy ni to kin to lo bi se n mo ta o mo pe former governor state kan ni east to ni awon la won awon create eko awon la won create abuja awon la won create o mo won ti move from develop to create na even Rufai go had to defend. Yeah, I, that's too much. That's a lie. I'm going, I'm going to yeah, I, I saw it. I saw the interview. Guess what happened to him on Twitter? Uncle Tini. Money, oh, oh, you're The obedience, right? Ah. Money, oh, 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 I don't want to talk about him too much because he's not here, but for the fact, I would like to you. If he has never called anybody from Southeast or South South, stupid or idiot, as he used to say, that brother is not from, is not a Yoruba man. I didn't want to talk about, I used to listen to everything they say. I don't come up often, but I, I am so convinced that that guy, and this guy called him our and the war piece. That is from Ishan or somewhere, and I agree totally. That guy is just because, and even him, he mentioned three years ago that it was his mom that taught him how to speak Yoruba. Maybe his mom is Yoruba. If a pop is something, so he just come running up like uh, he's a Yoruba to attack Yoruba. So he's from the east, I believe. Yeah, he, he, he's from the east. He's from the south, south. He's from a uh, state or something. Yeah, not, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, you mean uh, what, what would the world piece or? Rational, rational mind. mind, rational yeah, mind is from a do or something. No, no, no. Really? Yes. No. No. One piece called him out now. He couldn't defend himself. No, 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 no. I called him out several times. Ah, you see, I'm not cutting my shit. I'm not cutting my shit. So bad. She ain't club. No, you know why? You told me. There are some Yoruba people that is listening to this platform. So then, they are they are gone into the in continue rational mind. They ever saw more man be suffer for law. They don't know it's not part of God. Okay, now we will we miss it. So need to read. Also, also I want more chairs. America. Also, I want more con. If they follow the declaration, what they know? These are the people I want not to so easy. We and eh, yet. Eh, Please, Omar. Please, Omar. Yeah. Please, check the yeah. private chat. Mm -hmm. I will not. Number one, I'm not going to. Okay, come as a but don't any man support if from Lajer. This is Lajer. You, Ibo, ni. What be say? Who? I don't know. We don't take care of him. What Ibo, ni. You understand? Bandia, oh, 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 so we want to allow people like that to even talk about Nigerian issues. Our laugh. Mm. And it's from you know what, what part of it is coming from. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah. Cannot so, to, to, because to me, sorry, to me, there are people that you cannot insult in, in your bala like MKO. They're not perfect people. I will love war. I can't lie. The people that I revert, they might have their own issues, but I put them. In their own, I don't never. If I disagree with them, I will not insult them. They might be wrong on something, but I will not call them my OP call, say that they, they did wrong for me. I won't say that because you, you, you must put yourself in their shoes. Because I mean, I had to go read some, uh, some books to, to know what was going on. You know, we don't even talk about architecture that much. On no, but, 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 but even if you disagree with them, you won't call them names. Yeah, I won't call them names. I yeah, because them. of the kind of person you are, because you're a Yoruba man, you get it. Because we're a Yoruba man, even the yeah, even yeah. let's assume even the Peter Obi and Adam Jazikwe, because they are elderly, even if we disagree with them, we won't call them names. You get it? 
We won't call them stupid, uh, no, uh, what was uh, myopic because we are disagreeing with them. Immediately they just said, that's not why you can talk. Ah, the stupid ones, the idiots, the stupid books. The, ah, in fact, this guy, well, I, I pray continue that way, Sha, that you, one day you will meet someone like me in America. I pray like that. Yeah, what but, 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 but is the liberal part of us don't allow Kimi. Thomas, Thomas, are you there, Thomas? Yes, I'm here, Thomas. You know, Thomas needs to do. You know, before it was we developed, now it's now become we created. Our laugh, our our laugh, at that sort of thing. Let, if you don't talk, next, you know, it will be it will, you, the, it will move to we are the one that our indigenous no matter the next one, right? Because you guys don't, you don't talk, you don't say anything back, you don't talk. You are doing a, go ahead, Thomas. La, 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 libra, Libra, let's just be Libra. Let's be Libra. Okay, imagine to, for you to be saying, I, I'm sorry to I, me. I, I saw one like Mike. Hey, Thomas, I let me give an example. Somebody. An example. Yeah. The when Pa uh, Bayelikoko is not here, I have, but I have to say this him defending Afeni Ferry supporting P2B, it bothers me. Exactly. You, can't say you, are, you can't say you are for you are your interest is for your bad people and yet you are doing a uh uh unity. No, Kokoembe, your interest should be your own people, not not for everybody else. They have to the contradicted yourself now. He contradicted yourself. That one, that, that one I don't I don't get why he keeps saying that. That bothers me. But I don't know why again, 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 Botress is pointing me. Even in, said, in English, Babangelo English. Said, yeah, Babangelo Koko said the um, pa your adivajo he helped to know who is addition like he made him the governor of Lagos. Papa Papa Jamie Koko has already forgotten he played to know who was a senator Federal Republic of Nigeria before he become gov governor of Lagos State. Say, is it bad uh, you are never going to see as a senator? No, this, this, our elderly people, these are the people that we, we thought they were holding their nose and they would stay like to put to, to guide us right, even with the young one when we are making mistakes. You understand what I mean? But you see, if Papa Jale Koko opened his mouth and be saying all these things. Yesterday, Bafantanle Koko was even defending, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Oshibanjo. Oshibanjo himself that can never defend himself. <laughs> what I did to Tunubu, what I did to Tunubu, he will cry by himself. If he judge himself, he will be crying inside. And why should I do this to him? And Bafantanle Koko is defending him. Look at Peter Obi. When Peter Obi knew that he can never contest in, in PDP, he left. He, he can never contest with Asifu. He left PDP and got to the Labour Party. That's what uh, Oshibado would have done if he, like he wanted to run for a candidate. He would have left PDP and went to another party. Yeah, that 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 one too. Koyemi, the Oshibado. That guy was the Judas character. Everybody knows that. There is no truth about it. You can't so you can't oh you can't use somebody to get somewhere when it's not ready to repay that your debt to them. You're not saying you want to now get the same thing that they wanted that you know you've known for oh a kidney guy new kidney but boy so the former governor of Obutu. Oh he said uh has been nothing this ambition since oh seven. Do you remember I did so for almost for almost seventeen years? This guy has been nursing this ambition, and you knew about it. Babandale Koko even said something that it was so funny to me that eh, eh, Oshibado is a professional of law. He won all the cases. When Oshibado knew that this case, all this governor that is one bad, that is over, he went to Tunubu that we can't win this case. Tunubu told him they, they are going to do forensic. He was, he, oh, he said, ah, that be possible. He said, go to this place, go and look for people, and then we'll do the forensic for everybody. 
That's the way they won all the election. If I tell you, people don't know this. See, you are like, I'm not See, make me a little bit, and I want to, it's not good when I say it. I, I, I have uh, some, some uh, bad feelings for pastors because this guy is a pastor. He's a technocrat. He was a technocrat. And you could betray somebody that put you up that way. Man. I've not seen that kind of thing before. Even uh, this guy, this only thing I go go to Ogun State. What's his name again? No, I'm also former governor. Former governor of Ogun State. I'm also. I'm also at the peak. They, 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 they were not. They, they were not agreeing with Tinubu uh, in the in the earlier stage. But later, he he, he stepped down. Fagemi stepped down. Even the uh, Snape president, concurrent Snape president. Even this guy, please, so my, this guy from uh, my 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 city. Uh, Bankole. Bankole. Bankole he was there. Now he stepped down. He stepped down. I probably will step down. You and uh, this man has never helped all these people as much as you. He gave. The, that is the only slot Tinubu had in that APC Buari government. Is only Osibajo. <laughs> The only thing he gave Gwari was Oshibajo in that government. And you still turn out to, to treat him that way, oh boy. Mm. That day, I, I, I fear pastors. I fear pastors. Anyway, they were not even the Tundebakade too. There were two pastors there. Ah, that's why I fear pastors a lot too. There were only two pastors you know, you know, from you South remember, West. Tundebakade. You know, you know, they they, 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 all, they almost removed the budget after the standard of the money. The, of the money, take that money, yeah. That was when this guy was abusing him, FSK, that they turned him to ass boy. Remember? Mm. Who said, who saved him? It was Tinubu now, the same, the same guy that said, mm. come back for you. <laughs> come on now. This guy... And it's from my state too. It's from my state. Sadly, it's from my state. Uh he's the reason he's the reason why that Emilio call Emilio call uh slogan came out. It was because he of the, his pin on his body. He was his from mm. his that was him. Mm. That was him. Anymore, you, you know why it's so painful? It's because that man is from my town, like him. Raymond is from a Kenya and the history of the that guy. Anywhere you see, okay. you will see that they will be talking about something. the Jebu people as betrayer. You understand? Uh, and this one, so, is Daniel, his daddy in the yeah. Lord has told him he's going to, his daddy in the Lord has told him he's going to be president. Didn't so, they, didn't uh, they form a political hangu in the church? Remember, Thomas, didn't they form a political stuff in the religion? Remember? Yeah, no, they're yeah. No, you can't blame me. No, his father, his dad is drinking tea with God. So they are so <laughs> <true. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> we we just need to you know we need to just you know we just need to but uh, Gani, were you surprised to see Atiku and uh, and Wiki together today? I don't. Uh, Wiki will not be for Atiku. Nobody. Wiki is not going to. Wiki will not be for Atiku. Atiku. Atiku is good. Even the PDP people, they don't want him there. They don't want him. Atiku is killing the party. I'm. I'm happy with him. And why can't they just kick him out then? If he's that, if he's if he's talking yeah, because, to the party, because, they kick him out. because of the the money, they need the money, they need this money, and this you see this PDP, the the, the, the most elite there, they don't want to spend their money, and Atiku is ready to spend the money. You see, like uh, your Dino Dino boy, your Dino Milai, that one. Took all the money for campaign and he went to go and buy another uh, limousine GP. That one is a very clever man. He didn't even campaign a bit. 
So, are you talking about Dino Milaye to put his money in it? PDP? Never, I will not do that. He rather do Ogasa, Ogasa, Ogasa for them to bring money. He's a clever man. Anybody that knows him from uh, Abu will know it. That's the way he is from the beginning. So he doesn't care about other people. So PDP is gone already. I would like Labour Party the way they are doing their things now. Okay. <laughs> I, I love it. How are they doing their thing? What, what do you mean you love the party? And the way they are doing it, they should continue. And Tunubu is because of Tunubu is doing more, better, better, better. You see, when when uh, Kadosu talk, they say it's lying. So who are they going to believe? But they will labor, believe their own, labor, labor, believe labor, their own propaganda. Can you, labor, labor union says that they want their their party back. That enough for this. Uh, they want their party back from the obedient. They don't want uh, a bully obedient and anything. They want their party. Where, where obedient is going, then they are not going anywhere. They, they can't. And obi is so dark that he can't even form a party. Hmm. He can't form a party. So. No, you can no, you can form a party. You can form a party, but you cannot run a party. You can form he can't, it. He, he can't form it. It's so it's so stingy. He wants people to donate for for him to do anything. Even if he want to go to the toilet, he wants people to donate for him. He likes he, that guy is something else. He likes to take free money every time. When he was working with Abasha, he never mentioned that. You never mention you work with Abasha, is the one who controlling the pot, taking money from all these agents. Mm -hmm. He never say that. These guys, you know, I don't care about what they say, bro, because I'm a Yoruba man, I'm the full brother. I don't care about what they say. I just want nothing should happen to, 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 to my, our Tunubu. That's it. Nothing. He will do his eight years and leave the place. And no matter, he will try his best. And I'm very sure by the time he's leaving, he's not going to give it to him. a stupid idiot. He will give it to someone that is even more better than him. Yeah, so guys, nice talking to you. I'm dozing off. I'll be listening till I sleep off. <laughs> All right, good night. Have a yeah, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. It, it, it will be some, something of quality. It, it will not be like a, like a, a OBG where he wants to hand over to a puppet to control. At least if it's someone that has something upstairs that will continue whatever he started right now. So Tinubu, I mean, you see the accident in Lagos, so you will hand over to somebody, somebody better or capable enough to con to continue whatever he started. So on that one, it's not going to be an OBJ where he's looking for a puppet to control. So I think that. By the way, uh, by the way, let me be petty. Yeah, you know, there's a live feed I've been watching. You know, I don't want to, I didn't want to bring it up. But... Oh, go, 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 go. landmark here. Once I feed the live chat, or then on live streaming, more inside feed will go. Oh, to turn on the video. No, you know, go, go, bring it. What if I go, bring it? What if he sit like to go? Hey, but mo, what's mo go? Bring us up here on my feed. Train, eh, train, can you see? I'm living here now. Eh, Jack or the Jack or the what the better? Oh, okay, so okay. once to so in Yama, it, 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 only this is going to be two by two, four lane until you get to Jack on the Luma Affair Parasi, ten lane. Oh, okay, what for any what for nearly gone? They gave him 50, 50 meters and call it to call whatever possible. I want to do it in Lara and all on protesting bear. When you get along with placard, if you can't believe I go along, you are why. Yeah, we know them. We know them. They, they are all, they are hundred percent bitter. If you, when Rashana Ma is talking, you see the bitterness in her tone, in her in, in his tone and in, the way he talks. You see how ah, this guy is bitter. Go 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 do do do. Eh, eh, eh. my play show the guy. No, Martin is this. You can play politics, but when you play politics with everything, everything. That's what I don't understand. You don't, I can disagree with you on some things, but everything should not have to be political. You can see evidence of something that the people are doing today. That 
but don't say don't just go after everything just because you don't like the person exactly i don't, I, exactly. I don't, I don't that one i don't understand the politics of that i don't know yeah exactly you are right <laughs> that guy is too funny honestly oh my god you got even they they've convinced a lot of Yoruba youth like like we call up proclaim and they 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 and what uniform for you or your state government you love what you love who in here yeah they go in hello you live low you lay the to she declaration and what is this there or your state government is best yeah what you would like to get that Bo picture low and only what is our law. Oh, feel I see problem. The bad boy, bad or lose the shake. Okay, so so she was in Nigeria at, at, at the time. To she the was camp. in Nigeria. Oh, one lay, oh, one new lay on lay lay upstairs. Why? What the fuck would we? Oh, I root one bell. You must declare, oh, the kilo safu. I want Okoko now. I want to know one more way. I want to see why you prison you. Kelly will be time when you're God. My people are just to be waiting. Oh, but this is not a criminal committee by death. In here, eh, Oti Oti, I want to know. I want prison. What if you want it? Oti, I want to know. I want to be. I want to go. It's the problem. You want to go on here. That's why it's much more work. You know, rest my man, jeez. You see, you have to come and show, can't you, can't you come and show for you, but you don't want to see, 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 which is true, you don't want to see, you don't so in Taiwan, lo she in kong. She ki she pe times two like I a general in Dubai lo ni. Wa wa fi mo don in me oni. O ma kwenbe. Awo awo ekene ekene. She dey yon to ban ba ekene agu kong ma. I I think we these people don't go sing cocktail in she. And finally, I ask okay, you come to Nigeria. You come out okay. You are so dark. Come to Nigeria. Am I living in Nigeria? Do you know how, how long thing I see you live? So she the man wa ma fitting. Kito fitting the system. I know what uh, uh, is still going to take me some years. Or the sorry, Danny. I don't mean the cope on God. But once you live ten years above abroad, it's very hard to adjust to. I want go go low. Let's go. I want go go. I want to go low. Bamba low. Let's go. 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 let us go and now sherry if you talk with your log or talk with your see some of my idea walk we won't come on we did it on what they did it i'm not okay i'm a mechanic to my sherry what you know what god of who is it oh my more what yes you're my father love it i'm not worried So can they make it in Nigeria dangerous? Oh, this this are in fact, our people it is corrupt. What is by here when you want Jay gone? And the other brother, 
You be me in some of the freedom and liberty. You buy me, you buy me, you buy at what you liberty. Oh, sorry, but but grand thing. When he talks, people think that he was crazy. But the core, it's your, it's your, or your shenis. All right, she. Emu bobo in bobo in ti predict ti bi election she ma lo. O ti so o ti predict ti bi to ma parisi. O ti o ti ti bobo e. In koto wa ye mi si ni pe she tunubu mo bobo e ya biko morara. To ba mo bi bobo e she ti jack pe tunubu se oni yo ba gbo do lo. To ti so. I want to be in your location. No, 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 I want to What is she like? But he has restriction. Holy sorrow, like before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy sorrow, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy sorrow. Because a man lost a court, eh? Man lost a court, eh? Eh? Uh, really? Yeah, of course. In that case, yeah. Yes. I don't she feel like you almost to send the whole thing down. Hmm. What you say? True your back. True your back. I want you. I want you. My show. But I'm not going to ask back. So no. No one. No one. No one. To to face the Jawa. Oh my Jawa. I'm not going to ask you. Jack, but you go. Oh, you go. You go. But I want you to know. So you go. But no, this is the truth. In your own, you back on the judge, you want to own the guy you banish. She says, You are no way. In fact, going down. Yes, you are there. Let's see. One type of one. Oh, you look funny. You know, my one and the guys, they used to be friends, so. Hey, no. They, they used to do shows together. I don't know. Back in hey. the days. They did these shows together. Yeah, yeah. Sherry, Sherry, some people, they can't, because of money, they can't do anything. Check out your My good. He told you, whoa. You might go to see what to see. He told you who the day I saw my ego in London. I blew me, look at the wasi party. And yeah, only know that one one party. So, so I get it. Oh, my normal about most of them. Oh, that river voice is I did break it. Most of them.
All right, guys. Um, it's uh, 3.37 in the morning from Boston. Um, I think uh, Thomas is not here, and uh, I'm, I have some work to do. So um, I came in, and I didn't really listen to a lot of people uh, a lot tonight. So I'm going to be off for a while. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to listen back to what they had to say today. Um, but Judah is crazy as ever. AB is cool. I know AB is cool for the most part. GJ sometimes I don't even know. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I am coming to Cameroon. I'm coming. Uh, yeah, so I'm in Cameroon. Yeah, GJ, you are crazy. You know you are crazy. You, you, you got issues. I personally think Judy's brain needs oil change, to be honest with you. Is that bad? Seriously, I, mean, I honestly think so. Um, yeah. Seriously, yeah. Oil change. I'm, I'm not, I don't think. All the oil, though, brake oil, engine oil, all the oil. I'm telling, I'm telling you, it's like a character about to engine, engine one knock. Yeah, I'm telling you. It, because he'd be saying stuff sometimes. I will already not do anything good for you, bad people. Are you serious? No, the, yeah, that's all. And you, do you know what I think, AB? I think it's the white white girls in Utah. You know, he's, he's not doing black girl anymore. It's the white girls now. He's going to all this uh, cult church, seven day or whatever they call them. Yeah, so I think that's what's going on. You tell you you tell we mess up black people, a black person, man. I'm telling you. I bet you you think he's white now. Judy, 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 Judy Anderson. He don't change his name. Don't turn Anderson now. Judy Empire Anderson. Man, don't turn white man. Shit, don't the bleach his skin self. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Oscar, I, I don't know about him. I don't know about him being smarter. He's just more, he's a very corny, uh, very corny uh, individual. I, I wouldn't use the word smarter because he can adjust to, he studies, he studies the environment and the wave and it kind of flows with the wave that would, that would benefit his own brand. So I've been watching it for a long time, like for almost what? Almost. It's been around for almost more than more than uh, more than thirteen years, more than fifteen years. People don't know. It, it, it used to blog. It used to be a blogger. Yeah, so it's been around for a long time. So, but I don't think it's. I won't use the word smart. So, yeah, I won't. I won't say it's a smarter uh, person than uh, than him. I wouldn't. Jude, get get out of Utah, man, bro. You, you need to leave Utah. And leave the white women alone. Okay, yeah, enough of that, man. AB shouldn't shouldn't you marry a Cameroonian or something? It, it, it's gonna come up with one girl named uh, Caitlin or something. Yeah, Caitlin. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Judy marries Caitlin. Better not invite me to that wedding. She. Uh, a B. Uh, for this. Uh, a B. For the sake of that sister, don't give him to. Do they? Do just chop and clean out? Oh. A B. Don't go and give any Cameroon babe to Judy. Now nah, it could just chop the babe. Oh. Uh huh. Nothing na 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 heartbreaker. The sa the sample the, the sample did for women like like DJ all, all up and down. Yeah, yes. Now everybody knows Judy is a player now. The player from the Himalayas. Yeah. 
but they use French, they, they deceive people up and down. You know, see all these girls, they like French speaking, even Le fashion, the fashion. I lie, you, you want to shoot you. So now, so you want to give crazy person, give crazy person. Avi, wait a minute. So you want to give crazy person, give crazy person. If they're going to bump a king, huh? Avi, you can't give a person with a crazy, one, one person with a crazy. They're going to bump a king, huh? Why are you going to give crazy person to crazy person now? Maybe why? Nah, nah. Do they stop lying? You're not six four. I'm sixteen and a half. You are not six four. You are barely you are barely five five now. Because you did wear high heels, she. Oh, she's a uh, what is a uh, buy Okay. Uh, you know what? Or oh, AB on second thought. You should join them together. They will be a perfect match. Chris, don't join Chris, Abby. You go see what Chris part for that house. And then break bottle for your head. And they say, This is Chris. This is their please. Yeah, it does not sound six four at all. There's no, there's no way you do six four. The he has that uh, Napoleon complex thing, you know, it's for like short, short midgets or something like that. Oh, you do is done with African women. They broke your heart, Abby. They don't steal your money. I know. They don't steal your money. Yes, yeah, it be yes. He has a Napoleon complex now. I can, I can tell. So did, did they do uh, did they do EKG on them? Yeah, just send just send it to my phone. I I, I can see. I I'll send I'll send it. Just send it to my phone. I, I'll check it and just yeah, just titrate it, titrate it. And uh, what's that? What's the blood pressure? And Paul, did they have a okay? Yeah. Just keep him on there and just. Yeah. Or they just move him down then. Just, but just do that and do that. Uh, yeah, do that and just, just send it to my phone. I'll see it on my phone. Okay. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, am I on? Oh, shit. 